single Sunday, the final open tournament of the season. We're here in Canton, Ohio, trying to wrap up a weekend that has been phenomenal. Let's go ahead and get you guys over to the live stream court. Noah Wooten will take on Chase White. This is a B bracket matchup. Eight brackets in action today. We're going to stay in the B bracket for a little bit. Chase White pulls off the upset over number one seed, Tony Smith, to start things off. I said, all right, that's it. You earned it, kid. Let's get you to live feed as you take on Noah Wooten next. Chase White comes in as the 33 seed, defeated Jason Pruitt, 23 to nothing, and then Tony Smith, 21 to 13, to get things going. Tony Smith head to the loser bracket early. Can't imagine there's going to be too many people happy to see him over there. So give you an idea of talent that we got here. We got Chase White, Noah Wooten. We got Brandon Earls here. Austin Cameron taking on Brett Guy right now in court 25. Sarah Cassidy in this bracket. Hot up over here, shootout win. Tanner Halbert over on the other side. Jimmy McGuffin. Josh Doty taking on Quinn Reeves. Quinn Reeves pulls off the upset over Ryan Hart, 23 to 19. Jeremiah Hector comes in as the two seed. He's taking on Bobby Hunt right now. Bobby Hunt in the lead there, 10 0. So, in a little bit of fun. Look at that nasty N1 right there to kind of mess around with some things. But let's get at it, guys. They punch each other in the fist. That means they're ready to do some battle. These bags are live, I believe. We'll try and have some uh, guest appearances here this weekend. Commentate and hop it in with us. You pull up the Facebook chat. Guys, if you want to follow along in the brackets, download the uh, ACL Fan Zone app. Or you can go to iPlayCornhole or iPlayACL.com. On the right-hand side, click on the menu drop-down. And you should be able to see all the brackets for open number 16. If you see a match that's coming up, in other words, make sure you look around ahead. If you see a great matchup that you want to see, make sure you let me know in the chat. And I'll do my best to make sure that we can uh, make that happen if time is on our side. So we'll go from there. Good morning, Austin. Good morning, Joseph. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. What bracket is so-and-so? I have no idea. I haven't looked at brackets today, guys. But again, you can, uh, the ACL Fan Zone app is an amazing app. Check it out. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's kind of week 16 vibes, final day vibes. It has uh, been a long journey to get to this point. So I'm at the end of my energy level, chat. I'm giving you all I got. Hopefully it'll be enough. Noah slides in there. Noah's got to have a little bit of fire in him now that he's seen Tony head over to the loser's bracket. This could be no Woot's bracket to lose. This is from their website. Brand new. Never hit the road. Good morning, Alan. Cito. Jennifer, how you guys doing? Good morning. I'll give you guys an update, though, as far as all the number one seeds go. So we got Alex Rawls, your number one seed in the... Actually, the number one and number two seeds. So Alex Rawls, your number one seed in the A bracket. Jake Trzinski, your number one seed, or number two seed on the A bracket. B bracket was Tony Smith. He's headed to the loser's bracket. Number two seed is Jeremiah Hector. C, number one seed, Gavin Cano. Over on the other side, Fisher Hamilton, your number one, or number two seed in the C bracket. D bracket, Joe Neistead comes in as your one seed. Your number two seed belongs to Brady Foster. E bracket, we got Gage Landis comes in as your number one seed. Number two seed is Jordan Power. Uh, Jimmy Eumann's your number one seed in the F bracket. Frank Modlin, your number two seed. He's taking on Matt Guy on court 72 right now. G bracket, Braden Wilson comes in as your number one seed. He's up 20 to 11 right now over Cody Henderson. Caden Allen comes in as your number two seed. Jacob Gore, your number one seed in the H bracket. Defeats Austin Waskow and then Logan Chamberlain, your number two seed in the H bracket as well. 100 courts in action. If you guys happen to look at a bracket and see something that says 9999, that means they're on deck here for the broadcast court. Good morning, Maureen. Jasmine, good morning, baby. All right, so 4-3 to three here. Noah in the lead. Oh, first bag miss too far to the left and off the side of the board it goes. 
open board mistake there from Chase on bag number one. Let's see how much Noah makes him pay for it. Can't tell. I think he's just some baby goat, BGs of some sort. These wizards. This is the push. Who's on deck right now? Is there sorcerers? Uh, nobody's on deck just yet, but I imagine with uh, Sarah Cassidy about to finish off Nyan, it'll be... That match 106, either Austin Cameron, Brett Guy, or Sarah Cassidy. Uh, not going to go through the brackets. So overall pick to win today. Um, let me think. Is Mark Richards not playing? How can he not be a one seed? I guess he doesn't have conference or state points. Um, let's go. Let's just go with Mark Richards to win three in a row heading into Worlds. Why not? I'll go there. Mark Richards, my pick to win. Let's get a little inside information here from one Michigan man rooting on another. What up, Jordan? What's up, guys? Number two seed in the E bracket. Yes, sir. Just trying to hold it down. Do you like having more brackets? Uh, I do when we have enough boards. Because when you don't have enough boards and you only get like four or five sets to run a whole bracket on, it runs really slow. It like drags out the day, but this is good. 100 boards should be fine. Oh, yeah, we should be plenty fun. Oh, Chase. Chase is a uh, rocking the Great Shots jersey there from the Michigan area. Mm-hmm. How old is he? He's like 14? Uh, I think so. I think he's like 14, yeah. I want to say 14, 15. Yeah, he wasn't at the Michigan State Championship, I don't think. Or maybe it was the Youth Cornhole Association. I know he wasn't at one of the big tournaments I went out there and commentated. Probably so was one really, of the youth ones. Yeah, this is really my first chance to get a look at him. Because I assume down, he probably went to the state tournament. I would assume. Chase, had, Chase is a really good player from our area, up-and-coming guy. He can get hot. He, oh, awkward knuckles. Yeah, oh, did he? Oh, yeah. Let's go, I guess. Oh, yeah. Is it better than the Alex Hicks no woot knocker knuckles? <laughs> no, there just was, like, kind of no knuckles. Like, Chase went to, you know, fist one, fist one. Eh, eh, okay. Bro, oh, self knuckles. Oh, like, self -knuckles. No, I don't think Noah meant to, like, brush him off there, but the timing worked out perfectly. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I would never do that. <laughs> it was like Noah's out of vibe, and he didn't even notice it. <laughs> I Chase put out his hand, Noah was like, Psh. Yep. Noah's in that flow state, I think, right now that everyone talks about. Mark gets in. I think that's where Noah is right now. Yeah. Noah's listening to his music, just tunes. Joseph says 13 years old. 13. How many different Titan bags does Jordan throw? Maureen wants to know. Uh, oh, shoot. Man of War. Probably like four or five different sets. I throw the Man of War, Thrashers, Prowlers, uh, Scavengers, and Tyrants. Chase talking to himself after that miss. He has kind of had the little outside arm struggles. Yeah, the one he side reeled off the left was a little odd. Normally, we don't see that out of him. But it's also a stage he hasn't really played on too much, so still getting used to it. Plus, you're playing a legend in the game here. I'm, mm -hmm. sure, I'm sure he's feeling a little bit of that. Be all right, though. A few Michigan guys across the way there. Mr. Oh, Ochoa's yeah. in the building. Told First you. time I've seen him here. These guys, the mission comes deep when one of their guys are playing. We'll all be watching. See what Chase does here. I think he goes roll bag, but he may just go airmail. When's your official move date? Uh, August 18th. Oh, is he going side side? Oh my. Again, off the left side of the rail. Okay. I think Noah might try and get aggressive here. Uh, the bag is on slick side, the right? Bag the bag is on slick side. Well, he's trying to talk himself out of it. He's trying to so bad. That's why I said with Tony Smith having an early exit out of the winner's side, yeah. Noah might be playing a little bit differently. Like I felt like he probably would have been playing a little bit loose, but this is his this is his path. Oh, yeah, he knows the opportunity presents itself now. 
Oh, and he hit it. Oh, big shot on him. I mean, the next matchup could be another. I'm mean, Brandon Earl's Michigan guy too, right? Yep. Brandon Earl's against uh, Britton Atkinson. Okay. Not sure the other guy, but. So, I mean, he's, he's got a decent path to get to the king seed if he can stay on the winner's side. Mm. Get him really okay. chase. He needed that. Uh, chase, slow down. You got it. Slow down. Trust yourself. Let's go. Take a look at this collect one more time from Noah as he did talk himself into hitting the airmail. He can't afford to go down too many more points. What up, my dude? Craig Irvin in the chat. It's my, it's my boy right there. Craig Irvin. Man, I can't believe it's 16 weeks. Season, or 16 open. Season is almost over. Dude, didn't it seem like it... I mean, I felt like it went by pretty fast once the season got going. I talked to uh, Fred in the elevator this morning when I was leaving the hotel. And I was like, finally made it to the end, man. The next thing is Worlds. And he's like, yeah, he's like... How to feel? I was like, really, when, without thinking about it, there was one stretch where I went 17 or 18 out of 20 weeks in a row on the road. Yeah. <laughs> like, I had two weeks off. Them weeks are brutal. And, and I'm months. like, I'm actually kind of surprised in the two years of me doing this, I've only been sick this one time. Like, that was it? Yeah. So I'm like, okay, we got a good run out of it. Yeah. You're, you're lucky. Normally around the winter time is when I catch my first cold. I'll catch yeah. one like January, February. But hopefully, now that we live in, out of Michigan in the cold all the time, hopefully we won't have that too much. Hey, you'll probably have a little uh, body adjustment curve when you move up to the Carolinas at first. Oh, probably. It'll probably feel like blistering hot, I assume. Jeez. Hopefully it just goes through. Maybe roll back around it. I yeah. got, I got 10 days off, which is weird. I'm going to move, go to KC one more time, one last uh, car full, turn in my apartment keys, and then make my last payment and head out. And then probably spend about two or three days getting the place organized in St. Louis. And then off to Worlds. Just going to chill. Oh, when chilling? I, when I get to Worlds, I'll be out there uh, July 25th. 25th? Yeah. I'm going to take some extra days, hang out with my brother in Columbia. Just relax. Okay. I'll say 25th. I'll say dang. Yeah. Going out early, early. Yeah. I got to I gotta get me fitted for a, a suit or something, a little blazer, because I've been doing the Stevie Awards, so. Oh, okay, I want to yeah. make sure I look good, and I got to find somebody who knows how to braid hair out there. You and Anthony, right? Yeah. Anthony, oh, baby. It's going to be fun. Uh, Ian, do me a favor. Figure out what bracket Colin is in, because I do want to see Colin Hodet this week, but uh, I don't feel like taking all the time to go through and find out what bracket he's in. Now, this is what I asked Trey earlier in the year at Myrtle Beach. You know how there's always game of the year, right, at the Stevie's? At the Stevie Awards? Say it one more time. The, so I asked Trey earlier in the year, you know how there's always the game of the year at the Stevie Awards? Mm -hmm. So technically, where does our game fall for the World Championships? Because technically it was last season, but the ballot was already out and the winner was say, already awarded. I would say you're a part of that 2022 category. Yeah. So I would say it's last year. Because like most of the season is tied. Like we make sure we keep the titles the same as 2022-2023. Yeah. Or it's 2023. So I would assume you'd be part of the 2022 I don't know, no, no chance. No, no chance on that. Uh, oh. Chat, a little word of advice right now. Um, don't message Angel. Uh, good morning. I'm Angel, single, not married, no kids. I'm looking for a man to text privately. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> don't, 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 don't do that. <laughs> he said, what kind of bags do you throw? <laughs> good call, good call. <laughs> oh, man. You even got those people in your chat? Yeah. yeah. Scammers out there all the time. I see them I see them in like people's posts and stuff, but I've never seen it in a live feed. Oh, you will, Jasmine. I, I'm gonna braid it twice. That thing is I'll be out there ten days, so I have to get my hair braided twice probably. I'll braid it once before I head out there, and then I'll braid it once at words. Fourteen three here. Chase gotta get something started. It's only eight rounds in. Still got time. I think, I think all the tight people should get perms like Cody Henderson. Yeah. They all look like Cody. Well, that reminds me. I'm going to follow up on that. Cody Henderson <laughs> was losing <laughs> to Braden Wilson. Uh, Braden Wilson. Braden Wilson's a beast, man. Oh, yeah. Dude, there was nothing better than watching Brady Wilson and Cash James yesterday. Braden, yeah. Braden Wilson takes down Cody Henderson 21 to 11. Dude, Braden... Braden Wilson and Cash Camness, then they get gems, then they get fourth, fourth in their bracket. Fourth oh. in the bracket out of 378 teams. 
That's incredible. Top eight finish. Got to think Cash James made his first tier one. I believe it was Kansas City. And now to finish fourth out of 378 teams. Kill's throwing gas. Kill was throwing gas, probably all swagged out. Every time I seen him, he looks like one of the freshest people in the room. Tall guy says, we missed you at karaoke last night. Nah, bro, you ain't never going to catch me at karaoke, <laughs> so you didn't miss nothing. That's normal. Come on, man, you ain't going to get up there and sing? I ain't never karaoke a day in my life other than with the family and, like, Thanksgiving dinner or whatever it was. I know you'd be singing Taylor Swift in the car, though. Oh, yeah. That's your secret. Just shake it <laughs> off, man. <laughs> all right, there's a double net. Double knuck right there, making away, making it up for the awkward knuckles. Jasmine, if you could for real corn row, then that would be that would be legit. That's what I need. I need something that can tight braid. I think Stephen Ocho, another Michigan guy, reading on Facebook right now, three and zero, three and zero open singles. What, making a run? I don't know what bracket he's in though. Welcome back. Uh, he's in bracket C. All right, let's take a look at this. What's up, Mike Jaquez in that bracket? Little Mikey J. Sorry, so Colin Hodet taking on Clayton Robertson. If he wins, he'll take on either Daniela Luna or Gary Maloney. If Steven wins. All right, so, I mean, if Colin, uh, Colin Hodet. Okay. If Colin Hodet is who I think he is and who you guys say he is, he should beat Clayton, he should beat Daniela, and he should beat Gary Maloney, which means he'll get to play Fisher Hamilton, which more than likely will have that match anyway. So... We're gonna put Colin to the test. He's gotta he's gotta beat the people he should beat if you guys think he's this good. I love watching young talent, so I'm all about it. So let's go keep the game growing, all yeah. the young kids. I think too it keeps all of us grinding at the same time because those kids are putting in hours and hours and hours. If you don't do that anymore, you can't get up here and win. It's crazy. Well, I'm not like saying that. Can't. How about this uh, different pacing we're getting out of Noah? Yeah. So, here's what I was thinking. Of. Do you think Phil Lopez, when he plays, do you think he counts in his head? Yeah. Yeah. I really do, and I, I, I kind of made a joke about it that Phil Lopez has a Mark Richards in his headset counting for him. I think that's what he's listening to in the earbuds. Is, one, two, you're doing fine, you're doing good. Five, <laughs> six, all right, throw the bag, you ready? All right, here we go. <laughs> like, I feel like that's what he's listening to, he's on repeat. Oh, gosh. Cash's lane, or Cash, <laughs> Chase's lane. <laughs> Cash. Jordan, uh, Maureen says, Jordan, as a player, do you think a little Trevor, Brady, Cash, that are throwing, so I think she's talking Braden, and Cash are throwing all day would be really rough on their arms, especially throwing that far? Uh, At some point, yeah, it's got to wear down on them, especially throwing slower bags. I mean, they're throwing BG bags. I'm not sure what, I'm not really sure what BG bags they threw, um, but... If they threw like a Viking or something, they definitely. Sorcerers, I think. Sorcerers. Sorcerers are a little bit more I'm faster. I'm worried about bag. the shoulders, really. Yeah, because you're playing That's at a an unbelievable high rate all day. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're playing hundreds of rounds. I am curious to see like the evolution of like cornhole players. Like baseball players have a certain look, football players have a certain look. I wonder if like cornhole players start being like lopsided shoulders or something, you know what I mean? Cornhole there's so just... much movement in that shoulder. Cornell mm. doesn't have like a stereotypical guy. I think it's just anyone rolls up. Dance with three wizards. Wizards, okay. But yeah, it's about time for me to kind of get back to the grind and figure out who's gonna hop on board with the uh, K9 Nina partnerships for next season. I know I have a couple openings from last season. I'm going to touch base with the uh, people who hopped on board first this year. Yeah. Cut it off at 10 sponsors and partners and go from there, man. It's going to be fun. I want to see Jeremiah Ellis and Jaden Ellis on live if they both win their next game. Ooh, oh, 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 where that go? would be uh All right. Um, where did I go? Uh, I lost that post. 
Okay, Jonathan. Jo yeah, tell me what bracket they're in, Jonathan. I don't, I don't. Jeremiah Ellis and Jade knows. I'd be, I'd be down to watch that one. I just don't know what bracket they're in. Jeremiah Ellis, has it been confirmed yet if he's going to the pro qualifier this year or not? I believe he is. Mm -hmm. um, I think he stepped away a little bit. Oh, there's Mark Richards. So Mark Richards is a 14 seed. It's crazy to me. Trying to, trying to win his third open. Coming into 14 seed. <laughs> Probably doesn't play regionals and stuff mm -hmm. like that. We got Chase coming back a little bit here. 8 to 14. Okay. And another thing, too, is that has to be a winner side match. I don't want to hop over to do loser side matches. Okay, so there's, I found it, G bracket. Jaden Ellis versus Connie Altice. Jeremiah Ellis versus Dan Glugowski. G bracket. Okay, woo. Caleb Batson versus Ooh. Tommy Slyker again. Caden Allen already advances. 16 to 8. So G brackets got Braden Wilson versus Alec Ryan. Alec Ryan in the lead right now. Adam Hissner over Sam Finley. Okay, we can switch over to G bracket. We, we can do that. I'm down. Okay, here we go, Chase. Now you work. Timeout, court one. Now we're throwing the baby goat bags. Hmm. You know, people are about to start forfeiting games. You know, court 81, let's go. I gotta say, man, it's actually been a pretty nice venue. Other oh, than the, yeah. like, mass differences of temperature. Oh, like, dude. One day it was sweating, one day it's freezing. It's like, if we can get that honed down a little bit. Friday, I was sweating like crazy. Yeah, I was too. And then I was like, everyone's like, why are you wearing long sleeves? I'm like, this is my ESPN jersey. I gotta, <laughs> every time I wear this jersey, I get like two sales. So, really? Yeah. So that's why I wear it. That's why you see me wearing it every open. Yeah. Because I go to different places they haven't seen it before. For you guys, it's repetitive, but for all these, you know, non-pros, they're like, oh, that's cool jersey. Let me go to the website, check it out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Any bracket you win? Uh, e, I'm about to be, I'm up right now, actually, after this round, I was about to dip out of here. I was going to say, yeah. Uh, Here's Elizabeth, Elizabeth Tennyson. Tennyson. Tell her I said hello. Uh-oh, Bernie's head next if you win. Yeah, we've looked at that. Me and Bernie oh, are talking about that. Oh, man. Oh. Good luck, brother. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Hey, Phil. I'll see you all later. All right, so 16 to 8 right here. Chase kind of hanging on. Next matchup that we're going to get is going to be Austin Cameron and Sarah Cassidy. And I'll do my best to keep an eye on that, what was it, G bracket? To see if we can maybe get Ellis and Ellis, but they got to win first. More in his lane than Chase's. Let's see if Chase can go side by side here. Ends up going right behind it. Not bad. We get that same cut a little bit deeper. He should be able to go in on that right side. Exactly like I was talking about. That's why I like that bag on top. You know, it's the one he's trying to drive through this. Flipping the bag to get himself set. Slick side is down. He's going to try and drive through. Hard into the pile. Gets one to fall in. Gets the bar of soap. He wanted bag in hand to go, though.
16 to 10. Chase not done yet. Pushes right into that in center lane. Both bags move up towards the red zone now. taking a look at it. Decision's been made. I'm kind of just going to go back block here and let Noah shoot the airmail person. Let's see who he wants to go with, though. See how aggressive Chase wants to be. He's going slick side, back side airmail. Rimmed around just as good as going in. Noah's Shot's pretty much still the same here. Good shot there from Chase White, hitting the back of the hole at slick side. Kind of surprised it didn't go in. But it rims around, stays on the left side of the hole. Noah's now got a chance to go airmail. He's wanting a two for one drag. bite on it. Kind of shocked at that one. So it is going to be two more points for Chase. Chase getting back into this one. there from Noah, but Chase already has one in the hole. Breakfast. What is breakfast? Back off the back. What up, Justin? How you doing, Justin Duke? Just keep pushing into that. Try and get to 19. Chase is down to his final mistake. If he misses one more time, he's in trouble. BJ says, are we eating french fries at World Wally? Well, I mean, one, only if you feed them to me. Two, I don't know. I've been, uh, probably been sick since he fed me the french fry, to be honest with you. Oh, no, and here we go. Chance for Noah Wooten hit backside air. Remember, with five points for the win. Just left it hanging. Back is away, and it's a little bit deep. He missed it by about an inch. So plus two, 18 to 12 now. Noah had a chance to finish it off right there.
Hey, what up, Tim? Appreciate it. Appreciate you, man. No problem. So that's a good block. That one is over in Chase's lane. Chase does a good job going side by side here with it. this round with at least a couple. There's a little corner hanging. I was not really taking that far of a step out. I don't know if he's going to go after it. Got a piece of it, but I think that right there just shows it's not going to go. Could be a little slick side collect here. Comes across that board, slick side should be able to get that bag. Might even steal four points out of it. 18 to 16 if he can make it happen. Slick side is down. He does have that cut on there and doesn't get enough of his own bag. He hit Noah's bag first. That took away all the speed. And then didn't have enough to finish off that shot. Ends up washing out the round at eights. Could be a missed opportunity there for four. Let's keep an eye on it. I wouldn't be surprised if Noah Wooten just wasn't practicing his bag flipping in case he plays Matt Guy at Worlds, you know what I mean? Just saying. Just throwing that out there, Chad. Holy chat, good morning. 1.2K viewers on a Sunday morning to start the live feed. Let's go. Welcome in, y'all. I want to know how many different bags Noah Wooten's throwing this year. I, I think he's thrown a different set of bags every single time I've seen him. Crowd starting to gather around here. Sticky side collect nicely done there from Noah. He's kind of shocked. I think he was trying to drive through it, but he'll take that all day long. And Chase only able to get one bag to fall. Game does continue, but bag in hand stays on the board. It's going to make it 20 to 12 as we head into round number 18. Noah's bag does fall though, so we'll see how Noah plays this. Might go back block with it. Good back block. What up, Cameron? Good morning. Says his wrist is bothering, that's why he changed his throw. Hopefully, they take the two weeks to recover well. Nice roll back there from Chase. Something tells me we're going to run out of highlights today, chat. Eight different brackets could be a long day. Can you get a good, good mix of talent here? Come on, Chase, just drive through this right now. No more replacing. This is a little bit to the left.
Got to at least have one in. And stay on the board to continue. Chase staying sticky side down. Goes right into it and gets a collect. Nicely done there by Chase. Good roll here earlier in the round, but sets himself up for two points in that round, making it 20 to 14 now. All right, so score updates right now. We got Jaden Ellis in the lead, 12 to two over County Altais. Don, Dan Glugowski looks like seven to six over Jeremiah Ellis. So Jeremiah's got to do his job if you want to switch over to that bracket. Jake Trzinski in the lead, 19 to six over Nico Morales. Winner of this match will take on Brandon Earls. No one's going to call a timeout real quick. Something going on with the headphones. Got to change the song. Something's not vibing. I'll take a collect call maybe. Who knows? Probably Cameron calling him. Don't worry about the chat. Just throw. Bag is away. There's a nice blocker over in Chase's lane on bag number three. See how Chase wants to play this one here. Sticky side tried cutting around it, and that's pretty much exactly what Noah wanted. He wanted to create an opportunity to win it. In for the collect, nicely done, good battle. That's how we're starting the live feeds here in Canton, Ohio, ladies and gentlemen. Single Sunday is underway, good match. Got a chance to see a little bit of Chase White. Like what I'm seeing, Noah Wooten battling through the wrist pains to take that one down. When we come back, chat, we're gonna get Austin Cameron and Sarah Cassidy. See you guys in just a few.
All right, Chad, what up? Welcome back in. Sarah Cassidy and Austin Cameron finishing their down and backs here. Austin Cameron looking pretty fleekable in that jersey, must say. Must say. I don't know if I came back early from the commercial or not. I just kind of saw them walk down and I pushed a button. Either way, what up, everybody? Welcome in. Single Sunday here, Canton, Ohio. Final open of the year. Are you next? Are you next? I don't know. I was getting ready to ask for you, actually. There's a spin that leads me to believe they're going to start things off over here on the right-hand side. First back there from Austin is off to the left. I couldn't get a good look at it. I think it said Wizard, though. Is that a Wizard? Stopped a little bit short, and then Sarah hits the pile, so it's going to be a wash to start up the round. 8-8. Eight, eight. I am a wizard. This is facts. Oh, Brett, it's got nothing to do with just no walking away. It's got commercial break. People, <laughs> Two-minute commercial break? Nah, I'm out. Jeremiah Ellis and Dan Glagowski tied 12-12 right now. Sarah able to finish off there on bag number four, but she's going to make a quick pit stop over there to her uh, Zuka for something. Austin Cameron strikes first, two to nothing. Give you guys an idea of where they're at in this bracket. The winner of this match will play either Brandon Earls or Noah Wooten to go to the king seat over on the left side of the B bracket. Checking in on our number one and number two seeds, Alex Rawls and Jake Trzinski both advanced to the semifinals in their bracket. Again, in B bracket, Tony Smith fell early. Then the uh, number two seed, Jeremiah Hector, falls to Bobby Hunt. So one and two seeds both go down in the B bracket. Over in the C bracket, Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Cano both in the leads of their match, 12-0 and 11-0. So they're still alive. Joe Neistead, the number one seed, and Brady Foster both still alive over there. Sarah Cassidy again going back to the uh, Zuka for something. So oh, she's getting some water, it looks like. Uh, e bracket, Gage Landis is, is your number one seed. He's still moving along. Jordan Power up 16 13 to Elizabeth Tennyson. And then in the F bracket, Jimmy Eumann still alive. He's going to take on Noah Almanza. Frank Milan, your number two seed, defeats Matt Guy 22 to 17. So he's still alive there. Caden Allen is your number one, I'm sorry, number two seed in the G bracket. Tied 7 7 right now to Danny Seals. And then Braden Wilson on the other side taking on Adam Hissner. Braden Wilson was able to come back and defeat Alec Ryan. And then the final bracket, H bracket, Jacob Gore has advanced Logan Chamberlain on the other side up 2-0 over Kimberly Glass. So all the uh, one and two seeds have been updated for you guys. So there you go. Should 
Jackson, Garst, Brittany Harvard, and Brian Mitchell. Welcome in, guys. Everybody do me a favor. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Help the algorithm. Make sure people know that we're here. Cameron goes up top and gets that bag that looked like it was out of play. Is that a play for players like me? Austin Cameron sees an opportunity to throw an air mill line drive, clips a corner, and gets that bag to go in. Question still remains, though. Was that Austin Cameron or was that the jersey? We'll never know. We'll never know. Wally, do you read the entire chat and try not to laugh during the day? I've actually gotten really, really good at uh, reading the chat and holding in my laughter. Um, so, yeah, I, I've it's became a skill, to be honest with you. If you ever listen to Josh Keck when he hops on the microphone with me, he can't do it. But it's it's a lot of skill. Or if, it, if it's, like, super funny, like, if you guys could actually get me to laugh and be like very very funny then I would just basically do this where I'll switch on another microphone so you could hear background noise and then I'll mute my microphone like this see that's a skill right there all about the producing but yeah for the most part I read probably 90% of the chat Finish off again on bag number four. Good rebound around there. Gets 11 to 6 as he gets four points. But yeah, I read all the chat while I go through all this. So I got my chat right here, my cell phone. Got my soundboard right here. Got my other computer over here for the brackets, my monitor, my, my mobile camera right there. So a lot of stuff goes on behind the scenes that you guys don't see, but I make it all look good because I'm the best there is. Exactly. Amish confidence gives you, or the K9 jersey gives you confidence to hit that area. That's what I'm talking about, man. Jeremiah lost his match. He just lied to me. Bobby Hunt won. 22 to 18. Bobby Hunt the winner. He's taking on Quinn Reeves now. Pat, I knew you'd say something stupid, Pat. Get out of my chat, dude. I'm pregnant, all right? Leave me alone. I'm talking about my speed bump. How's Jake doing? <clears throat> Burton? Is that for the king seat on your side? Huh? Well, to get to the king seat, though, on your side. How's your loser bracket looking? Is it behind or? With 100 boards, we're going to be flying, so we'll see. Well, don't worry. I know you don't like me holding your matches, so I won't call you over here. I said, don't worry. I know you don't like me holding your matches, so I won't hold you. Come over here. Good blocker there from Austin. Sarah tried driving through it, and she's off the back of the board. Austin misses his push.
Oh, I thought you were talking about my belly. <laughs> my bad, then. My bad. But yeah, it's a cable ramp. It's an easy way to hide the cables. There's a bit of a lane here for Sarah. She's going slick side down into the pile, gets the first one to fall. Apparently showing five on three on the round. Austin going up top for the airmail, hits the pile. Not exactly pretty, but it works. And it's gonna end up washing out the round, six, six. Go, Jason. It's fun now. Gary says you should put the camera on you guys between games and give commentary on what happened and what's coming up next. That sounds like a whole lot of talking, dude. The days are already long enough. Yesterday we streamed for, I think it was. 14 hours? Let's see, 8 o'clock in the morning. So when I got here till like 10.30, so yeah. It's a lot of streaming. I enjoy my little too many breaks, you know. Uh, Jaden Ellis won his game, I don't know. We'll have to see. Yeah, Christian, I'll be doing the battle of the, the teams. That's gonna be fun. So we'll be we'll be making releases here in the next week about everything I got going on. <clears throat> All the big cash tournaments coming up, sponsorship opportunities, stuff like that. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a busy off week. It won't be as stressful, but still got a lot to do. I'll tell you what, if uh, Austin Cameron wins this one and he's gonna go to Worlds, we're trying to figure out how to cornrow our hair together. Austin Cameron and some cornrows. You see Austin Cameron in some cornrows? <laughs> 16 to 10. Huh? Yeah. I'll, I'll get mine done. Let's see. So I got not this next Tuesday, but the following Tuesday I'm going to get mine done. Push right there into the pile. Kind of taking away center lane. Sarah does him a favor, knocking his bag in. Austin, nice job pushing through the pile to finish off his 12. Sarah's got to at least have one in. She will go in. What'd you do? What'd you do? Bruh. Fans over there, I can't even. <laughs> 20 to 10, Austin trying to finish it off here. Sarah's already got one in the hold though. She's in, in command in this round. Sticky side push right into it. Back block. Sarah doesn't need to be aggressive. Good board right there. Austin wanting to try and find out if he can get that corner. He's wanting a little two for one here. I want to see how far that roll is. Got his idea. I think he might go for this long roll. No, he's going up. Ooh. He landed short on that airmail. 
Sarah just barely goes board. <laughs> she tried to go board there and almost throws it off the side. 20 to 10. Saw that last night. Good morning, Nick. How's it going? Talked to Misha this morning, I hope. Haven't, haven't heard from her yet. Yeah, we're looking for if for the Colin Hodet match. If Colin Hodet makes it to take on uh, Fisher Hamilton, we'll get that match. We're at 120. Or, I'm sorry, match 120 in bracket C. No way. Canceled again. How bad? How bad of luck? You guys gotta get out of California, man. into the pile and gets everything to fall. So there is life. There is opportunity. having a hard time trying to finish this one off. It's some pretty good matches to start the live feeds here. We're going to 18 rounds on this one. Scores 20 to 12. This is, again, a B bracket matchup. Give you guys an idea of who is left along the winner's side. We got Noah Wooten, Brandon Earls, Austin Cameron, Sarah Cassidy, Tanner Halbert, Jimmy McGuffin, Quinn Reeves, and Bobby Hunt. All left on the winner's side here in bracket B. On the loser's side, we got Lamar Ploppert, Britton Atkinson, Noah Stevens, Mike Rosen, Jackson Gore, Dawson Manuel, Candace DeGilio, and Tony Smith. Sarah's airmail off the back of the board. That's pretty much going to seal the deal. Austin matches her with one off the ground as well. All right, chat, when we come back, we might switch over to the little G bracket. We'll see things, how they play out when we come back.
right, chat, welcome back. Jeremiah Ellis will now take on Jaden Ellis as we switch over to the G bracket. Give you guys an idea who is left alive in the G bracket. We got, uh, looks like Caden Allen, your number two seed, in a little bit of trouble right now. Danny Seals in the lead, 17 to 14. Winner of that match gets Caleb Batson. Jaden Ellis and Jeremiah Ellis going to take on each other here on court one. And then on the other side, Kyle Malone and Adam Hissner. Adam Hissner able to defeat Braden Wilson 21 to 2. We got some stalker knuckles all the way down. You going to leave him there. <laughs> some of the longest awkward knuckles in the history of the world. All right, looks like they're ready to go, Chad. Here we go, start things off on the right-hand side. Jaden Ellis throwing, I believe, the psychos of some version, and then I cannot even come close to seeing what Jeremiah, Jeremiah is throwing on the other side. Kevin, I'll take that bet. I got the other guy. Keep an eye on that uh, Gary Maloney, Colin Hodet match that's on court 31. Gary Maloney in the lead there, five to four. On the other side of the C bracket, Gavin Cano will now take on Mike Jaquez. William Chamberlain will now take on Mark Richards on court 120. I'm sorry, match 120 in the H bracket. Landon Bass and Jeremy Schirmerhorn tied 16-16. Jacob Gore up 19-8 over Ashton Spees. Oh, Patrick's taking a step further. I see what you're doing there, Patrick. start here for Jaden in the lead. Does camera look a little fuzzy? Kind of does to me. Pushes into the pile, but Jeremiah's bag falls and Jaden's bag in hand gets hung up. Just ends up being a wash on the round, 8-8. Eight, eight. Jaden on bag number, was that two? Jeremiah's in a little bit of trouble here. Jaden blocks that entire pile in case Jeremiah thought about going after it. Interesting strategy. See if it pays off for him, and it will, plus two. I feel like he could have got more if he wouldn't have tried to block that pile, but hey, he's here. I'm over here talking. What do I know, right? What do I know? right here on bag number one in round five. A little side-by-side -side action. BG of some sort. I can't tell what they are. More than likely Wizards. Brian's trying to get a good look at it. Look like they're the blackout version. 
<clears throat> and Jeremiah able to finish off there. So now Jeremiah is going to get first shot down three to six. Still left alive on the G bracket on the loser side. Lucas Piper, Caden Allen, Trey Birchfield, Tommy Slyker, Braden Wilson, County Altai, Stephen Sappington, Dan Golgowski, Kevin Marsh, Anthony Mayball, Derek the Tiger, Zach Aiken, John Brandon, Samantha Finley, Deborah Odom, Alec Ryan, and Ron Kugel. So moving right along, just swimmingly. Jeremiah Sher I'm sorry, Jeremiah. Jeremy Shermerhorn, 24 to 16 over Landon Bass. He'll take on Jacob Gore next. Brian thinks that these might be Vikings. Andy Holman says Vikings. I like that cover. Pretty much forcing airmail here from Jaden. Jaden wants to go back block instead, though. I think he had a free shot at it. Jeremiah misses his deep, so now he's definitely got a free shot at it. Will he take it, though? He will. He hits his. Brings in Jeremiah with him. Now this is a free bag. On the board for one, in the hole for three. And he will get it. And that Viking for a second looked like it was going to go back in with it. It does get hung up, though, so plus three for Jaden. And Jaden's going to run down to the other side real quick. Grab it out of the hole just in case. <laughs> Nine to three. <laughs> Jeremiah says, hold on, hold on. Not going to fall, though. Gary Maloney up 12 to six over Colin Hodet. Colin's got to get his uh, get his job done. <clears throat> Darren Zastrow over Brady Foster. So Zastrow will now take on Dakota Salee. In the D bracket, Brandon Babilia, 17, Jonista, 20. Jake Trzinski will now take on Justin Burton, Jr. Bob Vonch finds himself down to Peyton Mares, 12 to 4. Wooten and Brandon Earls now tied 18-18. Devin Harbaugh finishes off Gage Land is 21 to 8. Storm Hoke 17 to 8 over uh, Timmy Jonas right now. Some of these brackets starting to get a little bit deep on the winner's side. Pushes right into the pile. Nothing's going to fall, but there's really not much Jeremiah can do here. Kind of just hoping he can go board without anything falling. He will take the risk and rolls on top of the pile. Luckily, nothing falls there. It's moving. I felt like it was moving. Doesn't look like it is, though. 13 to 3. Looks like it was hung up long enough. Uh, Brandon, J Jake Krasinski does not like his matches being held up, so that'll probably get played elsewhere. I don't know what the timing looks like, but Krasinski doesn't care to be on broadcast court. He just wants to play. Although I think he's going to get held up anyway because it looks like that loser side's a little bit further behind. 
But next match on the broadcast will be uh, Fisher Hamilton against either Gary Maloney or Colin Hodet. That match is currently 16 to eight. Gary Maloney in the lead. Gary says, I'm currently throwing Vortex bags. Do you think more pros will switch to Vortex bags? Absolutely not. Smaller companies, man, they, uh, they have a hard time landing a lot of pros. Emergence of BG and Ultra, I mean, those are going to be your two front runners. Titans making a big push next season, I mean, this season, next season as well. Wonder if we might get a transition back to some of the tier one bad companies. Oh, let me check in on that one. Brandon Earls, they were tied 18 18, I think. Looks like that one's still going on. No Wooten is 20 to 18 over Brandon Earls. It's still on the winner's side in bracket B. Cal, I think you and a few other people. They got a faster carpet now. Looks like they're going to come out with the Clovers. Uh, just a few different things, Gary, but no idea yet. Who knows? Steven Ochoa, he's all right. He's mid. Take on Joe Neistead now. Good air mail there from Jaden. Rep at Michigan well. Jaden is your Michigan State champion. Stephen Ochoa and Joe Neistead in bracket D. Square off against each other from Michigan as well. It's crazy how some of these brackets are just moving right along. All right, Gary Maloney going to finish off Fisher Hamilton. Schulten in the lead, 14-13 over Frank Modlin. That's the winner of that one plays Ryan Windsor. Damon Dennis in the lead, 12-10 over Derek Holland. Jimmy Humans, what up, dude? What 
Hello. What's up, man? What's just, going on? Just juggling some stuff around, you know, trying to figure out what match I want next. Oh, you want mine, right? No. Oh, man. There's right. a fun thing that happened uh, when I was at Great Shots in Michigan. We had a, they had like an airmail only competition, and then they had a, a crew cut battle at the end. And uh, Joe Neistat and Steven Ochoa were kind of talking trash and shooting airmails to each other. I feel like that'd be a pretty fun one to have. So we'll go there. We'll talk some trash. All right. You, got, you don't really talk trash. It's kind of just all about your business. I only talk trash if they talk trash. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I'll see Damon Dennis or Derek Allen talking trash. So. Damon Dennis talks all the trash. <laughs> He's like. I don't see you firing back to the point where it'd be entertaining <laughs> enough for me to hear, though. I'll put it that way. You actually kind of got like a. I guess a respectable OG bracket in a way. Yeah. You, know, you got Windsor, 100%. Holland, Frank Milan, Matt Guy. I mean, not easy. But how was your path? You got a good run and just defeated Almanza. Ian Cripps. I was going to get you and Ian Cripps on here. Okay. Timing didn't work out. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Actually, that's some pretty good ones, though. We got some pretty good viewership. We've been teetering right around 1,000 viewers pretty much the entire day. So. Sitting in 901 right now. We've got some little, people off the sideline firing Jeremiah up. A little heckling. 13-8. He feeds off that stuff, though. He has some fun with it. I'm telling you, man, Jeremiah would be a great addition to the Pro Division next year. I would love to see it. I'm not too familiar. He, he was one of the top players for a long time. Um, stepped away, I believe, Popped out more babies, you know. Fair enough. Got back into it, and if he if he puts in the grind, man, he could be up there. He could be a top 50. He's got a really, really low release. Yeah. He, no, he's not a. He's not really. I mean, he's familiar with him, but doesn't throw the pro stand bags too much. If you know what I mean. So. Okay. Give him a whole season with him. I think it'll be great. Like he's. I don't know if you know uh, Jamie Hudson, a.k.a. Slim from Delaware. He was a pro at one point. He's got a very similar, like, release point. Yeah, like Very flick. low flick. Like, he's not even throwing above his head. Good cutter run right there. And we all know about Jeremiah Ellis. Depending on what happens with the juniors division this year, he might be a pro next year, might not. I believe he'll be offered a PDC contract no matter what, though. Could have a same path with Vincent Frisch. What about, uh, I think Braden Ellis is like the highest ranked non-pro that's under 18, correct? Braden Wilson? Sorry, yeah, Braden Wilson. Braden Wilson, I believe, is number seven overall in open standings. Yeah. Um, so so we got Braden Wilson, Ryan Trader, and then I'm, I'm not sure if it's Landon Bass, Cameron DeBrosio, Jaden Ellis, I'm not sure, but there's, there's basically five or six in the top 50. So if, that means if a junior does not qualify this year, then there will be an open spot, which would be probably taken there's, by number one. I believe one. there's one or two. Currently? Yeah, so I believe Vincent Frisch will move into the 16 to 18, like, you know, 16 to 18-year-old spot. And according to how we read the rules the other day, uh, based off of the pro standings, which, so Vincent Frisch made it out of the PDC qualifier at every national, so he would have pro standings, so I believe he would yep. be in. So it's pro double standings is what they take. Then it's women's. I believe it's pro women's. I don't know. I don't correct me on the order. It's uh, doubles, pro women's. Then it's open women's standings. Then it's open or open standings is before that. Sorry, like regular open standings. And then it's single pro singles, minimum 30, maximum 58. So if he's in the top 30, he's guaranteed in pro singles, but he didn't play with the same partner every time no, in doubles. No, he didn't play in pro so that's doubles. What's but I think there's a PDC ranking in there, too. Yes. I think there's there a, pro, is. I think there is a PDC, PDC ranking, which gives it to him. There's a PDC. Because he's the only one. Right. I believe Carter Bennett ages out. Carter Bennett would have been another contender. Okay. But I believe he ages out. So, so be who doesn't anyway. qualify this year out of the eight juniors? Well, Caleb Bassett and Fisher Hamilton both age up. Oh, okay. So that's those cool. are the two spots. So if Vincent Frisch gets one, I believe that leaves one spot. Yes. But the rule does state right now no no new 16U players will be in the pro division. One more point there for Jeremiah. That is true. You were right. 
So they're going to have some meetings next week. But now they can have new PDC players, correct? Yeah, PDC is fine, which I believe all these juniors that we're talking about will be offered a PDC contract. Now it's up to them to decide if they want to take it or not. Saw Caden Allen elected not to take it last year. They said Carter Bennett's already 18. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy how low he releases the bag. I don't know. I'm just uh, amazed by it. The players stay in center lane right here. Jeremiah's starting to heat up at the right time. Takes a look over at his fans to the left. Jaden Ellis finishes off his 12 for a social. Pretty sure this is hot water, but I'm gonna drink it anyway. Hot water. What's PDC Pro Development? Is it cup? Conference. Pro Development. I think cup, right? I think it's cup. Yeah. I like to think top 100 singles are going to make it. Those top 50 doubles teams, a lot of those 100 names. Uh, no, they diminish the singles for pro, pro doubles. Or, I don't know if you're talking about wow. open standings or not. Gary Maloney just took down Fisher. I assume that's Fisher Hamilton? Oh, uh, they haven't played yet. He took down Colin Hodet. Did you refresh that? Yeah, I guess so. The false yeah. information, Pat. Yeah, that was going to be the, do you know Gary Maloney? I do. So Gary Maloney was my first pro partner. He was an OG player. Well, I, I had them slated here to be next because I wanted to see who Colin Hodet was. But I didn't, I didn't know Gary Maloney. Yeah, so Gary Maloney, an uh, old school player, he used to throw fast side slide rights. Then he went to That's fast cool. side game changers. And then COVID hit. And then he stopped playing for two years. And now he's making his uh, run back. Because of COVID or just out of Because of fear? COVID. Yeah, he had, so he had COVID? his wife has um, health issues. So mm -hmm. they didn't want, want to risk it. Oh, well. Wow. All right, so winner of this match will play either Danny Seals or Kayla Batson. Danny Seals in the lead, 10-3. to That'd be a huge win for Danny Seals. I mean, I think Danny Seals beating Caden Allen is already a huge win, so keep, let's go Danny Seals. There was only one bracket that Caden Allen didn't win, and he got doubled it by Damon Dennis in Arizona. Fun fact. It's an 11-0 run. That is correct. Is Matt Morton still pro? Yes, he is. He is here today. Okay. Awkward knuckles. Again? Yep. Let's go, Crocs. Appreciate Let's it. Take a look at him. Miss some awkward knuckles. <laughs> he had a good one earlier. I'll show you before. I don't know, I feel like I'm the, I'm on Sports Center top 10 for awkward knuckles. I mean. The one with Kyle. I wish, I wish we could do, yeah. <laughs> I wish we could do uh, an award ceremony for awkward knuckles and have people vote. That'd be them. sick. <laughs> I mean. Wally, talk to your people, get it happening. Al Alex done, Hicks dude. and Noah Wooten's up there. Tony yep. Smith and Tubby Cobb are my two favorites right now. When they, uh, he goes to uh, handshake and then knuckles, handshake knuckles. I mean, that was bogus because he, you know, he went to Tubby's bad eye on that, you know? Ooh. And he was just like up and down, up and down, up and down. I was like, that's, Hunter's bogus. I'll press one of these buttons right here. Ethan Walker, uh, oh, that'll do it. Rockets into the pile, doesn't get it to fall, but yeah, here's the one from earlier. All right, chat, we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're going to head over to, I believe, Stephen Ochoa and uh, Joe Nista to see you guys in just a few.
All right, Chad, what up? Welcome back here to Canton, Ohio. Single Sunday. This is a match to go to the king seat. This is over in bracket D. On the other side of this bracket, we got Darren Zastrow and Dakota Salee starting on court 10. I'm interested in joining and playing. How do I sign up? Head over to iplaycornhole.com. You see the address there on the screen, I-P-L-A-Y-C-O-R-N-H-O-L-E.com. Jimmy Humans and K-9 here in the booth. I am Jimmy Humans. I am K-9. Let's go through the brackets real quick before we get too far into this. These are all the players that are left on the undefeated side of their respective brackets. We have eight brackets in play. You can find those brackets on the ACL app, ACL Fan Zone, or iplaycornhole.com. Alex Rawls, Peyton Mares, Justin Burton Jr., Jake Trzinski in bracket A. Bracket B, Noah Wooten, Austin Cameron, Tanner Halbert, Quinn Reeves. Bracket C, Gavin Cano, Mike Jaquez, Gary Maloney, Fisher Hamilton. Bracket D, Stephen Ochoa, Joe Niestead, Darren Zastrow, Dakota Salee. Bracket E, Devin Harbaugh, Storm Hogue, Felix Vargas III, Travis Purser, Stephen Bernasette, and Jordan Power. Bracket F, Jimmy Humans, That's me. Derek Holland, Damon Dennis, Ryan Windsor, Frank Modlin. Bracket G, Adam Hisner, Kyle Malone, Jaden Ellis, Caleb Batson, Danny Seals. And bracket H, Jeremy Schirmerhorn, Mark Richards, Logan Chamberlain, Jacob Gore. The funny thing is, like, Adam and Kyle have played against each other a lot this year, and they have to play against each other again. Pretty funny. Alex Ball says Mark Richards is probably winning. He's just unstoppable lately. If I'm still in. Ron Tarson says, Jimmy, let's go. If I'm still in, uh, Mark Richards is not going to win. Sakari so says camera is blurry. Uh, nope, nope, looks good, looks good. Clear as can be. I can see clearly now the light is on. I thought, yeah, I thought the rain is gone, but that's cool. Okay. Works, sun's out, rain is gone. So we were leaving yesterday, on. and uh, you know how it like monsoon for like 20 seconds? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're leaving and it uh, started pouring. And we convinced, you know, ski ball kid. We convinced him to run out into the rain and get the car and bring it over. And he's like about 110 pounds. He was like 210 after he came back with how much rain water he was soaked with. It's kind of funny. <laughs> it was so bad that like he's walking in Ooh. with sneakers through the Airbnb and like leaving water prints through, through his sneakers. That's how soggy he was. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Ooh, oh, air mail. Come on, Steve. You got you got a flex on Joe right there. You got to hit that air mail flex on Joe. Yeah, wow. get him. Don't know if you're familiar with the bags that Steve Macho is throwing. I believe these are the Young Gun Heligans. Heligans? Never heard of them. Pretty nice, man. I like them. That uh, Viper R-ish feel to them. You would love them. <laughs> The reason why their screen was blurry was because they didn't have their glasses on. Oh, there you go. That's kind of funny. I got some supporters in the chat. Let's go. That's me. Look at me. I'm the captain now. Look at too many eyes. All right, chat, what match do you guys want to see next? I put in the request. I believe we're going to get uh, Jacob Gore versus Jeremy Shermer. Shermer, 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 Just call him Shimmy Horn. Brett says it's blurry. Nope. 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 Definitely not blurry. Nope. The claw. <laughs> Thank you. 
Good to see Steven back playing some uh, opens. I having even, a good success. I didn't even recognize him at first. Yeah. yeah was, and I played against him at uh, Nashville. We'll give a shout out real quick to my guy, Tyler Amos. Everybody in the chat, if you know Tyler, tag Tyler Amos. Tell him congratulations. Taking down conference Midwest singles. Congrats to Tyler. I'm telling him he's got to make a comeback just like Steven. Qualified for pro last year, elected not to take the contract. Broke my heart. Him and Craig both. Hopefully we Is see that, them uh, next season. Craig Irvine? Craig Irvine, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Those are my dudes. Heard of them. It's just not the same. Not the same without them at my tournaments. George wants to see Gary I'm in up Fisher. Up 38. Why am I not getting text messages? Ooh, no shot. Fired. False information. I do not have a text message. Where are you at? What bracket are you in? I refreshed the bracket. Yeah, no, false information. You're I said, lying to I said me. that match doesn't even look like it's done yet. Still 2019, Derek Holland in the lead. Maybe I'm up in 38 rounds. Maybe that's believable. Apparently, Brandon Brown loves me. Donkey, donkey. Donkey. I want to get a matchup with Eli Stevens against Cash Janus. I just want to see the side by side. <laughs> oh, that'd be hilarious. How many cash chambers can you fit in the U.S. Stevens frame? One, two. <laughs> I'd go six. I was going to eight. Okay, eight's probably, if you count, like, arms and legs, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight, eight's probably it. Yeah. Oh, you're going just body? No, 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 I was going, like, I was going just one, straight one, up. One per arm, one per leg. Was, yeah. Four wide. Okay. So I was going, I was going one per leg, three wide, three body, and then one head. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is about six. I would go six ski ball kids and eight cash jammers. Derek Collin and Damon Dennis, 20 to 19. Derek in the lead, 22 rounds only, Jimmy. Wow, short. It must be throwing a lot of blocks. On the other side of this bracket, Dakota Slee in the lead. Nope, never mind. Darren takes the lead now, nine to seven. Darren Zastrow over Dakota Slee. Do you know who Darren is? I do. Couldn't. I met him before. Okay. Now that you can say it, I don't know if I can put him out. <laughs> It's like one of these guys I recognize by their jersey. You know what I mean? Like, right. You can picture him wearing that blue jersey. <laughs> you know how many people didn't come up to me today because I wasn't wearing a hat? Like, no one knows who I am. Yeah, what's up with the no hat decision? Um, so I drove to Storm's house to mm -hmm. ride with him. And uh, we went inside for a minute, and I left my hat. It happens. But doesn't bother me. What bothers me is when everybody comes up to me and say, hey, uh, where's your hat? Like, mm -hmm. not, hello, how are you doing today? <laughs> it's, where's your hat? Like, it's not attached to my body, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't just leave my leg hood home. Know me for me, not for my hat. Right. They just used me to see my hat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Justin Burton Jr. takes down Jake Trzinski 30 to nothing. If I give you Jake Trzinski plus 29 and a half, <laughs> How much you bet? <laughs> uh, not a lot. <laughs> not <kidding>. a lot. <laughs> what do you think he threw in the last round? Zero? Um, oh, a two. He threw a two? Yeah, 12. Okay. That, was, okay. that was over was in six rounds. Or was he at 20 and threw a two? Or? Justin Burton Jr. threw an 11.67. Against Jake Trzinski's 6.67, creating a 5.0 DPR. Wow. See, Jake is really good. Like, really good. But he just gives up. He'll just start shooting air, chucking air mills, as he likes to call it. I don't get it. It's unfortunate. You saw that video. You see it pretty much every year. Jamie Graham coming back from 20 nothing. The patience. The yeah. determination. Not what I see in Trzinski. He either wants to win the game in two rounds or uh, 
That's it. <laughs> Basically, I don't know. Tanner Halbert taking on Quinn Reeves. Quinn Reeves in the lead there, seven to four. Now Darren in the lead now, 17 to seven over Dakota. Try and get as many of these king seat matches as possible. There you got your opponent filing, Jimmy. Hey. Damon Dennis and Jimmy Humans will battle it out to get to the king seat in bracket F. Good old double D. Okay, Caleb Batson, 20. Danny Seals, 18. 19 rounds in. Oh, my goodness. Blow up round right here from Steven Ochoa in round number 10. Four bags off to the right-hand side. Jordan, I was asking the same question. Where are you from? Steven looking at that scoreboard. Disgusted with how that round went. I would give up a six spot just to make it interesting. Right here. For Joe, you know what oh, I mean? Oh, for Joe, yeah. Why not? That blocker's a little low. Joe's going to try and bully. He got the spin out of it. Steven's not stepping out. Oh, That's perfect landing thing. spot, though. Bar of soap? No, he's not going to do it. Bar Lame. of soap for the dub? Lame. I would have bar soap for the dub right there. Facts. Especially with, uh, with the lead he has, I would have definitely bar soap. Karen wants to know who's next for the stream. We got Jacob Gore against Jeremy Schirmerhorn. Why not put a... Uh... Somebody who hasn't been there, like a Gary Maloney up there. I had that one scheduled, and then it... Uh, Just because... Um, we also got to look at the loser's bracket, so I'll see where the loser's bracket matches are at. That bracket is flying. Is that it's Devin Arball? Bracket D. No, this is the match right now. D bracket. Oh, okay. Darren Zastro takes that one down, so Darren will be in the king seat match. Looks like Maloney just got assigned to court nine as the loser's bracket starting to catch up pretty quick over there. Lame. Damn, I'm, I'm all about the quick brackets. Yeah, but you got to give people opportunities. You know, they don't come out to many opens. If they uh, make a deep run, they deserve to be on there. Hey, you, know what I mean? you, don't, you don't like it, play better. I mean, he's in the semifinals. <laughs> I don't know. There's only really one more game you could go in the winner's bracket than that. All right, fine. If he beats Fisher Hamilton, I'll get him on. Promise? Promise. All right. Well, you already said he did, so it's, gonna, it's already, like, into he, submission. He didn't you know say he I mean? did. You willed it. He said he beat Colin Hodet. So now he'll take on Fisher Hamilton. You can believe in me or chat. Chat's always wrong. No, I believe you, Ron. Chat's a bunch of trolls. Bunch of trolls. He's I respect it, though. Too far to the right. Troll recognizing troll, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's a lot more gooder when we have trolls in the chat. A lot more gooder? Mm-hmm. It's the most goodest. There is Jacob Gore. Sweet. I love when the 9999 works. We're starting to get a lot of people trained on the 9999. It's better than walking around the building and trying to figure out where it is. Yeah. I like it. Do a, do it on double commercial. You've had good viewership. I want to try and keep it there. How does one play in these tournaments? You can find all the information you need at iplaycornhole.com, but... Basically, create an ACL profile, sign up for some events, and then uh, basically just show up whenever you can. I mean, there's tournaments all across the country, so whatever works well. <laughs> yeah, so two roll bags. One of them, he looked up to the sky. The second one, he looked straight at Joe. He's just disgusted. Yeah, he went for that air mail. He wanted that blocker in place. He was kind of expecting Joe to back block. He does not, so... Ochoa has to push through it. In for the win. Cross the fingers and put the juju on him, whatever you're going to do. It's not going to work. <laughs> Joe Neistat takes that one down. 
Michigan boy takes it down. Go figure. He would have thunk it. Well, see, now my mom said you said it, so now I have to believe the chat. So. Oh, no. She's confused, Jimmy. She's confused. All right, we got our next opponent already on the court. Let's go. We need to take a commercial. You just want to stay here. Uh, we're just going to stay here. Let's just stay here. Then. Yeah. Let's go through brackets. Put a little music on. All right, chat. This is everyone who is left alive in the A bracket. If you do not hear their name, they're out. Justin Burton Jr. in the King C match against either Alex Rawls or Peyton Mares. Alex Rawls up 9 nothing. Right. It gets me every time. He told me it was Mares. Is it? Or chat told me it was Mares whenever he won in South Dakota. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought it was like, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, I forget his first name. Like Peyton Mares from um, New Orleans. What? That's him. Yeah. It's the same guy. You think it's Mayors? That's what I was told in down there, but yeah. you're good. I don't, I don't really care. We'll find out. We'll funny. get him over here. All right. Jake Trzinski waiting for either Bo Maggart or Forrest Kiklowski or Matt Abernathy, Byron Sisson, or Bob Vonch. Right now, Byron Sisson is down 10-8 to 8 to Bob Vonch, and Bo Maggart is up 10-7 or for, over Forrest Kiklowski. On the right side of the loser's bracket, Nico Morales on court two, taking on Damian Cantu. Nico in the lead there, 12-7. All right, in the B bracket, over on court 16, Noah Wooten taking on Austin Cameron to try and get to the king seat match. Quinn Reeves taking on Tanner Halbert, 9-8. Tanner Halbert in the lead there on court 17 to get to, get to the other side of the king seat match. Tony Smith in the loser's bracket taking on Jackson Gore. On court 18, Jimmy McGuffin will now start against Bobby Hunt on court 15. That's all the players that are left alive in A and B bracket. Does it look like they're alive? I see zeros on the scoreboard. Um, I would say yes. They are throwing really fast, though. We'll kind of take a look at it in a second. We'll do C bracket. Fisher Hamilton in the lead, 12-2 over Gary Maloney. Uh, Gavin Cano down 2-0 to Mike Jaquez. Those are the yep, semifinals. Looks like they are live. Terry Mathis waiting for either Carson Stevers or Alan Rawls, 18-8. Carson Stevers lost the first match to the T-Nuts. Battled his way back all the way through the loser bracket. Jeff Reynolds, 18-12 right now over Matthew Soros. Winner gets Keegan, Keegan uh, Lingois. So there we go. Langua. Keegan Langua. Langua, yeah. This camera, I don't know if you guys have noticed yet, this camera is kind of a little blurry, you know? So, Brian the Cat said it's Marez, like you said, and then someone said Marez. So, potato, potato. What's the penalty for a foot foul? Death. Correct. Death penalty. Permanent ban. You can never play the game again. Death by me flexing. Ooh. They just put your head right in between my arms and just flex over and over again. This is what it sounds like. Jimmy pops it. All right, let's go ahead and go halfway through, I guess. D bracket, first king seat match is set. Joe Neistead against Darren Zastrow. We got the Stephen Ochoa and Dakota Salee on the loser's bracket, waiting for Broden Ryrie, Eric Davis, Hunter Thorson, Grady Foster, or Philip Lopez Jr. Philip Lopez Jr. in the lead, done. Never mind. 22-6 over Brady Foster. Just finished it. I think he can still come back from that. Mm. Done. You go. Well, I think with the way all these brackets are shaping up, I say we just go ahead and play our first king seat match. How about that? Wow. Ballsy, Wally. That's what I'm going to do. Did, uh, my, yeah, so, that? did my game start yet? or Because I'm not getting anything <laughs> on my end. Yeah, no. But yeah, I think uh, I think they want to save us, you know. They want to see Double D flipping some bags. <laughs> you know, dare you to tell Damon Dennis it's distracting. Too soon. <laughs> Ooh, I was going to say 777 viewers, Jimmy. Let's go to the casino. Sponsored by Seagram 7 this weekend. 7-7-7. Seven, seven, seven. One more. Seven logos. Oh, we passed it. 
Seven Play. logos on our live feed. Schirmerhorn off the back of the board, a little blow up. They said, now we know why Jacob's game was over in six rounds. I don't know why. Who said what? Now we know why Jacob's game's over in six rounds. Chosinski. <laughs> Ramon, nope. Didn't appreciate you tuning in both days, though. <laughs> Check the pro page, Jimmy. Okay. I'm going to check the pro page, too. I'm going to check the pro page. Oh, I think I got an idea. I have an idea where this is going. Oh, my God, bro. That's... That's rough. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan Smith. <laughs> uh, always stirring the pot. Mm -hmm. Call them out so they know. <laughs> <laughs> call them out, call them out. All right, nine to three oh, here. Jake man. Gore in the lead. I'm going to figure out what's up with this camera. It only gets blurry when they walk down. Maybe I, got, maybe I just got to zoom out. It's going to make the board look smaller, though. I'm not a big fan of that, but. I don't like that uh, blurriness going on. If you are on the out, if you're outside arm and you go to throw a hard push and you step into another lane, like as in the board next to you is lane, there is no punishment, I don't think. But now, as far as the game in the second lane that someone stepped in front of me, that is a distraction, right? So I don't know how that would go about. I do know if a third party was to move the bags, like, for example, if I ran up and grabbed that bag right off the board before he threw, um, the ruling is it has to go exactly in the same exact spot. Exactly. And then you re-throw the bag. I feel like, again, some of these rules are going to be hard to enforce. We're going to have to get a little bit more technology into it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I get the rules. I get them. is rules. Is that your new job? Yep. <laughs> You're doing great. I can't throw, so I start commentating. <laughs> Why did I hire you? He's not listening. <laughs> oh, man. Maya is funny. Maya on fire. Maya on fire. Instant replay in officials. Instant replay is only good for a little bit. You, you, have, you can only go back certain seconds. You almost need, you almost need a secondary recording feature. Which again requires different technology, which requires more money. Which tell me that does not look like Pat Brock right there. That looks like Brock. Oh, right there. Yep. <laughs> that's his. That's his stunt oh. double. I swear. Um, yeah, but if we if we get new equipment, a new computer probably costs about 17 grand, so it's gonna come out of Jimmy's paycheck. I get zero dollars. Well, I make zero dollars. You have to, make to win some money to make today money. if you beat Damon Dennis. That is true. I will be guaranteed. Uh, they say the pay payouts. I think it's under a million, I think. Oh man, low today. If I win, I'm guaranteed third, right? Guaranteed. So I might as well just like win my next five games. That'll be good. Jimmy, did they say how many players make it in through application? Is it 10 or is there an official number? A lot. There was no official number. Okay, so waiting to see how everything else plays itself out. Correct. So back to uh, the juniors. 
Boom. Big hit. Yeah. If. Ooh, that was a good roll. And another airmail. Ooh. And one. At least he took him with him. Yeah, so uh, as I was saying, we know Vincent Frisch is going to get in. So that would leave a spot. We don't know. Too soon. We, well, he would have priority. Based off of PDC, or based off of that PDC rule, yeah. this is something we can go through on our show. Keck didn't want to go through with it. But I think we should have a very informative show, hype it up a little bit. Yeah. Um, Make a flyer. We still have to do the other two shows, you know? Well, I think it should be one show. Just go oh, yeah. One long show. Oh, you wanna do you wanna do a show for the poster? Well we could like go over it, you know what I mean? Or mm -hmm. or we could just like slap it out there and then people be like, hey, uh, why am I this and get all salty. But I don't mind uh, hurting a couple feelings if it makes people no. laugh. Yeah. I mean we did it in good spirit. It's not like we're disrespecting anybody. Right, no, it's it wasn't to be insulting. Alex Rawls and Justin Burton Jr. will make it to the King Seat match in the A bracket. Somebody wants to know when does the show start, Wally? They want to watch. Stay tuned to K9 Unit. We'll put, I'll make a post on there. Um, I don't want to put an official time until I map out my week, but it'll probably be after the Baggin and Braggin show, which is 8 o'clock Eastern time, so I would assume 9 o'clock Eastern time. Of not this week, the following week. Yeah. So good air now. Right before Worlds. I believe that's what, 25th? It's better he went clean. Ooh, and Jeremy goes clean as well. That one looked off to the side. Luckily, he got a piece of his bag to get it to fall. Penguin for three. Whoa. Short airmail gives up one. That was an interesting fourth bag block out of Jeremy. Ugh. I think I need energy drink. Energy. Energy. Jimmy, I'm gonna ask them why they're holding your matches, man. We gotta get you guys going. Especially it being like Damon Dennis. You know what I mean? Like he's not a fast thrower. Well, your loser's bracket's catching up, too. Man, we're gonna get it. Man, we're gonna get it. I've been sitting for like an hour, at least. Maybe there's not enough boards. Who knows? Oh, hey, text message. You're welcome. Board 24. See you guys later. All right, buddy. Good luck. Sixteen to seven right now. Winner of this play is either Logan Chamberlain or Mark Richards. Logan Chamberlain in the lead, nine to four. Whoopsie. Jacob Gore in front of the board right there. Big opportunity here for Shermerhorn. Let's see if he can get the bully and the collect. Well, he gets the collect. Didn't get the bully as much as he wanted to.
All right, let me pull back up my chat here, get chat involved. Yeah, I think I got my king seat matches set that I want to go into after this. So we are going to get the uh, Joe Neistead and Darren Zastrow king seat match next. Ethan, I know, man. If only anybody would ask. All right. Yeah, Seth, he's going to go play Jimmy or Jimmy and Damon right now. They're going to go play each other. Been a pretty good match, 16 to 13, 16 rounds in. I'm sorry, guys. Good emerald there from Shermerhorn. Good answer from Gore on the other side with the roll. Shermerhorn again. Nice collect on that one. Stick side brings the bag a little bit closer. He's got one bag left to collect it. Shermerhorn tried getting a little too soft on it, and that basically opens up a roll or a slick side. He's going after it, and he's going to give up four there. I don't like that call from Jake. With Shermerhorn missing that final bag, I could have thought that would have opened an opportunity for Jake to go with a roll to get over the top. Instead, he knocks him in. Other than that, that was a pretty nice round. Let's take a look at it. Good matchup on court four. Bo Maggart and uh, Forrest Klagowski tied 20 to 20. That match is 20 rounds in. Twenty to sixteen now. There you see Jake trying to switch up the music a little bit. Misses the push through. Kicks off to the left for him there. I wouldn't be surprised if Shermorn doesn't go for the... Oh, he did not go for the and one. He's tried to push in. And that's going to leave a lane for Jake to sneak through. I was going to say, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if Shermorn doesn't go for the and one to win. With that bag being on slick side in the back of the hole, I almost would have put money on it. He must not be from Michigan. Locker there from Jake to start this round. Shermerhorn immediately steps out. Nice job sneaking around. Jake does the same thing. This one's a little bit tighter now. Good 
Collect from Jacob Gore on bag number three. And Shermerhorn does the same thing. Misses bag number four. We're tied 20 to 20 as we head into round 20. Seems to be a theme going around here. This is to get to the king seat match. Quick update on the brackets. We got a king seat match set. Alex Rawls and Justin Burton Jr. They're going to start on court number three. That's for the king seat of bracket A. Bracket B, Tanner Halbert waiting for either Noah Wooten or Austin Cameron. Noah Wooten in the lead. They're eight to seven. Bracket C, Gavin Cano will take on Fisher Hamilton. Next up on the live stream court, Joe Neistead and Darren Zastrow. Bracket E, Devin Harbaugh up 19-6 over Storm Hogue. Travis Purser down 7-6 to Jordan Power. Winners of those matches get to the king seat. Damon Dennis will now take on Jimmy Humans. Frank Milan going to take on Ryan Windsor. Winner of those matches go to the king seat match. Adam Hisner up 10-7 over Kyle Malone. Jaden Ellis 14-4 over Caleb Batson. Winner of those two matches get to the king seat. Winner of this match will go to the king seat. Logan Chamberlain up 17 to six over Mark Richards. Winner of that match goes to the king seat. And that bag is stopping just a little bit short with a chance to win it. Unbelievable. Jacob Gore is going to get the dub. As Shermerhorn's push stops just a little bit short on him. Unreal. That's how it's going to end, though. Jacob Gore heading to the king seat match. When we come back, Joe Neistad will take on Darren Zastrow for the king seat. See you in just a little bit.
All right, Chet, I'm back. Had to make a food run real quick, but we haven't missed anything yet. They just finished their down and back just as we get started. So this is the first round. All bags are down the middle and in. Both players looks like throwing Viper R's. Darren elects to go up for the early airmail. He's off the back of the board, and he said it's going to go in with the back number four to get some points there. Five nothing start here for Joe Neistad. Logan Chamberlain in the lead, 17 to eight over Mark Richards. The winner will take on Jake Gore. Kayla Batson coming back a little bit now, down 18 15 to Jaden Wilson. Adam Hester in the lead, 14 11 over Kyle Malone. Next up on the live stream court, we are going to get Gavin Cano and Fisher Hamilton. This here is D bracket though. Winner of this match has the king seat over in the loser's bracket, Dakota Salee and Brandon Babilia playing. That's tied 10-10. Philip Lopez Jr. finds himself down 16-8 to to Hunter Thorson. Winner of that match plays Steven Ochoa. Oops, sorry about the cameras, guys. And that should catch you guys up to date, so. I'm gonna do my best to keep you guys informed as I can, but I'm gonna try and get some grub in myself as well. Get some energy levels up, you know what I'm saying? No other live streams, Keith. Only one live stream for opens. Uh, Doug, not sure. I believe he was in bracket G earlier. If you want to follow along on the ACL Fan Zone app or check it out on iPlayCornhole.com. Should be able to see if he's still alive over there. Actually, I see it right here. He just got done playing Zach Aiken. Uh, so he lost 22 to 7. So Jeremiah Ellis has been eliminated. Seven to three now entering round. Oh, whoa. I missed that. 12-3. Entering round five. Neistead already has one open championship under his resume, taking down Kansas City, or Kansas Open. So 
So I think the way that we're looking here, chat. Um, morning, Jeremy. Oh, no, definitely not that long of a break. All right, so uh, the way that we're looking here as far as the live stream matches are going to go next up will be Gavin Cano against Fisher Hamilton. And then I think we're going to switch over to the E bracket for Devin Harbaugh versus Jordan Power for the King C matches. And then after that one, I think we should be about ready for the bracket uh, finals matches to start off. So we'll kind of see um, how those go. And the timing, see if it plays itself out nicely for us. In a perfect world, right? Darren tried cutting around that one, but ends up giving bumpers here for Joe on both sides. Joe steps out to get a different angle at it. Staying stick side down, throws a little bit harder. Nice job collecting it. to set it does sit let's see if Darren can go up top and get this now it's almost automatic air mill decision and he lands short kangaroos off the back one falls the other viper are in the back stays there to to three knees to his first shot down the middle and he's trying to finish this off in less than 10 rounds nice job getting sneaky there it goes in the left side So it's final shot, trying to push through. He gets the collect. Let's see how Darren wants to attack this. I say just go in. He wants to go up top, and he's going to hit a big collect right there from Darren. Nicely done.
18 to 5. Can Joe hit this for the win? Up top, hits it clean. <laughs> Doesn't get anything to drag. Darren has life. <coughs> oh, we're going to add a Mr. Boom in the background. Update over on court three. Justin Burton Jr. in the lead, 10 to 7 over Alex Rawls. No Wooten, 19 12 over Austin Cameron. Waiting, uh, Tanner Hopper waiting for the winner of that one. Jimmy Humans in the lead, 12 to 9 over uh, Damon Dennis. Ryan Windsor, 16 to 6 over Frank Modlin. Adam Hasner, Hisner was 20 to 13 before the boom, or maybe after the boom, I don't know. Winner of that one will take on Jaden Ellis. Is Jaden Ellis able to defeat Caleb Batson? And then Jacob Gore and Mark Richards are going to start over on court 37. And that'll do it here. Joe Neesett's going to take this one down, chat. We're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're going to get Gavin Cano and Fisher Hamilton. See you guys in just a few.
What up, chat? Welcome back. All right, this is a king seat match here in bracket C. Over on the loser side of the bracket, we got Gary Maloney, Alan Rawls, Jeff Reynolds, and Mike Jaquez. Mike Jaquez currently up 20 to 6 over Jeff Reynolds. I don't see zeros on the scoreboard, so I think they're still going down and back. Give you guys an update. Mark Richards uh, was able to come back and defeat Logan Chamberlain. He is currently up 2-0 over Jacob Gore for H bracket. Adam Hissner will now take on Jaden Ellis for the G bracket king seat. Ryan Windsor still waiting for either Jimmy Humans or Damon Dennis. Jimmy Humans in the lead there, 18-9. Next match here on the live stream court will be Devin Harbaugh against Jordan Power. We just saw Joe Neistad take down his first, uh, or be the first person to take down the King C, so he's got D bracket. Winner of this match here takes down C bracket. Tanner Halbert up 3-0 over Noah Wooten for B bracket. And Justin Burton Jr. in the lead, 18-13 over Alex Rawls for A bracket. Starting things off, all bags down the middle, chat. Social, raise your glasses. Cheers. Let's have a good match. 12 on 12, score 0 0, heading into round two. Fisher in the lead here, two to nothing. Oh, cabin bag number four. Right over the hole, missed opportunity.
Four to two, Gavin on the board now. Five rounds in. Got my chat pulled back up. I'm ready to roll. Let's go now. Lost you guys for a second. Alex Rawls finishes off Justin Burton Jr. So Alex Rawls has the king seat in the A bracket. Tanner Halbert in the lead, 7-2 over Noah Wooten. Looks like Jimmy Eumann's 20-12 right now over Damon Dennis. Mark Richards 11-2 over Jacob Gore. Fish with the bag out of play here. Creates an opportunity for Gavin to tie it. And he will do at least that. Four to four. Uh, Pat, I think he's out. I'm not sure. I haven't seen Amon's name in a while. The blocker here from Fisher. Mix things up a little bit in round six. Gavin back, back blocks that one. And it works. Opportunity here for points. Slick side going right at it. That bag folded on him instead of going in. He's got one bag left, though, to try and collect it. Looks like the vibration of the board might have helped him out a little bit. That's pretty much the same thing there as Gavin's able to stop if the bag falls in. Fisher, oh, wow, it's even better now. I was going to say Fisher probably could have collected his bag, but that bag stopping short, though. Gavin's going to actually get six points. Big round right there, making it 10-4. to four. Kind of an ill-advised push from Fisher. End of four, big lead, heading into round number seven. Christopher Hall calling it Rawls versus Fish final. Dang. Got some work to do here, though. 12 to 4. Gavin in the lead. Match over on court 17. Jackson Gore in the lead 16 15 over Quinn Reeves. Jimmy McGuffin 17 to 8 over Austin Cameron. <clears throat> Gary Maloney down 5 0 to Alan Rawls. Takes down Damon Dennis, so now he will take on Ryan Windsor. That guy down 16 to 10 to Derek Holland. Chris Kingsbury is down 6 to 2 to Ian Cripps. Caleb Batson 20 to 4 right now over Trey Birchfield. Ron Kugel, 16-14 over Danny Seals. Gavin Cano up 15-4 here.
Uh, I do see Brandon Abilia's name still left alive in D bracket. Alan Rawls is up 11 to nothing over Gary Maloney. <clears throat> Again, next up here will be Devin Harbaugh versus Jordan Power. Fisher's going to be hung up there for a second. He goes in. Gavin finishes off his social chat. We'll be right back. I'm going to grab uh, the tablet so we can check some PPRs in between rounds. One second. Let me walk over here. Gavin throwing a 10.45. Fisher Hamilton throwing a 9.91. 15 to 9 is the score. Gavin just cleans it up. Bag number four goes in, but Fisher now in double digits, 15 to 11. Seth calling it hardball or Gavin Cano wins it all, he says. Uh, Anthony, no idea about Frank Verona. I haven't seen him. Albert in the lead, nine to two over Noah Wooten. Production ready for all these King Seat finalists or bracket winners, I mean. Let's go. I notice a certain name has popped up there in my King Seat matchups. Jimmy Humans, oh, Ryan hey. Windsor. I know that guy. You must be doing good today, man. How's it feel? Feeling good? Feeling locked in? Yeah. Um, the board's 
you know? Yeah. Horse playing great, measured di- measured correctly? I don't know. I didn't measure him. But you don't care anymore. No. I, you, so it's only a problem you miss. I get you. No, you no, get no, you. No, it's no, cool. No. So I'm throwing fast bags in. So I threw fractures today. And um, boards are sticky on one side of the end. Uh, so the other side, I was about to play Damon Dennis with fractures. I didn't think that was a good idea because I was blowing every bag off the back. So I went to something slow and it uh, worked out. I blocked him a lot and luckily he missed his air mouse. That was a good great shot. hit. Unable to get the bag to track for the win. Too clean. Too good, too good. That was just a good shot, Knuckles, though, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, wait, did it fall? Did I miss something? Eric says, airmail drag, calling it. Too late. That's for you, Eric. That's for you. Hey, Jimmy Eamon's watching. Hey, that's me. What's up, buddy? There you go. Alec Ryan's watching, too. He's usually watching from the bleachers. He must actually be gone now. Go so, big. As it stands right now, do you think Gavin is a better player than Fisher? Um, that's an interesting question because of how you worded it. I think Gavin plays more discipline than Fisher. Yeah. I think Fisher has the ability to have more trick shots or you know what I mean more yeah. a better escapability Gavin's playing discipline right now and I love to see it and it's I think making him more accurate because of it and um, finding out right there 21 13 Gavin takes that one down so better player if I would say yes it's not by much okay it's close but I, I do like the discipline that Gavin has shown from what was their first, was it Kansas, I guess? Their first shootout broadcast in Kansas? To where he's at today. I think he's a different player. All right, when we come back, we got Devin Harbaugh against Jordan Power. If we got time after that, to Jimmy Humans and Ryan Windsor. See you in a few. Let's go.
One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Oh, chat, that Awkward Knuckles commercial never gets old. I could watch that all day long. Welcome back here to Canton, Ohio. It's single Sunday as we wind down open number 16 at the end of the road, chat. Many destinations have been conquered. Down to the final tournament of the open season here in 2023. <clears throat> having a good time, though, having a great time. Got Jordan Power against Devin Harbaugh. Eric says, come on, Harbaugh. Josh Jordan Power all day. Sean says, can't pick a better player. Fisher won a national win. Good morning, Johnny Torres. How you doing? Welcome in, welcome in. Pretty good viewership today. Make sure to chat that you hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already. If you're watching on TV, do me a favor, log into Facebook or YouTube real quick. Hit the thumbs up button, then continue as you were. Just want to make sure we get the, everyone accounted for. It'll only take a second. Looks like we got zeros on the scoreboard, and we're in round number two, so that tells me they're live. happening just yet as far as the numbers move. K9 here and uh, Jimmy Humans. Jimmy got some grub now. We gotta get our energy levels up, chat. It's the only way we're able to proceed throughout the day. What you got there, a burger or chicken? Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger, okay. Looks healthy, looks like a healthy burger. Like this one could end up being a long one. Jordan Power uh, gets in his little bit of rhythms. I think both these players suffer from the same problem, which is kind of overthinking situations. Instead of just taking twos, they try and go for fives and sixes. And that can get them caught a little bit, especially in the shootout format. Devin not afraid to play from um, behind, though. Winner of this has the king seat in bracket E. Next up on this court will be Jimmy Humans and Ryan Windsor for the F bracket king seat. Adam Hisner takes down Jaden Ellis 24 to two. So Adam Hisner has the king seat in bracket G. Mark Richards has the king seat in bracket H defeating Jacob Gore. Update in the B bracket, Tanner Halpert in the lead 20 to 12 over Noah Wooten. Cal says it's going to come down to if Jordan can hit all his air milks. Missed to collect right there from Harbaugh. And then lets him off the hook. Harbaugh gets the collect there on that shot. Now he's steaming over the possible two points he could have missed. Jordan Power kind of re-clutches. Gets back in there and fires too far to the right-hand side. Harbaugh catches just enough of the left to make it. Two to nothing. Egg has been correct. Our ball strikes first. Jimmy Frazier, what up, my dude? Welcome in, welcome in. Too far to the right, but creates an interesting situation here. 
power, able to sneak around there on that shot. <coughs> Excuse me, chat. Oh, Harbaugh does the same thing on the other side. Nicely done. Tried to get soft on that one. Ends up going off the back of the board. And that slick side into the pile. That's interesting. I think vibration might make him fall. See a power drive through this. It does not fall. Keeping an eye on that bag. Doesn't look like it's moving anymore. So that will be three, five, nothing start here for Harbaugh. Jackson Gore in the lead, 12 to four over Jimmy McGuffin. Looks like Tanner Halbert is able to finish off Noah Wooten. So we'll probably go straight from Jimmy Eumann's match against Ryan Windsor to the bracket finals for uh, B bracket. Or C bracket, they're moving along quite nicely as well. Mike Jaquez in the lead, nine to two over Alan Rawls. Fisher Hamilton on deck and then Gavin Cano after that. Stop short. Doesn't get enough to go in. Washing out the round. Nate, you ain't lying. I didn't want to go through the brackets and make all my picks, but uh, so I just decided to pick Mark Richards to be the overall winner. Win three opens in a row heading into Worlds. Why not? disappoint you on that one, Molly. I wouldn't have minded. I appreciate that. I like parity, and uh, I would like to have more players in the tournament and champions than not. Right. <clears throat> it's different because Mark Richards won twice. He deserves a buy. Yes. I like that. I don't, unless somebody else wins twice, I don't want to just give them a buy because of the high seed. You know what I mean? So I would rather have either 15 or... Yeah, I guess I would rather have 15 players than 14. We got Ryan Windsor first. He was over there. Now he just left. There he is. Walking around. Oh, you guys have the same shorts on? Definitely not. He's close. Off sauce shorts. I'm wearing power hand shorts. Power hand. This is gonna be the power most. Hands. This is gonna be the most uh, vibrant short matchup I've ever seen. Probably. And they're long shorts, not like uh, Trusinski shorts. <laughs> Windsor, <laughs> Windsor has left all his opponents below ten in all his games winning today, and Johnny Torres says, "Shut up." <laughs> Well, let's take a gander at that. We got Windsor on the right hand side. He came from the bottom. Now he's here. Ha ha ha. See what I did Where's there. The... All right, Ryan Windsor, 24 to 4 over Aiden Anderson. Uh, 23 to 3 over Kingsbury. Okay. 21 nothing over Derricky. Okay. 24 to 5 over Juwan Smith. 23 to 6 over Frank Modlin. Right. We're just doing good. We're every doing every good. time I hear uh, Juwan Smith, I think of the movie Juana Man. <laughs> Same. I didn't, even, I didn't even watch that movie. You never watched it? No. It was like. But uh, I know of it. Okay. It's like a basketball white chicks, if you will. Like a dude dresses up as a girl to play in the WNBA. Makes sense. Because he got banned from the NBA. You gotta give it to Patrick about his style. He doesn't care. He just wants to be comfortable with what he wears. Yeah, that dude had his full stomach out with that yeah. jacket on yesterday. I think it might be worse today. Well, yeah, he's literally it's just wearing his a scarf. scarf. <laughs> Bro, 
OB. No block behind. Our ball's going up. Ooh, almost got all three. Just a little bit short. That bag might come back on vibration. It's on the fast side. So Jordan's trying to see how much room he's got. And he has good just shot. enough room. Nicely done. Jordan Powers on the board with a good shot there. Michigan rolling pretty deep to this tournament here. So do you think um, they have, like, a, I don't know, they're, like, driving distance, right? So do you think, um, based on... Like events in that area, the players do better. Oh, yeah, I think because of local support, driving distance, whatever. Yeah, local support. I think more to do with for me with how the boards play in that area, in that region. I agree. I think that like whenever we went out to the West Coast, I think the boards played a little bit faster. We favored a lot of West Coast players, sleeping on that same time zone, used to the speeds of the boards. Anything no, new in the pro, pro group chat? Uh, yeah, a little back and forth. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Such a good partner defending his partner. You know? Does that help or hurt? Because <laughs> um, there's no names involved. Either way, it's a good partner, right? It's like, yeah, I guess it's true. Got, got, it, got his back. Is there a way to filter out um, names on these dating sites? I keep getting... Names on dating sites? Yeah, I keep getting, like, I don't ever use them. Right. But I keep getting notifications that, like, Amber, you might be a great match. Like, can we eliminate anyone with the same name as my ex-wife? <laughs> like, in oh. the filter? <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't, no. I'm, I don't have any dating apps, unfortunately. Yeah, like I said, I don't use them. I download them all, and I just kind of keep getting notifications every now and then. Smith calling the distraction rule. <laughs> yep. This is still has to be one of the best celebrations I've ever seen. <laughs> Once for <yeah. laughs> when he made TV. So he actually threw like a 10-5 that game. Mm -hmm. I remember looking at the PBRs. Fall from grace for sure. With slide rates outside. That's impressive. You feel like it's a little keyboard warriorism right now? Yeah, I mean, I think so. There's, I'll keep that to myself. Yeah. It's... Like, if it's honestly that bad, say something. Right. Interesting. And Ethan, oh, that was yesterday. I so said Ethan trying to throw some poker yesterday. I did not see that. Yeah, I would have taken all the money. We ended up going to David Buster's. I think that's what I'm trying to do tonight. Played some Mario Kart. Dude, I'm not going to lie, man. You got me. I'm going to buy a little, uh, what's it called? A Switch. Switch now. Yeah. 
So you go to David Buster's to get some tickets. You can buy a Switch and get the tickets. There you go. Oh, man, he just rushed that one. Sometimes you see an opportunity presenting stuff like that. Jordan Power just did and just kind of rushed that shot. Step out. He's going to try to collect both of these. Still got a bag left in hand to do it. And he misses too far to the left on bag number four. Missed opportunity, 16 to seven. Our ball keeps the lead. Uh, hey, Wally put Damian Cantu on the broadcast. Probably not. Probably not. I'm trying to get these brackets done and over with. We're going to more than likely finish this next King Seat match with Jimmy and Ryan and then do bracket final. So if he makes it to a bracket final, I got him. If not, no can do for this one. And just a simple bratwurst, Johnny. I'm just trying to get, get through the day. Just trying to survive, man. That's my theme for the weekend. Just trying to survive. The brat. Brought. I had... Off to the right. Harbaugh with the chance for two. He'll finish up. I had a cheese pretzel, and then I had... Um, Jordan just got to sacrifice his bag. He can't go after this. It just had to happen. You can't go after that airmail right, and it, risk giving up five. Lose again. No. What were you saying? I had a cheeseburger, and I had a cheese pretzel. That's that was I the burger. The burger actually didn't look bad. No, I, no, I, no I had it every day. It's terrible. That's a shame. It's a guarantee, guaranteed to give heartburn. <laughs> Ooh, Jackson Gore right now, eight nothing over No Wooten. Tanner Halbert in the Kings League. Wow. Yeah. Mike Jacquez and Alan Rawls tied 12-12. I was gonna say I might have to bump you. Put you in a different court, but it looks like all the other brackets are far enough behind to where we won't miss much. So I'll keep you there, Jimmy. I'll keep you there. Say thank you. Say thank you. Say you're the man, Wong. Give me props. Whatever. Chirp, chirp. What was that? <laughs> right? What was that Tanner Halbert bracket B? You ever use the McDonald's app? Yes, all the time. I use it for the first time today. Not bad. It saves me, like, a lot of money, which is surprising. Like, it saves me about $3 minimum per order when I'm ordering by myself. So, like, my $12 to $15 order is, like, I did forget bucks. my receipt, though. Is there a way to get the receipt? Um, you can probably go app? through your orders and then, like, your recent orders or order history. Oh, yeah. One versus the Gore Richards game. You say who won? Yep, that's what I said. Uh, Richards won that one. 21 to 7. Logan Chamberlain will now take on Jeremy Shermerhorn. Winner gets Jacob Gore. Jeremy Shermerhorn. Oh, you went for the N1. Yeah, I respect it. He said he said he just boarded it. Yeah, 100%. Your McDonald's receipt app is in your email. I don't know. I don't get emails about it. Unless it goes to my spam. I guess I can hit reorder and then take a screenshot of the receipt, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what eat. Whoa. Dear Lord, that's a lot of points, dude, for just one breakfast thing. Yeah, that's rookie numbers, dude. Oh, this is? Okay, I was yeah. going to say, I was like, I think it's like over and over again? I think it's like 6,000 points. Is it like, for, is it like uh, COD like, points where it's like it'll get further and further of a gap between your tiers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, I think like 6,000 points is like a, a double or a quarter pounder or something. Thanks for placing a mobile order. Ooh, more mobile receipt. Let's go. There you go. So I've seen uh, Jordan Power come back on TV before from a uh, 20 to 2 
lead, so it's very possible on 27. Let's see what you did there. I'll allow it. 27, 20 rounds in. Pretty great content so far this weekend. That's because we're on, Molly. Yeah. We always get good content. Who knows what the live feeds will look like next year? Trying to trying to hype the ACL up about a two-man crew. Maybe get Jake Brandon out here and uh, have him on the road with me. Just have him hire me, dude. You know how many times I've been going on to him lately? <laughs> I'd be able to get on it right away. I say you even had uh, success today and been able to help me out. So. so when you're winning, it's easy because you have a lot of time to wait. That's true. But when you're losing, you don't wait. Hope we see both Ellis on live next. That's the match to see. What? Again? Rematch? Say we already saw Ellis versus Ellis. You must be at the very beginning. You must be at the very beginning, accidentally rewound and commenting at the end of the video type thing. So I like how you could actually go back now rather mm -hmm. than just everything's live. You're welcome. Yep. But the only issue is that, like, if I am driving and I'm listening to it, it'll lose internet, and then all of a sudden I'm, like, 80 minutes behind, and I'm like, <laughs> right, oh, wow, right. well, what happened? Would like to see Jordan go back to Ultra? I don't know. I think, I don't think it's a, the bags that made the difference. That'll do her. I think it's um, the talent pool. Like, the talent is so much better now. I do like him throwing slinkies. The faster bag, I think, is better for him with his you know, yes. calm release, but he prefers throwing the actual bag, so we'll see. All right, Jimmy, you got some work to do, brother. Yeah, I'll All right. be back. Humans, Windsor, when we come back. Good luck, brother.
All right, chat, yeah, welcome back. Had to take a quick break to the bathroom, but uh, came back, missed two rounds. All sudden, it's down 7 nothing. Windsor in the lead. Windsor has been uh, in control of his opponents, to say the least. It's a very, very loud Shorts matchup. Shorts got it going on in this match. That's what I need next year. I need a Shorts sponsor. So it's got to have Jake with you, heck of a thrower and commentator. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Ryan Wienfeld, what up, brother? Moses, how you guys doing? Welcome in. 7 nothing start here. Give you guys an update on brackets, where we stand. Alex Rawls sitting in the king seat in bracket A. Justin Burton Jr. waiting for either Damian Cantu, Bo Maggart, Bob Vonch, or Jake Krasinski. Right now, Bo Maggart in the lead, 20-19 over Bob Vonch. In the B bracket. We got Tanner Halbert sitting in the king seat. Noah Wooten is down 20 to 6 to Jackson Gore. Jackson Gore just on fire right now, trying to get to the championship match against Tanner Halbert. That'll be next. Bracket C, Gavin Cano in the king seat, waiting for either Fisher Hamilton, Mike Jacquez, or Alan Rawls. Alan Rawls in the lead, 20 to 18 over Mike Jacquez. Joe dead in bracket D will take on either Bobby Babilia or Darren Zastra. That match is underway on court 10. No score there yet. Devin Harbaugh in the king seat of bracket E. Jordan Power waiting for either Travis Purser. Storm Hogue and Steve Bernicet starting on court 21. Andrew Neese, 12. Timmy Jonas, 17 over on court 13. So that one's got a little bit to go in that bracket. Bracket F, we got these two gentlemen here playing for the king seat. Frank Modlin. Taking on Derek Holland. Holland in the lead there, 17 to 6. Ian Cripps in the lead, 6 to 2 over Damon Dennis. Adam Misner in the king seat of bracket G, waiting for either Jaden Ellis, Caleb Batson, Kyle Malone, or Zach Aiken. Kyle Malone in the lead, 9 to nothing over Zach. And then bracket H, Mark Richards in the king seat. Jacob Gore waiting for either Logan Chamberlain or Jeremy Schirmerhorn. Logan Chamberlain in the lead there, 19 to 6. Here, humans mounting a little bit of a comeback, trying to get back into this one. Good blocker, Windsor stepping out. Comes in right behind it. Human misses his landing spot too far to the right. Let's see if Windsor wants to drive through. Slick side down. And he misses too far to the right as well. He wins with a little tap, knocks his bag in. And they're stepping out, sticky side into the pile, just try to get his bag a little bit closer. And Human's gonna take the shot, misses too far to the left. Windsor's turned now to take the shot and he will get the drag. That is going to be an eight on five, I believe, for three points. And that is going to make it 10 to four. Windsor regains first throw as we enter round number seven.
Ginzer finishes off another fourth bag. Humans with one off to the side, puts in bag number four. A little bit of damage control down 12 to four right now. Windsor has just been trucking along, no doubt about it. Bob Vonch finishes off Bo, so now he'll take on Trzinski. will now take on Kyle Malone on court 32. And Logan Chamberlain to take on Jacob Gore on court 35. Jimmy can collect that bag. It's underneath it. Doesn't get the crib. Doesn't push it up. Stays on the edge. Two more points for Windsor. Shot there by Windsor, kind of taking away center lane, making it more difficult for Jimmy to push through. Drives through on that one, and Windsor does the same thing. I might be thinking airmail here from Jimmy. And he is, he just misses too far to the right and deep. The reason I go airmail there is because you basically want to hit his bag, kind of like you're going for a bar of soap. Just to free up that back corner of his bag, get two points out of that round. That push through there from Windsor. Jimmy is now down to his final mistake. Windsor finishes bag number four. And Jimmy does the same thing on the other side, but not before he gives up two points. It's going to make the score 19 to four. All right, Windsor throwing a solid 10 right now. Jimmy Eumann's throwing an 8.5. Looks like Jackson Gore will take down Noah Wooten. So we got our first championship match set. It'll be Tanner Halbert versus Jackson Gore. Jeff says this comeback is going to be epic. Do it. So just like that, Ryan Windsor continues to keep all opponents under 10 points, earns a king seat here in bracket F. Jimmy Eumann's headed to the loser's bracket. He's going to take on either Damon Dennis, Derek Holland, or Ian Cripps. To take a commercial break. When we come back, we'll have our first bracket finals. See you in a few.
What up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Canton, Ohio. We got our first bracket finals. Jackson Gore will take on Tanner Halbert. The winner of this match goes to the final portion, the single elimination, where eight players battle it out for your open number 16 uh, tournament title and advance to the tournament of champions, hopefully. Jacob Gore in the lead, 9-2 over Logan Chamberlain on court 35. We've got our next uh, bracket final set. Joe Neistead will take on Brandon Babilia next. We've got some business to attend to here, though. Some of the other brackets playing a little catch-up. This is our first bracket uh, finalist here. Tanner Halbert came in as the sixth seed, defeated Jack Ogle, 25 to seven. 22 to 10 over Roland Coburn. 21-4 over Jimmy McGuffin. And then 22-14 over Quinn Reeves, 22 to 12 over Newell Wooten to get to this point. Jackson Gore, a little different story. Lost first match to Sarah Cassidy, 21 to 12. Went over to the loser's bracket early. Had to battle his way, though, uh, pretty much all the way there. 26-4 over Blair Snyder. 25-15 over Brian Edwards. 21-4 over Roland Coburn. 24-4 over Dawson Manuel. 21-18 over Sarah Cassidy. Got the revenge there. 21-9 over Tony Smith. 21-15 over Quinn Reeves. 22-6 over Jimmy McGuffin. 27 to 8 over Noah Wooten to get to this point. They're finishing their down and backs. Again, this is for the B bracket finals. A lot of rounds had to be thrown to get here. Who you got, Chad? Who you guys taking in this one, though? Tanner Halbert will have to be double dipped by Jackson Gore. Nathan, not going to have all bracket finals. I'm going to try and get as many of them as I can to you, depending on how the schedule looks like and the timing of it. We've got eight brackets to finish off, then single elimination portion. Probably bring you three games there in those finals. And then that'll be it. That'll put a bow on season 16, or I'm sorry, <laughs> open 16 and end the open series. Jeff, you better get that out of here, man. We ain't going two games. We don't need two games today. Got both these guys rocking the AAR cornhole jersey. It's a good time to mention the K9 collab that's going on right now. Got the K9 collab for the AAR cornhole bags. The 4th of July. Give them a peek. Check them out. Do nothing start here for Halbert. Melvin and Wendy Jackson, get it out of here. We're not starting this early. Crazy how fast the season flew by. Felt like open number one yesterday. Speak for yourself, man. It has been a grind. Jackson able to finish off there on bag number four. It has been a grind, but the last few months have definitely flown by. Just nonstop on the road. Bag off to the right side of the hole there from Jackson creates an opportunity for Tanner to get at least a couple. Now 
That one off to the left. A little bit closer to being in play, but not without going up to get it. We'll see. And he'll skip over the hole, and now Tanner has a chance to go in here for six. And he will get it. That's going to make it eight to two. Big round here in round three. Unfortunate roll there at the last second from Jackson. Francie Halbert in the chat says, let's go, Tanner. Kyle Anderson, Ryan Trader checking in. What up, guys? Welcome in, welcome in. Score update on court 35. Logan Chamberlain and Jacob Gore tied 9-9. Trying to get back to the finals against Mark Richards in the H bracket. Tom Malone 9-2 over Caleb Batson. Winner gets Jaden Ellis. Damon Dennis now in the lead, 18-12 over Ian Cripps. Fisher Hamilton in the lead, 13-5 over Allen Rawls. Gavin Cano on deck for that one. It's a low blocker, but it is in Jackson's lane. Jackson tried rolling over it. Give him all that space. He still almost found a way to hit the truss. And he left just enough there for Tanner to go up top to hit the airmail to wash out the round. Eight to four. Yeah, Joe K and Brandon will be next, Nathan. <laughs> Zach says, all here is Florida. Maybe I need to move to Florida. Maybe that'll help my game. That was a competitive division look in Florida. Got some slightly awkward knuckles there. There's a lot more to it than just uh, picking up a bag and throwing it, JT. Contracts, conversations, and relationships go a long way. I think Tanner's pretty happy with AAR. Time out here from Jack's going to take a look at it. Mind made up on what he wants to do here. Bryce says Florida isn't as good as Michigan or Texas. Whoa. I don't think Florida's as good as Texas. But I definitely think it's better than Michigan. Big shot there from Jackson. Firing himself up now because of it. 10-6. Hit right there to steal a couple points. Gets first throw. He's down the middle and in. Michigan number one. Nah, dude. Nah, dude. Calls him how's I sees him.
Tanner using the Jedi Force on that one to keep that one from falling back in. I don't think that's fair. Jackson doesn't even know about the Force before his time. Tanner, though, hits the final shot. Uses what he was taught. Keeps that pack on the back of the hole. 12 to 6 on the scoreboard. Gets first shot back. Immediately fires it off to the left-hand side. We're going to get a timeout here. I think Jackson wants to either change the song or kind of take a breather. He's going to take a breather, get a little water here. Quick score update in bracket A. Jake Trzinski in the lead, 8-2 to two over Damian Cantu. Allen Rawls down 17-7 to, to Fisher Hamilton. Travis Purser in the lead, 13-4 to, to Andrew Neese. Storm Hogue up 14-13 to Steve Bernisset. Two bags now off to the side for Halbert. Jackson trying to get back into this by winning the mental game. So far looking so good, actually. Ian Cripps eliminated now by Damon Dennis. Tom Malone, 15-12 over Caleb Batson. And Jacob Gore able to finish off Logan Chamberlain. So we will have Brandon Baby against Joe Neistead next, and then Mark Richards versus Jacob Gore after that. Jackson unable to get the cut around on the final shot there. How cool would it be to have a Gore versus Gore final here for open number 16? Jackson misses his roll to the left. First shot hits a dead spot on the board. Tanner should have no problem getting over that. That one's down the middle and in. I heard uh, Jake Gore somewhere around here. There he is. And again, Tanner just adjusting his release point, throwing a little bit higher to get over that, ba that bag that's in the way. Changed it there for the airmail up top. Off the back it goes. Nine on eight for the round. Bussin. What are you doing with those two right there? You saving them? You forgot them? <laughs> Awfully muddy here. Slick side hard into the pile. Gets two of his to fall. Tanner might be able to collect this bag on the right. Got underneath it. Doesn't get the drip. But he is in good position. Jackson wants to use his bag as a bumper. He rolled over instead. 
don't know if I like that call. Looks over at his mom. His mom says that's okay. 17 to 8, though. Tanner Halbert, four points away from taking this one down. Fire there from Tanner. Jackson let him off the hook, though. Tanner again misses his landing spot. Yelling at the bags, tell him to stop. Currently, right now, it looks like it is four on three. Tanner in the lead this round. Jackson missed two pushes at this. I wouldn't be surprised if Tanner just goes up top here. And he does, hits it clean, seven on three. There's the four he needs. Jackson misses the push and somehow goes off the back of the board. Tanner Halbert finally taking down a bracket. Jackson Gore eliminated, just unfortunate. Couldn't figure out the board to get that push going. Unbelievable. When we come back though, we are going to get Joe Neistat against Brandon Babilia. See you in a few. All right, chat, welcome back here to Canton, Ohio. Brandon and Joe have made their way to the court. They're going to play now. Congratulations to Tanner Halbert taking down the B bracket. On deck for the live stream court, though, Mark Richards will take on Jacob Gore. Jake Krasinski in the lead now, 22 over Damian Cantu. Kevin Cano and Fisher Hamilton will battle out for the C bracket championship.
Damon Dennis, 20 to four right now over Derek Holland. Winner of that one gets Jimmy Humans. Kyle Malone finishes off Caleb Batson, 28 to 19. Jaden Ellis on deck. As they finish their down and backs here, chat, we're starting to wind things down. How do you watch court three? Type in hashtag CRT3 in the chat. And it will show you court three. I promise. I promise. Justin Burton Jr. and Jacob Trzinski will now square off. There it is. There's court three. I'm a man of my word. I'm a man of my word. Well, we are live here. Got some Viper R's. I'm trying to see what Buffalo's... Look like it said fallout at the bottom of that. I can't tell. Nothing start here for Joe Neistead. Oops, sorry about that. My bad chat. See, that's what happens when you throw in court three. It messes things up. Fallout X's. Gavin Cano and Fisher Hamilton will start on court seven. I'll keep you guys updated on that one. Kind of play it by ear to see where the other bracket finals are at, if they can be played here. Airmail there by the baby. Yeah. There you go. There's your court three again. Back to court one we go. Dead. A little bit on the left-hand side. I think that's going to go, though. It's got a lot of resin halfway in already. And he will get to collect there on bag number four. Hashtag court seven. All right, bet. There you go. Court seven. Court three, 
bet. Court three. There you go. Back to court one we go. Woo. You guys are keeping me busy now with these hashtags going in. You guys just want to see every court. Joe's going to adjust the board a little bit. Got it where he wants it. Court 69. Bet. There you go. Back to court one. Court 41, it was somewhere in there. <laughs> it was somewhere in that plethora of courts out there. Trzinski is in the lead over Justin Burton Jr. over on court three, two to nothing there. Jody said is in the king seat here. Brandon's going to have to win two in a row. He's got two bags off to the side there, so. Joe Kay's going to start pulling away a little bit. Purser and Bernasek going to start over on court 13. Winner of that one gets Jordan Power. Damon Dennis and Jimmy, uh, sorry, yeah, Jimmy Humans starting over on court 25. Tom Malone and Jaden Ellis tied 2-2 two two over on court 32. And then next up here on the live stream court, Jake Gore and Mark Richards. Can't get court 100, Joe. Can't get court 100. You know that. You know that. Appreciate you, David. Uh, sorry, Bobby. You did not put a hashtag in front of that there. You did not follow the instructions, so no core three for you. Off to the left-hand side. Another opportunity for Joe. Just kind of tuning him to death right now. Two and four. Two and four. Two and four. Another chance here for four. Going to have a diverse set of people in the finals, it looks like. No matter who wins this match here, it's going to be different than what we're used to. Not really seeing rollback players here in the open, at least today. Krasinski in the lead, 8-2 to two over Justin Burton, Jr. Yeah, Darren Zastra lost to Bobby Babilia, 28-0 to zero to get to this championship match. This is the winner's final. This is the bracket final here in the D bracket. Twelve to two. Joe K throwing a solid eleven, not giving many opportunities for Bobby. He's throwing nine point three three. Says a Florida player will win today. How vague is that? Good back block, but there is a lane. Who 
collect there from Brandon. Kind of teasing tight with that uh, toe in the line. Just saying. Just keep an eye on that. Let's put a pin in that one. <clears throat> how many ways are you gonna? How many different ways are you gonna try and say his last name? Dude, I'm, it's I, it's so hard for me not to say Bobby Bonilla. I did that all of last season whenever he was on the court. I said Bobby Bonilla, Brandon Bonilla, so many times. But B is where I'm sticking. At least I'm gonna try to. Trzinski in the lead, eight to five over Justin Burton Jr. Big push there from Joe K. Fires through the pile, gets a couple more. I think four points to be exact on this big three bag push. Big hit. Tyler, that's exactly what I hit. That's exactly what I said. That's exactly how I said it. Sometimes it depends on where you're listening the airwaves, you know, mix up with the actual output sounds like. So maybe you might have misheard it a little bit. But that's all right. I forgive you. Plus four right there for Bobilia. <laughs> I know, John. It's one of the best contracts in all sports. Bobby Bini is still getting paid. Fisher Hamilton now in the lead 5-0 over on court seven against uh, Gavin Cano. Travis Purser, 4 0 start over Stephen Bernasette, Damon Dennis, and Jimmy Humans yet to begin. Tom Malone and Jaden Ellis tied 4 4. Missed roll attempt there from Neistead. And Baba Yaga is going to take a timeout to go look at it. Yeah, that's the last one. That was the last one I got. Going back to Bobilla. Give some aim and fuel. The water variety. He's got an idea now of how he wants to handle this final shot. He will hit it clean. Brandon's airmail is good. Made the highlight reel last year hitting uh, the four bag airmail drag in Cincinnati. Alex, yeah, Brandon's, Brandon is always considered one of the best non pros there is. You ain't lying. Krasinski still in the lead, eight to seven over there on court three. Hamilton in the lead, five nothing now. And he's dead five points away from taking down this bracket. Brandon putting up a pretty good fight. Ooh, 
Look at a leaner more than likely should go. And Joe just goes in with it. 12 on 12 social. Let's go. Got to take my cap off before you could actually drink it. Idiot. Who drinks soda with a cap on? I think nobody saw me. Brandon Babaya. If you don't get it going. Oh, Brian. I see what you did there. How dare you, Brian. You know I gotta read everything in the chat. Another email from Brandon. And I'm at the right spot. Roll attempt coming. Joe K able to get over with that roll. And Brandon unable to get anything going. Just shaking his head as he's walking down. Joe seems to be hitting everything he needs to right now. Death by a thousand cuts. 18 to 11. There on the edge, Joe K fires right through it. Final back here for points, and it will go in. This one's got to be in to stay alive, and it catches just enough for the hole to drip back in. But another two points again. Joe K is kind of inching along here, 20 to 11. Joe K throwing a 10 point through eight right now. Seven total four baggers in 14 rounds. Blocker here. Joe's already got one in. Replacement. And Brandon cleans it up, heading into the final four bags here in the round. Joe K puts that one in. Brandon off just to the right a little bit. And he goes there. Now Bobby has to pull out another airmail drag. Angry at himself for missing that shot to begin with. Sticky side down, bag is away, hits the airmail clean. Just could not get the drag. Joe K takes it down. Good run, though, for Brandon B. Uh, good to see him back on the broadcast courts. Joe K takes down the bracket here in bracket D. When we come back, guys, Mark Richards versus Jacob Gore. We'll see you in a few.
All engine running. Lift off. We have a lift All right, chat, welcome back. Canton, Ohio. Got a good one here for you. Mark Richards against Jacob Gore. This is for your H bracket title. Who's going to take down the H bracket? K9, joining the booth here by Jackson Gore. What up, brother? What's up? This should be a fun one, man. Have a Obviously, fun I'm uh, I'm biased. I gotta root for Jake. Yeah, it's all right, man. I just hope for a good game. We're uh, we're making decent time. Getting yeah, my a few bracket's these already done like 20 minutes ago at like 1:45 ish. Yeah, Melvin and Wendy Jackson says two scoop time. Let's go, with Jacob. Who said that? Uh, Melvin and Wendy Jackson. Appreciate that, Jeff King. A lot what? of work goes into those. See, that's what my bags were doing, hanging up like that. Do the boards play really slow? Uh, my brother said up here plays slower, but for me, they played a lot faster. Faster than thought. Update over on court number three, Jake Trzinski and Justin Burton Jr. tied 12 to 12. The winner of that one plays Alex Rawls. Good to see Alex Rawls making a deep, deep run again. I believe he needs the win to maintain his number one title in opens. In open standings? Yep. Fisher Hamilton, uh, 14 to 8 over Gavin Cano. I believe that's game one over on court seven. Wait, who is it? Fisher and Gavin? Fisher and Gavin, yeah. Travis Purser, 2 nothing right now over Jordan Power. Winner of that one gets Devin Harbaugh. Jimmy Humans, 10 to 4 over Damon Dennis. Winner of that one gets Ryan Windsor. And Kyle Malone, 14 to 6 over Jaden Ellis. Winner of that one gets Adam Hisner. That is for the G bracket. Roll it. You got to roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Good shot, boy. Two to two. Should we have a 30-something round game like they did at the, at the uh, what's it called? If, if we're going to have a 30-something round game, now's the time to do it because yeah. because we're ahead of all the other brackets. If we were the last one, I'd be Was like, Was I the first one to finish my bracket? Uh, Yeah, you guys were the first like the ones. first time of your lifetime for me. My bracket gets finished first. There's a lot of boards, though, so it was pretty easy. Yeah, on. 100 boards. Let's do 100 boards everywhere we go. For real, let's get a big dome again. This is a very nice place. Other than, like, it's either hot or really really yeah. hot or really cold. It, re it is. It's either hot or cold. I think yesterday was so cold, though, because of the rain. Yeah. Like, once it rained, it cooled down the outer area. Jake finishes off bag number four. Mark does the same thing on the other side. Social. My brother said he's tired of getting second and opens, and he wants to win, or win his bracket at least. I don't know which one he was saying. He said he's tired of getting second all the time. 
In order to beat the best, or be the best, you got to beat the best. And Mark Richards on a two-win streak right now. So Jake could end this that streak if he double dips him, right? Yeah, yeah. And then we would uh, kind of take a bigger look at the picture as far as the tournament of champions goes. I know Joe Neistat has won his bracket. He's already taken down an open, so he's in the tournament of champions. Wait, so that was a that him and Bobilia was a. That was, was a final, final as well, yeah. Brandon Bobilia is really good. Ain't that how you say his last name? Chat and I have been arguing nonstop. About his last name? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I said it right. Oh, that's four. Six to two, Jake. Zach Shibby says, great run, son. Jackson, proud papa here. Let's go, Jake. Don't worry. Hey, are you going to be there for the USA Cornhole stuff at Worlds? I should be there. I'll be playing, though. What's it called? Me and Shibner are playing together in that. Okay. Puddin says, you did amazing, Jackson Gore. Brandy says, amazing run by Jackson Gore. I see you, boy. Come on, Jake. I just don't want Jake to chase that bag. You're already up four points. You give up your two, you're still down by two. Or up by two, my bad. There's the chase you're talking about. He does go after it. It's going to be a tough slick side grab to get out of those. I don't think you should go for it, though. But no, now you can. Yeah, now you can. Mark gives you a little bit of help there by putting that bag as a cushion. Come on, Jake. Hard into the pile. Oh, Off the back of the board gone. he goes. I'm pretty sure Mark's bag is moving. Looks like it just stopped. PPR killer, guys. Sorry. Oh, and, oh, they and Mark wedged himself. So Jake let off the hook a little wow, bit there. That's Six crazy. to five. PPR check after that PPR killer. Jake's at, still out of 10 2, and Mark's at a 10. Melvin and Wendy says, Jackson and Jake, two of the most respectful young men we've met. ESPN really enjoyed you guys in Georgia. Thank you, Melvin and Wendy. Let's go. What up, Daniel? Welcome from the UK. How you doing? All right, let's get you guys a score update. I know you guys are dying for it. Uh oh What did I do here? I broke something. Good shot. All right, Jake Krasinski and Justin Burton Jr. tied 17-17. Fisher Hamilton up 16 14 over Gavin Cano. Travis Purser 10 to 6 over Jordan Power. Jimmy Humans 10 to 8 over David Dennis. Hey, my, my, uh. Um... Kyle Malone 28 over Jaden Ellis. Man, shut up. Well, well. Tell Grayson Waller to be quiet. Uh -oh. I ain't play no Fortnite cash games, bro. Gotta get you on Warzone. I play, I play, yeah, I play Warzone a little bit. All right. I play a lot of racing games, like NASCAR and stuff. You got you good setup for that, or just regular? No, I just have a regular setup. Well, I don't want to get you a chair. Yeah, and the hydraulics I, and everything, man. Do it right. I don't want my whole life to be video games. I want to stay on cornhole, so. That's, that's why, why I focus just... on two things. Race car driving and cornhole. <laughs> Yo, be quiet, Garrett. Uh. What's up, Douglas Six to five Parker? here, Gore in the lead. Richards with first shot, round number eight. My 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 streak of losing on the on your broadcast court continues. <laughs> Don't put that on me, man. That ain't me. Yeah, it's it's you. <laughs> if I have Bernie and or no, I can't see that because you were on that yeah, court too. Bernie, yeah. Yeah, so I, you gotta add Bernie with you, and then I might win. Okay. I do not play Roblox, Colby. Be quiet. Adam Hissner and Kyle Malone up next on the live stream court. 
It's another four-bagger wash, dude. They need to make it interesting. Don't you think, Wally? I'm fine. I'm fine with it where it's at right now. We're making good pace. Justin Burton Jr. finishes off <laughs> Jake Krasinski. So Justin Burton Jr. will now take on Alex Rawls. Hey, did you see what um, Nate Andre, I think his name is? And what he said? He said Jacob could be... Jacob could be one of Mark's students, well, that he teaches. Ain't Mark a PE teacher, right? Uh, a teacher? I don't know if it's a PE teacher. I can't remember. It's a PE. I don't know. Oh, Colby Sc Scavello. Um, I will not be able to pry him. He, he, he's definitely better than me. But once I add a world championship to my tight, tight national championship to my resume, oh, yeah. I'll be better than him. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta knock off that uh, world title, then all of a sudden, you got yeah. bragging rights for a long time. Yeah, bro, I'm, a, I'm some bum right now, but after Worlds, everybody's gonna want me. But it, uh, it's, you got a it's chance for tough. any partner in the ACL? Who'd you take? Um, for the season. For a season? For the season. Uh, shoot, this is tough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, God. I'd go... So if you win a world title, you get your pick. I'd go with... Braden Wilson. Oh, okay. What? Right. I like that. The kid's just... His energy is unmatched, I feel like. And... Us too. I try to be confident with Jake, but we just don't get on the same page that long. But if, if you put me and Braden together, we probably would have mo the most confidence. Yeah, you guys would fire each other up for sure. Yeah. What's it called? Like yesterday when I played with Trevor, the Caballero. Mm -hmm. Like this one game, we were down 12 to 2 in rounders to uh, Alan Rawls and Chris Kingsbury. I took a timeout, pumped Trevor up. I said, let's go, boy. You got to have the mentality that you're still in the game because he was looking down. I said, you can't look down. And we came back, made it a game. We lost 21-16, but we made him sweat. So that's all that matters. Jacob is listening to rap music, most likely. Mr. Hamilton, 20-17 to now over Gavin. Alex Rawls starting on court three against Justin Burton Jr. I'll keep you guys updated on that one. Jake is throwing an 11-1. Mark's throwing an even 11. Damon Dennis up 20 to 10 over Jimmy Humans. A <laughs> little baby. Yeah, probably. It wouldn't surprise me. Guess what? I'll tell y'all what I was listening to all day. I was listening to Drake. Drake? So at the... Um, <clears throat> That's the curse right there. You want to talk about guys who curse their teams. Hey, bro. This Drake is the curse, not me. Yeah. Uh-oh, this could be bad. Uh, I say you leave it alone give up your four. Because if you go off, you give up... Oh, Jake. You said this be last smart. time, and there's, there's a cushion. Tried rolling over See, it. See, that's what my bags didn't do. That's stupid. I don't know. You had an exact situation like that, too, where you tried to roll over that bag. And it's it sat there. Home. Yeah, but you're like, why even roll over that? Why don't you just go board? It's the same thing. Because board, it could fall. He was throwing fast, fast bags. I don't know. Those bags were fast. They're game times, and these boards are faster. Yeah, I didn't think they were going. I didn't think it was in jeopardy going in, though. Jacob is 14 years old. I am his twin. He is a minute older than me. Gangster rap, right? <laughs> uh, Taylor Swift. Someone said uh, Taylor Swift. Nah, it's, it's kids bop, guys. Don't get it. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Sup, Angel Camarino. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. Oops. Six side off the back there. Chance for Mark to extend this to double digits. Yes, Jeremy Smith it has. Come on, Jake. He switched against Mark in the King's Heat game. Was he up right here on the King's Heat game, or was he not on the broadcast for King's Heat? He wasn't on the broadcast for King's Heat. Yeah, yeah he had switched to Witchers against Mark in the King's Heat. I'm trying to think who we had him play here. You played him against Shermerhorn. Shermerhorn, that's it. 
uh, after that round, let's see what the... <coughs> 20 to 19, Hamilton still in the lead over Kano. Jake's throwing a 10-6-7. Mark Richards with an 11-17. Brandon Brown, oh, Brandon Brown says I'm not 14. I'm going on 38 with that height. That's a little too old for me. That's well, like they measure differently in Canada. Yeah, they everything's different in Canada. I think they use the metric aging system. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Come on. Roll. Good job by let's, Mark let's getting get in behind that bag. Roll that beautiful bean footage, and it's not good. I like what you're trying to do there. I like it, Jackson. Keep it up. What? Spon what the? Sponsorship's going to come rolling in. <laughs> Bush's best beans. The saucy sheriff. <laughs> oh. Good shot. Nice roll. That's, it's still pushable, but it's definitely going to be a hard push. But if anyone can get it, it's Mark Richards. What? You see this comment, Wally? Yeah. Can we get in the rule book that tiebreaker and round limited format game or format oh, goes man. to mini boards? It's not going to help speed it up. Now we got to set up mini boards and. Hey, literally. Backs, I don't like that. I don't like that. Let's do a coin flip. Did you get my airmail on replay? You get an airmail? Dang, bro, you missed it. I don't know what I got on replay. It's all right. I, I wouldn't want any of those bags by me on replay. Terrible. Uh, that looks like it's a tanner. I think I did. I think I got you on replay. Want to see the brothers come to Canada next year? Oof, I got to get a passport, right? You got to get a passport to go to Canada? Yeah, yeah. Sheesh. Jeremy, it's an, it's like an all right idea. Do you guys get annoyed by people who take the time to throw? No, I don't care. If you take your time, you take your time, good. I feel like Jacob does. Probably, because he throws the fastest crap. Side-by-side -side action there. Both bags leaning in. If you know Mark Richards, he's not going to get affected by a little bit of movement. So side down misses too far to the right. Someone said Jacob moving too much while Mark is shooting. Mark is not getting bothered. I, I love when we come to it. venues like this and you look around. You see, like, the fire marshals and the policemen yeah. and the staff starting to get into it. Like, Jacob missed that one, kind of looked aside, and the staff over there was like, you're okay. All right, here's your replay. For real? Oh, gosh. I don't want to watch this. No. This is your one good no. shot. Pew. Pew, pew. You always watch the good shots. They say oh, pew, pew. Oh, oh, oh don't get, get, you don't, get out. You don't want to watch that one. No, you I don't want to watch that one. Sorry. Sorry. I don't want to watch my bags do stupid stuff. Stupid. How do you, how does that hang up? It was, huh? <laughs> Which Gore brother wins at the at-home singles game? Oh, I crap on Jake in the driveway. Fisher Hamilton takes down game number one. Against Gavin Cano? Yeah, they're heading to game number two oh, on court on, seven. Sir. What's good, Justin Wally? Burton Jr. in the lead, seven to nothing over Alex Rawls. Mm -mm, that's not the call. Yeah, hey, he's he's being dumb. You push that bag right there. Push it. Speaking of Braden Wilson, ooh, roll doesn't Braden, get all the way over. Come commentate. Mark is gonna get two come more. Come commentate with me. I was just talking about you. How he said pick one person you'd play with in the entire league, and I picked you. He said pick one person that you would want to play with in the entire league, and I picked you. You could go around right there. <laughs> what? I know that's what I told him. I said, hey, you hear that, Wally? He uh -uh. said, we'd have good energy. I said, yeah, our confidence would be unmatched. Yep. What up, Braden? What's up? <sighs> this might sting a little bit, but uh, next match here will be Adam Hissner against Kyle Malone. <laughs> good Dang. run, though, today, brother. Thank you. 
Yeah, he, oh, had, a, he had a better run than me. That's a good open for you, man. Overall, no, I did not. Experience. I'd have put. I I went three and two. What'd you get? Fifth in your bracket? I don't know. Oh, dude, Mark's in the zone. We got on the PPRs there, Jackson. Bro, look at Trevor. He just walked across the game. I know. He he did that in my he's, game. He's I was a, like, dude, Tanner's going to get he's mad. He's a Skittles like. bandit, dude. Look at him. T hey, stop stealing Wally Skittles. Go tell your daddy to get you some. <laughs> 16 to 6. Mark five points away from finishing this one off. Let's see the PPRs, guys. Got a thousand viewers ten. in the chat here. Make sure you guys hit the thumbs up button, please. Appreciate you all tuning in. A 10-7-5 oh from Lord. Mark Richards and a 10-1-3 from Jacob Ward. I think Mark Richards ten, always throws a 10-7-5 in everything he does. <laughs> Either that or over 11. Puts in a yeah. lot of practice. If I told you Mark Richards practices four hours and 10 minutes a day, you're going to practice four hours and 11? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely. You got to one-up him. No, I do like, I, I play like six hours on an average a day. It, I haven't really been practicing that much recently, but when I normally do, it's like normally like six hours like how average. About, how about Jake? Like an hour. What? Yeah, but he what? literally of uh, practicing. He do, he does not practice as much as me, and he's good. That's what I'm I do. Which one do you want to drive to St. Louis and be my partner for a tournament on August 12th? Wait, is that the Newtown Throwdown? No, it's a Bush Battle or Bags Brawl. Y'all going to Throwdown? Spencer's? The, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You? What's y'all's crew coach? Yeah, I am. What's uh, your crew coach team? Turpin and right, Franklin. I'll be, I'll be in touch with them. Oh, that's a good team. They asked Jimmy us Eumann's to... out. They asked us to play, uh, like, the day after last year, so... Uh, I said, yeah. Who was it? Sorry. Turpin and Franklin. Okay. Oh, that's, like, the first miss. It's not a miss, but, like, you know what I'm saying? From Mark in a while. So yeah, he's he'll get it. I doubt he even yeah. cares about it right now at this point. Oh, oh wow. Can. Jake needs a sit. Sit. Perfect, oh. perfect. I mean, that's decent. You want to know what I want to see right here? You want to know what I see right here? You roll? Airmail. No, bar soap. He's not bar soap. Yeah, he's him. He's rolling this. <laughs> he, oh, yep. Time out. You're time out. Dude, if Jake can somehow get, like, four more right here, just expect him to go crazy. He's going to get hype. Oh, he's already walking over there his mom. Yeah, getting a sip of Pepsi. You know. Yeah. Got to chill out for a second. So, Wally, how you been doing today? I'm good, man. Good. I'm just trying to survive the weekend. That's good. <laughs> Get I back can't wait to, for uh, Worlds. Worlds relaxation is going to be so fun. Time, Worlds is going to be fun. I can't wait to play. Cash it, games. Yeah. When do you guys get there? I guess you guys live close. You're gonna be there. 45 all? minutes. I'm gonna be there every, every day. day. Uh huh. Well, what? If I make TV Saturday. Saturday Ready when I want, what? I want you to sit in the front world? row. Oh wait, yeah. Ain't uh intermediate competitive on TV? Yeah, on Saturday. Sheesh. Oh, gee. Uh, no, hey, they could budge. There's a possibility. No, they're. I don't think they'll budge. Ask, hey, Wally. Remember how I was bunching earlier? Jake needs to get lucky and hope that happens again. Jake, whoa, two mount, oh. two timeouts. How many timeouts has, has he used? Well, Three? Uh, no, he's use, I don't think he's used. I, I think these the are his first, first two. Gavin and Fisher might, playing over there. I might be thinking air mill if I mark here. Mm, nah. You know, that, you know what? It might be better for him just to kind of hit that right side and make sure those two bags on the right yeah. fall. Yeah. Oh, definitely. And just give up two points here. Yeah. No, I, I would just go straight on it, and if it clogs, it clogs. Clogs, you up six. No, no four. Jake's got a bag left. No, she's got oh, a bag left. left. I don't know. I still like. I still like just kind of sacrificing bag in hand to get that tap in. Jake's gonna have to hit that cut to get the two. Oh, you don't throw it, bro. Yeah, I got say. He's not gonna throw it. He was over the line when he threw that bag, though. That's a penalty. Twelve points. <laughs> it wasn't gonna fall, but you know, you don't want to risk it. Yeah, risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> Justin Burton Jr. up 11 to 2. I'm not sure if that's game one or that's game two. That's game one. They just started. That's game one. Okay. So How about Gavin and Fisher? Because uh, Fisher won the first game. Yeah, that is Fisher won the said. first game. Gavin's in the lead here, 6 to 2. Dang. Jordan Power and Devin Harbaugh will start up soon. Yeah. The next game up here is Adam Hisner and, and uh, them, right? Unless it goes to a game two, I think. Then mm -hmm. unless or they might have them. Well, Adam's right there. 
To the left, Brayden. Mm -hmm. Back behind. Oh, yeah, there's Adam. Back yonder. How, how did... Ryan Windsor and Damon Dennis oh, tied 2-2. Two two. Who? Uh, I was thinking about um, Adam, uh, Cody Henderson, because I beat him the first game. He went, he won one game and then lost one game to me. I beat him, and then Alec Ryan, I beat him, and then I just lost. See if Jake can collect this back. Oh, he's going to the sticky side. Oh. Oh, he will I mean, it get worked, it. But I oh, it's just enough scary. of it. That's scary to go sticky side because it could kick and do some dumb yeah. stuff, you know. It's going to be a wash. Mark Rickard stays. So this is going to, if Mark, if, Mark, if Mark wins this whole tournament, it'll be his fourth title, right, for singles in a row. Third. Well, Third yeah, for yeah, open, yeah, but yeah. yeah. No, like for yeah. singles throughout yeah. all. Jake's throwing a 10-1-6. Mark's throwing a 10-5-3, and that is a missed bag. Oh, I want Jake to win so that I can stay longer and commentate. <laughs> Big stomp right there. Not happy. Surprised that Mark did not go with the white bags that he threw against Jake the last time they played together. Or, I mean, against each other, not together. Because that, remember that, Wally? That 31 round game with mm -hmm. him and Jake and uh, Erie, Pennsylvania? Well, Steven, how you doing, sir? I'll be in Myrtle Beach. I'm sorry, I'll be in Myrtle the week of Worlds. Would it be worth a drive to come spectate, y'all think? Absolutely. I think Worlds this year is going to be oh, probably yeah. the best year ever. Yeah. I think it's going to be amazing talent. Mm -hmm. I had a question, Wally. Sir? Um, are they broadcasting on ESPN Advanced or no? I believe so. Okay, check the, check the uh, page. So here's, the, here's the TV schedule oh, that, that's a decent for World Championships. ESPN3, Competitive Singles, Intermediate, Doubles, Finals on July 29th at 7. Wait, ESPN3? Uh -huh. USA Event Finals on July 29th at 8.30. CBS Sports Network, $100,000 Pro Teams Championship Semifinals on July 30th. On Monday, July 31st, $100,000 Pro Teams Championship Semifinals in CBS Sports Network. Tuesday, August 1st, we got the ACL Teams Championship Finals at 9 o'clock Eastern Time on CBS. ESPN2, the USA Cornhole Juniors Finals, Wednesday, August 2nd. You guys compete in that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, August 2nd, 9.30. Um, the Stevie Awards, I'll be hosting that one. That'll be on the ACL Digital Network. I'm pretty sure my brother's getting one. Think so? Our breakout player of the year, yeah. I don't, what? Know, I don't even know what the categories are yet. I'm still trying to get Getting the one from what of what? A CB award. Thursday, August 3rd, ESPN2 live broadcast, the Pro Shootout Championships on ESPN2. Super Bowl uh, finals on ESPN2, Friday, August 4th. Championships for Pro Doubles on ESPN2, <laughs> Saturday, August 5th at noon. ESPN2 uh, Pro Singles Championship Sunday, August 6th, and then August 6th, Sunday, uh, ESPN3. So no advanced finals broadcast, but I'll be live for sure. Competitive singles and intermediate singles get on the ESPN3? Darn right I do. Him and Trey Ryder are going to be on it. He... No, that'll... we're playing doubles. Yeah, I know. But this is be singles. Trey's not playing singles, I don't think. Are you playing singles? I'm playing singles. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to watch you, Wally. Whoa, why did Jake well, go might, slow side? No, he went fast, I think, right? No, he went slow. And he you, you see how low he threw it? Like, if he went flat, look, now he so goes fast. He's got to be in. Wow. Oh, unbelievable. He got underneath that bag and just completely lifted off the board. Didn't move anywhere closer towards the hole. Oh, so when he got a, when he went to get that sip of Pepsi, he took the headphones off. I didn't see that. No, he took them off down there. Oh, he did. Yeah. Maureen Was says he both the big Trey ones? and Anthony said they were picking Jake for breakout player for the Stevies. Okay. Both who? Trey and Anthony. I wouldn't mind it. Trey. Oh yeah. I think Jake just mouthed that his finger is bleeding. 
pretty sure that's what he just mouthed, but I don't know. You know, can't read lips 100%. He just does not look like he's in it. Just took a quick glance at Mark's socks. He's like, oh, there's my nice socks. Roll didn't have enough on it. Immediately goes to grab his finger. Probably is bleeding. Hurting. Well, if Mark can finish this off, it's not going to matter. Good job collecting wow. there. Jake's got to get them both. Shoot. First things first, get the one on the left. Stay sticky side there. That's low-key not a bad bag, though. Nah, it's not. Mark goes. Slick side through it, yeah. Right through it, deep. and then there's a little corner here. You got to grab it. He's up top. Oh, he gets it, but does not it. get the collect. What a battle. Mark Richards takes down another bracket, though. Yep. Trying uh -oh. to make it three opens in a row where he takes down the finals. All right, chat, we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're getting Hister and Kyle Malone seeing a few. Chat, welcome back here to Canton, Ohio. Single Sunday winding down. Next match up here on the live stream court. Kyle Anderson. I'm sorry, Kyle Anderson. Kyle Malone. Shout out to Kyle Anderson. Kyle Malone and Adam Hisner. Getting ready to do battle. Let's take a look at the brackets and see exactly where we're at. Oh, I don't have them set up, do we? My bad. Never got my computer set up. But either way, I'll go through it real quick. Alex Rawls, 11. Justin Burton Jr., 11. I assume that's still in game number one. That's over there on court number three. Tanner Halbert is your B bracket champion. C bracket, Fisher Hamilton in the lead, 17 14 in game number two over Gavin Cano. Joan Eastead takes down your D bracket. Devin Hardball and Jordan Power going to start on court 13. Ryan Windsor and Damon Dennis underway. Damon Dennis in the lead right now, 13 to 6. This right here is for your G bracket final, and then your H bracket championship belongs to Mark Richards. So we are underway. One nothing start here for Adam Hisner. Adam is in the king seat. So far, we've been pretty blessed without having a uh, game number two. <laughs> there he is. What up, Kyle? Got you on my mind, brother. Finishes off his four bagger. Kyle stops a little bit short there on bag number four. I 
How many booms will we get in this match? Place your bets. Shut up, Johnny. You don't like when people give you a taste of your own medicine, do you? Do you? Just been trying to get that corner and missed on the first couple of attempts at it. Kyle sneaks in on back three. Gets in there. Goes after it. Got a piece, but too little too late. Will Kyle help him the rest of the way? He does not. Good shot right there, making it three to two. Kyle gets first shot. It's all over. Fisher Hamilton able to pull off the double dip over Gavin Cano. So Fisher Hamilton will take down the C bracket. Devin Harbaugh in the lead, 3-0 over Jordan Power over in the E bracket. Damon Dennis up 13-8 over Ryan Windsor. Need a K9 Big Chiefs collab? Hey, I ain't I mad at that idea. Though look kind of sick, half school, half face, huh? Uh -oh. Kyle, two bags behind the hole, out of play. Justin with all types of confidence fires in bag number three. Malone stays with it. Bag number four shakes his head. Meanwhile, Hissner picks up four points. Lee James. Hissner in the lead. Alex Rawls now down 16 to 11 to Justin Burton Jr. Job bullying Adam off the hole right there. Kyle yelling himself, trying to get back into this one. Seven to six, though. Hissner in the lead. David Dennis 13-10 over Ryan Windsor over on court 25. Harbaugh up 5-2 over Jordan Power on court 13. If we're going to do a Big Chiefs K-9 collab, though, we're going to have to make it official. We're going to have to do a uh, Big Chiefs K-9 tournament or something. Give me a reason to get down there to Florida. The only way to get the jerseys is to be there in attendance or something. Or maybe get a discount code if you're in attendance. Slick side, Kyle pushes into the pile. Adam, meanwhile, cuts around it. Nicely done. Kyle struggling a little bit here. Gives up another four. We're all fighting back a little bit. 16-13 now on court three.
like that back block from Adam. Kyle's got a little bit of a tilt on it. I think it was a two for one in the wrong way. Adam pushes into the pile, spins that bag around, and then gets a dirty bag out of it. He likes that one. A little fist pump there, a nasty play. Blown up top for a backside airmail, and he hits that one clean. Nicely done. Good job with the damage control. Let's take a look at these two shots real quick. First one here from Hisner. Spun it and got the dirty bag. Off the side here, back it goes, and then Kyle stays in tight to the lane. Hits the back side of the airmail. Nicely done. Over here on uh, this match between Alex Rawls. Justin Burton Jr. Alex Rawls now takes the lead. Kyle sneaks in there. All bags down the middle and in. the hole there on bag number four and all Kyle can do is just kind of laugh as Adam grabs the bags out of the hole waiting for Kyle to run down there and type the score in. It's going to be 14 to 6. Alex Rawls now in the lead 18-16. Damon Dennis in the lead 13 to 10. And then Devin Harbaugh in the lead 5 to 2. This is the only four matches going on right now. Top with the airmail gets the drag on that one. <clears throat> the boys said earlier that was game number one. Justin Burton Jr. takes the lead now 19 to 18. So Eddie will see. I guess if Justin Burton Jr. wins when and they play another one. We'll have our answer. I guess either way, over the next few points, we'll have our answer, right? It shows game one on the system in the score zone. Kyle pushes into the pile there. This hardball Jordan power match could last a while. They're 12 rounds in. Jordan throwing 11, hardball throwing 11.7. Nothing but four baggers over there. 12 rounds in. There's 17 total four baggers in that match. Nine from Devin, eight from Jordan. Again, scores only five to three. Thirteen rounds in. Make it seven to three now. Thirteen rounds in. All the way out on the mat. Might just be trying to clip this. He does clip it, gets two to fall. He's fine with that, saves himself a point. All right, so Justin Burton Jr. takes that one down 21 to 18. So that tells me that is probably game one. It doesn't say champion next to it, unless it's just slow to update. Again, we already got a few players that have advanced, four of them to be exact. Tanner Halbert takes down the B bracket. Fisher Hamilton takes down the C bracket. Joe Neistead takes down the D bracket. And Mark Richards takes down the H bracket.
13-10, Damon Dennis over Ryan Windsor right now. Foul down and in, but Adam finishes off his bag number four for a little bit of damage control. Score's gonna be 14 to 11 as we head back down to the left-hand side. Blocker to start round 13 here. Not going to work. Hissner kind of replaces. is off for another four baggers social let's go chat let's take a look at the ppr see exactly where we're at here once they get done typing that one in so adam has been throwing a 10.31 right there Kyle Malone with a 10.08 of his own on the other side and they are underway in game number two alex rawls in the lead two to nothing over justin burton jr to 11 here round number 15 Just starting to pick up the or not really pick up slow down the pace I guess to make me feel like we could be here for a while One boom. Put it on the board, chat. You asked for it. There you get it. Airmail over the top here with the blocker in place. And a boom off the camera. <clears throat> Makes it 16 to 11. Sorry, chat. <clears throat> give up the two if Kyle could finish. And Kyle will finish off that final shot. A pretty tight one now, 16-13 as we enter round number 17. This is game number one. Updating the other brackets, we got Alex Rawls up two nothing over Justin Burton Jr. Devin Harbaugh in the lead now, 13 to five over Jordan Power, throwing 11.37 over 19 rounds. 19 rounds in, 15 total four-backers for Devin Harbaugh. 
Damon Dennis in the lead 18 to 10 over Ryan Windsor. Bag number four right now. So now Adam's starting to kind of fall apart. As we get closer to round number 20, 16 to 15, Kyle Malone right back in it. Update in tier four, singles bracket eight. Jordan Thomas will take on Rocky Carter for the king seat match over there. In the B bracket in tier four, looks like Zachary Berry waiting for either Brandy, Brandon Crown or Jaden Weller. That's still on the winner's side. Switching over to tier three. I'm, yeah, tier three. Bracket B, we got uh, Nathan Ritchie and Jeff Johnson. Taking on Sean, or the winner of Sean Oberstruck and Ken Goodhunt. Kind of small to read. Sorry, Chad, bear with me. Clayton Erbaugh and Travis Wood on one side, and then Brandon Whipke and Donald Bill Jr. over on the other side. Eight to eight. Both players kind of escaping out of that round there. Let's check a. Update on Tier 2. Two brackets in Tier 2 as well. We got uh, Ursel White taking on Trey Hosford. Then over on the other side, Zane Kratz taking on Wyatt Walker. I wonder if that's any relation to Willie Walker. Paul Jenkins uh, taking on Kiara Peterson. And then Todd Sippel on the other side will take on, looks like, Celise Vargas. Alex Rawls in the lead, 3-2 to two over Justin Burton, Jr. Devin Harbaugh now loses the lead, 14-13. Jordan Power takes over. Jordan Power starting to put together a little streak of his own. Made 16 in a row now. To take the lead, Damon Dennis up 18-14 over Ryan Windsor. Uh, Mark won earlier, Sebastian. Shout out to my friend Amanda. No shout outs. Listener trying to finish it off here. Oh no, off the back of the board that one goes. I think he saw an opportunity to cut around. Might have got a little too excited. Nestor's already got two in, make it three, finishes off the round with a nine. Kyle's got to at least get one of these in. And he will get just one in, making it 20 to 16. Please call Todd Supple by Slacky so we know who you're talking about. What? Sipple? I'm not sure. Did I mention that? Was that one of those players I mentioned in the other brackets? The blocker might be a little bit too low. Let's see if Adam could bully this out. Got to turn a little bit. Kyle's got to collect it now or else Adam's just going to keep on bullying that thing. Nicely done. Way to bring it back in. <clears throat> Here's a chance for Kyle to get a couple more out of it. Tier two, he's probably still on the winner's side then if, he, if I mention his name. Yeah, in tier two.
Oh, no. Adam unable to sneak around. That's going to be four more points. Kyle wasn't happy with the miss, but it worked out in his favor. It's going to make it 20 to 20 as we enter round number 22. Well, let's go, Doug. That's all I'm talking about. Also the only one at the table, but I see what you're doing. That back off to the side for Kyle could be it. Kyle stepping all the way out. He's off the side rail. I think he was assuming Adam wasn't going to miss going in. Fist pumps there as it's six on one. That one rocketed off the back. One final shot to do it. Adam Hissner going to finish things off right here with a 12 on one. Gets the crowd into it. Local boy. I think that was 31 to 20, right? Either way. All right, chat, we'll be back. I'll give you guys an update on the other matches when we continue. See you here in just a few.
All right, chat, what up? We're going to switch over to the advanced division real quick while we got some time to kill. Kiara Peterson and Paul Jenkins make their way to the court here. They're going to go down and back. <laughs> Just got done talking to Paul. He says, I hope she's as nervous as I am. I said, you'll be all right. I said, she probably is, though. Kiara making her way through the ranks this season. Give you guys an update on where we're at right now. Alex Rawls in the lead 10 to 4 right now over Justin Burton Jr. on court three. That is for the A bracket championship. Devin Harbaugh in the lead, 17-14, still in game number one against Jordan Power. Harbaugh throwing 11.38. There are 34 rounds in, 27 total four-baggers for Devin Harbaugh. Jordan Power with 11.29, 34 rounds in, 25 total four-baggers. Unbelievable. Those guys are battling. Wish I could have got that one on the broadcast, but didn't want to hold anything up. Just phenomenal matchup over there. 17-14, though, Harbaugh in the lead. And then over in the F bracket, Damon Dennis forcing game number two. He's in the lead right now, 4-2 to two over Ryan Windsor. Depending on how these things play out, we might move Harbaugh and Power over here to court one, or we might just let them stay there. I mean, they're battling. I don't want to move them. Um, on the other side of this, uh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? On the other side of this advanced bracket, we got... Uh, Celise Vargas and Todd Sipple, or Slacky, I believe was the chat is saying. But to give you an idea of who's in, Tanner Halbert is in for the B bracket. Fisher Hamilton is in for the C bracket. Joe Neistead in for D bracket. Adam Hister, you saw take down the G bracket, and then H bracket belongs to Mark Richards. So advanced bracket action. I don't know if they're underway just yet. Usually it's the other way around. Kiara over here watching Jaden Ellis, but Jaden Ellis makes his way to watch Kiara. She came out of nowhere in this last year, putting in the work. Throwing looks like the mother shucker, 313s. We got uh, Paul on the other side, throwing the Viper R, slick side down. Alex Rawls up 10 to four now. Harbaugh power 17-16. Damon Dennis eight to two over Windsor. Paul Jenkins gonna start things off with that one bag on the ground there from Kiara, makes it one nothing. Uh, let me take a look, Alex, that's on court 13. and find it. Can't tell if that's big tone or... Can't tell.
Why are they selling social? Game one or two. Uh, this is tier two. And there's no other matches going on right now for tier one that we can show. All matches are underway. Again, I don't really think I want to interfere too much with that hardball power matchup. Those guys are throwing really, really well over there. I think I just kind of want to let them play out the rest of their bracket over there, regardless of what happens. If Harbaugh wins that one, then they're done. If they go to game two, I think I'm just going to leave them there. Hey. Nice job going center lane there for Kiara. It looks like it's all over. Harbaugh takes that one down, 21-16. What a battle, though. 39 rounds. Power loses, throwing 11.23. 39 rounds, 27 of those were four-baggers. And you lose 21-16. Unbelievable matchup. Congratulations, though, Devin Harbaugh taking down the E bracket. Alex Rawls. The overall number one seed in the open division up 12 to 4 right now. And then Damon Dennis in the lead 8 to 7 over Ryan Windsor. I appreciate that, Jeff. You never know what you might see. I mean, Kiara could be a, a future female pro. As I say that, she throws one off the side of the board. But, I mean, some of you guys haven't seen her play in the last year. From where she was the last time I saw her to where she's at now, if she keeps putting in this type of work, she'll be up there. She'll be, she'll be female pro talent next year. I like that back block right there. Update on the potential um, seeding right now. Alex Rawls would be the one seed. Actually, did he finish that off? I think he might have finished that off. He did. No, that's game one. So Alan Rawls in the lead, 15 to 4. Alex Rawls would be the one seed. Joe Neistead would be the two seed. Fisher Hamilton, the three seed. Tanner Halpert would be the four seed. Devin Harbaugh, the five seed. Mark Richards, the six. Adam Hissner, the seven. Still waiting on Ryan Windsor and Damon Dennis. Just to give you guys an idea, Ryan Windsor came in the F bracket in the 30th ranked position. Damon Dennis over on the other side came in um, F bracket, 21st ranked position. So I could shake things up a little bit. Down the middle there for her on bag number four. Jaden Ellis' dad clapping just a little bit, trying to get her going. Trying not to draw too much attention to it though. Got to start somewhere, right? You ain't lying, Joe Dub. As long as I go air mails, right? Here, a nice little blocker right there on the edge of the red zone. Ball comes in right behind it. Now we're just kind of pushing the pile. She got good bully action out of that bag. Slick side, replace the block right behind. Steps out at an angle on that bag. She's doing a great job of staying center lane back blocking right now. I like how she's not afraid to muddy it up a little bit. Paul up top with the airmail. Good hit there for him. There's his highlight moment he's been looking for. 
See if Kiara wants to do the same thing on the other side. She just wants to push into the pile, does get the tap to fall. We're going to get a timeout for her, here from Paul as he's going to take a look at it. Read the back of his jersey with us. Oh, he didn't turn around. He turned, around. He turned the wrong way. All right, we'll get a look at it here. There is Mr. PJ. So let's see what Mr. PJ wants to do here on this shot. Ooh, deep off the back it goes. He almost hit that backside again. He wanted that one a little bit shorter, though. Let's take a look at this shot as he is able to hit this one clean. This is the time for backside. His other bag's in place, though. You want that one short side. He misses. Kiara in the lead, 7-2. to two. Again, waiting on one match in the open division. Ryan Windsor and Damon Dennis, they're in game number two over on court 25. Damon Dennis in the lead, nine to seven. Well, I guess we got two games. Alex Rawls still up 19 to four over on court three. Kristen's still waiting to finish off tier one. Oh, and Paul slick side stops a little bit too far to the left. Nine two, Kiara in the lead here. Over in the other side here in tier two bracket A, we got Todd Sipple in the lead nine to two over Celise Vargas. Over in the B bracket, we got, uh, let me enlarge this. I can't read these names. I'm getting old, chat. Ursel White and Trey Hosford getting ready to start things up. And then Zane Kratz over on court 51, 9 nothing over Wyatt Walker. Pushes into it, but got a little bit of a kick action off to the left-hand side. Gets his bag to fall, and I think that's going to wash out the round. I don't see any bags on the ground. Nine to two. Hopefully both players start to get a little relaxed and get a little more comfortable here. Alex Rawls, 19-6 over Justin Burton Jr. right now. Over on court three. Board looks kind of muddy. Alex already has one in. Justin Burton Jr. with three bags on the board. He's got some work to do or else this game is over. He double clutches. Slick side push right into it. Knocks in Alex Rawls' bag, and that's going to do it. Alex Rawls, your overall number one seed, will take down his A bracket and then collapses to the ground. He's dead. No, he's okay. He's just tired. He's alive. Maybe. I don't know. I can't tell. Somebody need to get him some milk. Somebody get him some milk. That's what happens. He's exhausted. That's what happens. He played JBJ. Gave it all he got. <laughs> so Alex Rawls takes down the A bracket. Congratulations there. One bracket left to finish now. It is Damon Dennis and Ryan Windsor. Ryan Windsor in the lead 12 to 11. All right, Alex is back on his feet. He's okay. He's not dead. Just tired.
You see Damon Dennis and Ryan Windsor down there playing on court 25 at the far side. Can't tell if that's Gage Landis live for that or not. Back to this match here, though, 12 to 2. Marcel White throwing 11.0 in the advanced division against Trey Hosford right now. Four rounds in. Sheesh. A double fat four bagger social? Is that social? Is that a tier two social, gentlemen? Tier two social. Tier two social. Don't mind if I do. What up, Betting Court? Carrie Brinkley, how you guys doing? Welcome in, welcome in. Waiting for one last bracket in uh, Tier 1 to finish up in the open division. Ryan Windsor in the lead, 14 to 11 over Damon Dennis. Got Alex Rawls as your one seed, Neistead two, Fisher three, Tanner Halbert four, Devin Harbaugh five, Richard six, Adam Hissner seven. Good job driving right through that. She's got one on the ground already, though. Let's see if Paul wants to go for that airmail again. He does. Oh, no, it's just a high board. Stays on. Almost missed it to the right. So Kiara's going to get one more out of that, making it 13-2. to two. Again, winner of this match goes to the king seat match for their respective bracket in Tier 2. Four too far to the right. Trying to get into it here. Side in there for Paul. Could be getting back into it now. 16-2. Does he have one off? Does have one off. I missed that one. Never mind. I'll take that back. So 16-2, Kiara. Update on that score, Ryan Windsor in the lead, 14-13 over Damon Dennis. Ball just on the edge of the rim right there. I like that blocker there on bag number four. Kiara looks like she wanted to go in there, but now you're basically teasing Ball to go up top for the ear mail. He decides to just drive through it, slick side, nicely done. Smart play. Doesn't take the bait. 
Gives up the two points, lives to fight another day. starting to heat up at the right time 17 rounds in right now oh no off to the side this could pretty much be in for the win oh she's off the side just a little bit she takes an immediate glance over to me paul still got to be in though and he will survive at least one more round plus two for kiara though makes it 20 to 2. looks over to the right to try and get some encouragement he ain't done yet Eighteen rounds in here. Ryan Windsor in the lead, 14-13 against Damon Dennis over there in game number two. off her fourth shot. Paul does the same thing over on the other side. Good back and forth action here. Down the middle and in here on bag number one. All right, Ursel White kind of came off that 11.0. He's down to a 9.64 against Trey Hosford's 9.64. They're tied 13-13. Whenever that gets Zane Kratz in the king seat match for tier two bracket B. And in bracket A, the winner of this match will take on Celise Vargas. as Celise is able to finish off Todd Sippel. And he'll stop just a little bit short right there on bag number four. And I think that's going to do it. Kiara Peterson will advance to the King seat match over Paul Jenkins. Good showing. Hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of the tier two action. When we come back, we might be ready for the single elimination portion of the tier one division here in Canton, Ohio. We'll see you guys in just a little bit.
All engine running. Lift off. We have a lift off. <laughs> All right, chat, welcome back here to Canton, Ohio. Down to the portion of the tournament that you guys love the most, the single elimination bracket. Eight players made their way to the final eight to be crowned open number 16 singles champion and hopefully try to advance to the tournament of champions. Still waiting on one match to finish to get this completely squared away, but for the most part, we get an idea of what we're looking at here. Damon Dennis and Ryan Windsor. Still battling it out on court number 25. Ryan Windsor, 14. Damon Dennis, 19. This is game number two. The way it's shaking out, Alex Rawls is your overall number one seed. We're going to start things off right here, though, with Devin Harbaugh and Tanner Halbert. Winner of this match will play the winner of Alex Rawls' match. Still waiting to find out who his opponent is going to be. Fisher Hamilton and Mark Richards are locked in. They're going to square off against each other. 
Kind of going to see how the other brackets are playing themselves out in the advanced comp. Uh, the advanced comp and intermediate division, see where they're at. But I think we're starting things off over here on the left-hand side. I'm sorry, right-hand side. I believe these bags are live. Hey, no problem, Steve. Appreciate you tuning in. So as far as the person earlier who said uh, somebody from Florida is going to win this thing, you got, what, Alex Rawls, Tanner Halbert, Fisher Hamilton. And who's the other one that made it in that we don't see? I guess, is that it? See, it's either going to be Ryan or Damon. Somebody moved out. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, chat. Bear with me. Who am I missing? Adam Hister. So, yeah, Adam Hister's from Ohio. So, yeah. There we go. Okay, now engage Landis Kyle Butler. Welcome in, guys. Make sure you hit the share button. Let people know that we're back to being live with open division finals. Tanner's got one to the left. Make it two to the left. Can Gavin sneak in? Hard cut on the bag. Doesn't get it to go without taking Tanner's in. But plus two. Final eight players left in the open division. I guess technically nine at this point. Alex Rawls, Tanner Halbert, Devin Harbaugh, Fisher Hamilton, Mark Richards, Joe Neistead, Adam Hisner, Ryan Windsor, and Damon Dennis. Damon Dennis in the lead, 19-14. As far as repeat winners go for your tournament of champions, I believe we're looking at Devin Harbaugh, Fisher Hamilton, Mark Richards, Joe Neistead. Can't remember off the top of my head if Alex Rawls has won it open or not. Harbaugh's going to give Tanner a shot right there, and he's going to take it. Plus two. We're tied. Stay right here in the open division for the rest of the evening. Five to two. As Devin is in the lead, entering round number six here. <clears throat> Chat, let it be known, though, who you guys taking? Make your picks right now before we get too far into this thing. Who you guys taking to win this entire thing? I think I stayed with Mark Richards earlier. I'm going to stay there. But again, I mentioned I would not mind seeing a new, new face added to the $5,000 uh, tournament of champions. Oh, Alex Rawls did win one. Open number five. Okay. That's right, Virginia Beach.
62. These guys are stroking right now. Everything down the middle. Harbaugh just came off of a 30-plus round battle with Jordan Power to get to the spot. Up 8-2 to two here. As Tanner's fourth bag hangs up just a little bit. Cat sitting over there next to Adam Hester, kind of watching intensely. Good job sneaking around right there. Like Ryan Windsor and Damon Dennis still continuing. 19-14 on the scoreboard, it looks like. All right, we got Kyle calling it. Harbaugh taking this. I'd like to see Tanner or Hisner win from Rob. Harbaugh from Ashley. Blake Collins calling Mark. Adam, the Miller Light man, going to win it all, says Brandon. Dennis gets another point, making it 20 to 14. Good job collecting that shot right there from Tanner. And he's able to finish off back number four for his social. It's stop moving. See if Devin can pinch this. Everything does fall down. I think he was wanting to pinch there, but he's fine with the way his bag is sitting in position, and Tanner lets him off the hook. Again, trying to go back for that wedge. Everything falls in. He's fine with that. Another social is all, ball, all bags fall down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Someone send brackets in the comments. Brackets not done yet. Waiting for that final match to finish up. Damon Dennis in the lead over there uh, against Ryan Windsor, 20 to 14 on court 25. Long fall along on that one in the score zone. All right, eight to two right here, 12 rounds in. All bogs, I know. I've been talking for 97 million hours this year, chat. God forbid I mess up one word, Ian. That's all right, you're eliminated. Banned from the chat. No more toss sauce talk from you. Ooh, this looks like I got TP'd over there on the left around the nine o'clock position. The back bag kind of flattened out a little bit closer towards the hole. Can't really see it on your screen, but he's got more of that bag in the hole now. Harbaugh misses that clip. He needed that clip. Good job there from Tanner getting sneaky. Neither player happy with what's happening right now, but all bags going in. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Can Tanner get cute enough on that right side? I don't think it was going to happen. Everything falls down 12 12. Windsor getting a few more points now, making it 20 to 18 over there on court 25. Meanwhile, here, Devin Harbaugh with an 8 to 2 lead. Not really given too many opportunities. PPRs through 13 rounds, 11.25 for Devin Harbaugh, nine total four baggers. Tanner Halpert with a 10.75 on his side. <coughs> Tied up now, 2020 wins are against Damon Dennis. Again, that is game number two to try and make just the final eight players. Damon Dennis has already punched his ticket to the Tournament of Champions. Ryan Windsor, actually Ryan Windsor won Upland number four. So both those gentlemen already in the Tournament of Champions. That's correct, Grayson. Fisher will play Mark Richards next. Harbaugh's final shot right here. Sticky side doesn't get in. Oh, Tanner's, Tanner's running. Tanner's running. <laughs> Devin Harbaugh's laughing at him. Got them wheels. Got them wheels on, Pat. I don't know. I think I have to have a foot race there. Yeah, Tanner Halbert versus Pat McBeth. He'll smoke me. <laughs> well, one of you guys is a soccer coach, so. Right. <laughs> Those that can't play teach, huh? Determining champion to include tier three? No, it might. I don't know. I, don't, I think it should. All you need is a chip and a chair, right, Sparky? All right, update on Windsor. Damon Dennis still tied 2020 over there on court 25. Rounds in. Both players throwing an 8.86 over there. Only seven four baggers there. Got more four baggers in this match than that one over there. Tells me they are playing muddy. Damon. Damon Dennis takes it down 21 to 20 over Ryan Windsor. So once they update that bracket, I will let you know who plays who. And we'll probably get some more matches underway. Again, Fisher Hamilton locked in to play against Mark Richards. Waiting for Joe Neestead and Alex Rawls partners, or opponents rather.
Make it 30 round, 31 rounds, Kyle says. I'm fine with that. I don't mind long matches. Just the double dips, man. Those are the ones that get me. <laughs> Dill says, where was this Devin on broadcast? I mean, Ryan Hart was, Ryan Hart was this Devin on broadcast. And I also did offer, I didn't think about it, going into the broadcast. Oh, my goodness. And they fall. Okay, I thought Devin was going to sacrifice that bag for a second. Tanner is able to get the drip. Let's see if uh, Devin can collect now. He is able to get underneath it. Nicely done. Our ball increases up to an 11.17. Tanner Halbert with a 10.83 over on the other side. Scores 10 to 4. But yeah, but anyway, I, I told Ryan Hart, I said, if you win the whole broadcast, I'll give you a K9 unit jersey. And uh, I forgot all about it, but Ryan Hart did not. <laughs> he wins the broadcast and shoots me a message here today. It says, by the way, I'm a size medium for that jersey you promised me. I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot. So that was the deciding factor. No, I feel bad because I didn't offer Devin the same thing. But it all makes sense to me now. That's why. All right, so Joe Neistead and Damon Dennis heading to court five. Alex Rawls and Adam Hissner heading to court three. Fisher Hamilton and Mark Richards up right after this. Aaron Mel there from Devon, good collect. Tanner pushing a little side by side though. Devon just wants to clean all that up. He doesn't want to throw a blocker there and leave Tanner a chance for a three bag air mail. And they're going to finish things off here with another 12 on 12. So we head to round number 21. Eddie says, if you have a winner and they already in the tournament of champions and they win today, what happens? So right now, Mark Richards, I believe, already has the one seed locked up because he's won twice. And he did it first before anyone else did. So I believe that put him as the one seed unless they go to, like, open standings. I don't know how that works. But if they win today, they would tie that. Now, if it's Mark, Mark would be the only three-time winner. So Mark would have the one seed. So I don't know how the determination is for the other seeds. Nice little bully. Pushes the other back closer as well. See you, Bubba. Appreciate you, man. I'm going to try. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'll be in touch. Let me see Joe Neistead and uh, Alex Rawls getting ready to play their match. Damon Dennis walking down as they get the tablet situation figured out. Chris Kingsbury is warming up Alex. So again, Alex Rawls will play Adam Hissner. Winner of that match plays the winner of this one here. Fisher Hamilton will take on Mark Richards next on the live stream court. Joe Neistead and Damon Dennis going to start over there on court five. Harbaugh off the back of the board. His does go in. Let's see if Tanner can push these in. Hard push into the pile. He's off the back of the board as well. Drops his bag by mistake. Picks it back up. He's okay now. Our ball sneaks around on the slick side. Gets the drip to go. Tanner left with the same difficult push from earlier. Hey, 
And it's going to clog on him, and that's going to be a huge round. Is that nine on three? I think that's it. That is going to do it. Devin Harbaugh is going to win on that push right there that does not fall. Unbelievable. Tanner Halbert, good run, but he is eliminated, missed the first push, and it was all downhill after that. When we come back, chat Fisher Hamilton and Mark Richards. We'll see you in a few. Right, Chad, welcome back here to Canton, Ohio. We're down to the final seven players in the singles division. Open number 16 championship on the line. Alex Rawls there on court number three, starting off against Adam Hisner. Winner of that match will play Devin Harbaugh. Fisher Hamilton and Mark Richards make their way here to court number one. You can see Joe Neistead and Damon Dennis getting ready to start there on court number five. Those two winners will collide. Mark and Fisher have made their way here to the live stream court. It's been a long season chat. We have had a great time. It's been fun, been a long journey. Start things off at open number two in Kentucky. Opens, cash tournaments, shootouts, nationals. This is the final tournament before we head into the World Championships in a couple weeks in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Yeah, Kim, there is a way. If you have a smart TV, you could also go to, uh, oh man, what is it, aclcornhole.tv. Type in aclcornhole.tv, and that puts you um, to the ACL. Just click on that, and you should be able to watch whatever match you want on your TV. And then whenever we go to the World Championships, it's going to give you four options. We're going to have four live stream courts. So be able to pick what match you want to watch, Kim. So hopefully that uh, helps you out. But yeah, if you want to watch on YouTube, you go to American Cornhole League on Facebook. You should be able to see it. Are you trying to figure out Fisher's grip? Are you trying to figure out Fisher's grip? Yeah, good luck. He just palms it, and at the last second, he squeezes that top part in. Uh, even more. Like more. Like even he goes like all the way over here, I think. <laughs> He's got some big hands. All right, so Alex Rawls and Adam Hisner underway. Two to two is the score over there. I'll do my best to kind of flip back and forth and keep you guys updated. 
Adam Hester trying to win it here on his home turf. Good roll back right there from Fisher. As he's able to collect that, Mark Richards takes care of the bag on the left hand side. And a good collect there on bag number four for him. This is all down and back, so it doesn't mean anything. But regardless, good little roll collect here from Fisher Hamilton. There you see Hisner and Rawls tied two to two. Neistead and Dennis thrown back towards us. Neistead in the lead over there, six to nothing. Looks like they're ready to start things off here on court number one. So let's head back over here. It looks like Hissner throws one on the ground. Alex in pretty good position. Fisher spins the bag. Looks like he wins the toss. Starting things out over here on the right-hand side. Here we go. Nine-nothing start there for Joe Neistead. Damon Dennis might have been a little bit tired having two back-to-back -back battles with Ryan Windsor. And then going right into the single elimination portion of, of the tournament. Entitled five minutes in between matches. Wonder if he took advantage of that or just kind of wanted to get right into it. Sometimes you never know how much your body's breaking down until you take that five-minute break to figure it out. Starting things off here with all bags down the middle for a social chat. Let's get into it. Let's go. Update now. Joe Neistead in the lead 11 to nothing. Adam Hester in the lead 6 to 4. Appreciate everybody tuning in right now. Hopefully you guys have had fun this weekend with me. Again, appreciate the viewership sitting right around 1,000 viewers pretty much the whole day. Can't wait to see what the actual numbers look like, but make sure you guys hit the thumbs up. They'll help the algorithm out, help the interactions. Helps the ACL know that I'm doing a good job, or at least decent enough. If you're just tuning in, Devin Harbaugh already finished off Tanner Halbert, 21 to four. Harbaugh threw a 10.95 over 22 rounds. Tanner Halbert with a 10.18. Unfortunate ending there with nine on three as Tanner's bags just got all hung up around the rim. Nothing fell. Fisher looked off balance and that bag goes sailing on him to the back right corner of the board. Mark Richards down the middle on his final shot. drunk. Yep, Trey Hunt's drunk too. They're both drunk together. Mark's first shot is down the middle and in. Fisher sitting right there on the edge. Back block option here. Perfect game is done. Good 
Good hit there on that airmail drag from Fisher. I missed the replay as I was trying to juggle my different mouses, mice, two mice, whatever you want to say. Appreciate that, Eric. Uh, need tech on the mic? Ooh, I don't know about that. No, I think you've done it now. I think you've done done it now. Hopefully he's not reading comments. The board's starting to get picked up across the arena now. Alex Rawls in the lead, 13 to six over Adam Hisner. Joe Neistead in the lead, 11 to two over Damon Dennis. Alex is up on Hisner, 13 to six. Mices's sounds about right. Off to the left. Chance for Fisher here to add on. I think Mark's just going to try and go in with this final shot, and he is in. Two Fisher takes the lead. Alex Rawls now in the lead, 18 to six over Adam Hisner. Six to two, Fisher in the lead now. Update over there, Alex Rawls in the lead, 18 to 10 over Adam Hisner. Joe Neistead in the lead, 15 to two over Damon Dennis. Nathan, this will be basically four singles titles in a row if you want to take the national into consideration. He's looking for his third open championship in a row. Give you guys an idea of where we're at. Fisher Hamilton has won open number six. I believe that one was in Myrtle Beach. Alex Rawls takes down Virginia Beach, open number five. We got Devin Harbaugh has one open number nine, which I believe that one is West Wego, Louisiana. Um, Damon Dennis won open number 13, which is Mesa. Mark Richards won number 14 and 15, which was Oak Creek, Wisconsin, and Ramsey, Minnesota. Joe Neistead has one as well, number 10, that was Kansas. So the only one that doesn't have a title that is left is going to be Adam Hisner. So Adam Hisner trying to add his name to the Tournament of Champions title here. I think that's going to be an amazing uh, little tournament as everybody is um, everybody's at the top of their game right now as we head into the World Championships. That's what I want to see.
Canada Open does not count, don't you know? Fisher in there again on bag number four. Mark does the same thing over on the other side, trying to figure out how to get it right back into this here, eight to two. Looks like Alex Rawls has finished off Devin Harbaugh. So Alex Rawls will now, I'm sorry, Alex Rawls has finished off Adam Hisner. So now Rawls will take on Devin Harbaugh next. Fisher's first shot here is in. Set up 15-4 over Damon Dennis. Almost got the end one out of it. He wanted it. Leaves that back in place. Mark going with a little roll cut. And gets that one to sneak around. Nicely done. Good shooting there, gentlemen. I think I... Let's see if I get both of them on this one shot here. Oh, this is just uh, Mark's cut around. That's all right. Worth it. I'll show you Fisher's airmail here in a second. Ten to two, Fisher in the lead. Down the middle and in here on bag number one. Taking a step out to redirect. Got the bar of soap action that he wanted. Unable to get that collect on that shot. Fisher now uses that gap, gets it to go in. Fisher switched bags last time we saw him here, though. He was throwing Wizards now. I believe he was throwing his Mercenaries before. But here's the airmail I was talking about earlier from Fisher. Easted in the lead 15 to 6 over Damon Dennis. Winner of that match plays the winner of this one here. Next up should be Alex Rawls against Devin Harbaugh. Side pushing right into the pile. Gets a little bit of movement out of it. Misses to the right. And Mark misses too far to the left. So Fisher could go in here to wash out the round. And he will use his bag as a bumper to redirect in. So he washes it out. 10-10 right there. PR check so far. Fisher Hamilton throwing a 10.6. Four total four baggers after 10 rounds. Marked on a solid 10 with three of his own. Damon Dennis picks up a couple more points now. 15 to 8. Joe dead in the lead.
Ooh, Fisher's got a lean in there on bag number three. Should be a pretty easy collect on it. Mark not phased by it, just drives right through. And he will go in there as well. So another double four bagger for another social chat. How much uh, beverage you guys got left? I'm running out myself. I'm almost out of sippy sips. As we wind down, open number 16 here. July 16th, chat. World's a couple weeks away. Stepping out, he's trying to get around this. Ends up going right into it, not bad. Kind of a little bully side by side now. Level one position, Fisher Hamilton misses way too far to the right. Expected the roll, got no bite out of it. Look at confusion on his face as his bag stays on the board, but it is kicked off to the right. And out of play now, Mark goes in. Fisher regroups, going slick side, gets the collect there on bag number three. And Mark trying to go in here to get back into this game, make it 10 to six. Final shot here from Fisher is basically just damage control. Gets that one to go. So it will be 10 to six. Damon Dennis with a little bit of a comeback right now. Let's kind of zoom in if we can on this court. Damon Dennis now, uh, it's 15-11, Joe Neistead in the lead. Mark starting things off with his first bag going down and in here. Yeah, that's the crazy thing is you basically can only judge these awards, I believe, off of the national performances. So even though Fisher has a title in singles, Justin Burton Jr. has more titles in singles and doubles. So it's going to be interesting to see how the judges vote things. <coughs> Good news is I don't have to vote. I just can talk about it. And just like that, a couple more points. Going to make it 10 to 8. As we hop over here, we see Damon Dennis now takes the lead 18-15 over Joe Neistead. Alex Rawls will take on Devin Harbaugh next. We're down to the final. Looks like, what, six players left to go. Fisher Hamilton down the middle and in. Heather says, this is why I love this sport. You can never count anyone out. You ain't lying. I don't even know if I count that bag out of play. Not just any one, but any bag. Can't say enough about Damon Dennis. Seems like he's always out of it and just kind of slowly getting his way back into it. 18 to 15 here in the lead. Got a timeout over there. They're going to look at something. Getting back here to this action, though. Fisher Hamilton in the lead, 12 to 8. Now, I'm not 100% sure on Rookie of the Year if you can count anything other than Nationals. Again, I'm not part of the voting process. 
I'm just going to be hosting this TV, so I'm kind of just all sit back and watch and have fun with that one. I'll do my best to keep that entertaining as well. JT, I'm not going to talk about every airmail drag, man. You know how many airmail drags I've seen in my life, bro? Gosh, dude, they happen. Ooh. Slick side there, side by side. All righty. Different type of energy drink, but I'll take it. First, you got to be the most confident thrower in for the wash. Nah, I'll drag it. Yeah, no, no reason, no reason to, uh, no reason to drag me. Take the lead. Thank you, cat. Mark finishes off bag number four, but there is one on the ground, so Fisher's going to get a point out of it. Let's keep an eye on that one point. It could matter. Joe Neistead now comes back, 18-17. Damon Dennis still in the lead. I see one bag off to the left there. Not sure whose bag that is. Dennis finishes up his final shot, so they'll put in the score. We'll see if that puts Damon Dennis on 20 or if that gets Joe Nista to 19. It does indeed. So Damon Dennis in the lead 20 to 17 right now. Oh, Don Juan, come on. You're making me blush, bro. You're making me blush. to 18, 16 rounds in. Mark Alexa just go board there on the final shot. Don't mind, don't blame him, don't blame him at all. 20 to 17, Neistead now just kind of playing the replace game. He's got two bags on the board it looks like though. Oh, never mind. He's throwing, uh, Damon does throw his blue psychos against Neistad's Vipers. Timeout. Damon's going to take a look at it. Fisher, meanwhile, rolls on top of that bag. See if Mark tries to bully this off the hole. Lobar soap action comes in deep. Misses his spot to the left. Slick side on the edge, though, for him. That bag's still in play. Mark does go up top with it being on slick side. Big hit. Big collect right there from Damon Dennis, and I believe that's going to do it. Damon Dennis with a huge collect right there. Joe Neistead has to do some work. See if Joe can push this one in. He is unable to do so. And I believe that's going to do it. Thirteen to ten here, though, on court number one. Waiting for them to enter the score before I confirm it. And it is over, 22-17. Damon Dennis comes back to beat Joe Neistead. He will take on Fisher Hamilton or Mark Richards. <laughs> 13 to 10 there. And he finishes off that final shot.
It would be great if the bracket was available. I'm telling you everything, Sarah. Got to listen. Alex Rawls was the one seed, defeated the eight seed, Adam Hissner. Devin Harbaugh was the five seed, defeated Tanner Halbert. So now Devin Harbaugh will take on Alex Rawls. Fisher Hamilton comes in as the three seed, taking on Mark Richards as the six. Joe Nista was the two seed, defeating, I'm taking, sorry, taking on Damon Dennis as the seven. Damon Dennis wins that one. So he'll take on the winner of this one here. Roll back, unbelievable as he's able to get that one all the way up the board. Nicely done by Fisher Hamilton, getting a couple more on the board, making it now 15 to 10. Let's take a look at this deep roll over about seven bags on the board. As he's able to almost coin slot it in a way. That is nasty. All right, Chad, I'm back. Sorry. Josh Bennett was distracting me in my DMs. Fifteen to ten. Twenty-one rounds in. Let's take a quick look at the PPRs after twenty rounds. Fisher Hamilton throwing a ten point five with eight total four baggers. Mark Richards, ten point two five with a four bagger percentage around forty-five percent putting close to 80% of his bags in the hole. The winner of this match again plays Damon Dennis. Next up, though, will be Alex Rawls against Devin Harbaugh. Slick side, unable to get that collect. He's happy it stays on the board, though. And Mark able to go in there for another 12 on 10, picking up a couple, making it 15 to 12 as we head into round number 22. Hashtag chemistry crew. A lot of hashtags nowadays. Hashtag need more hashtags. Who brought me the beer? Who brought me the beer? Lady, that I don't see anymore. Lady all the way on the end of those benches. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give her a shout-out. Hashtag Wally Meech for the best. I like it. I like it. Ooh. Is that a tomahawk? That was a tomahawk? <laughs> Hashtag appreciate the beer, lady. See, not all heroes wear capes. Sometimes they just hang out on the bleachers. Thank you very much for the beverage. Chat, do me a favor. Give that lady a round of applause in the chat. Hit the thumbs up button for her. Let's go.
Uh, Jet, you better believe, man, we're doing a cash game at Worlds. I'm down. Let's go. Boom. Business card. Oh, I like that bag right there. His, his does fall in. Interesting situation here on bag number three for Mark. How's he want to handle it? Goes with a sticky side replace. That's what I love about my job, though. Sometimes I ask for things in the, in the chat without even realizing I'm asking for them, and then usually somebody in the building comes through. I think it's about time to see when I fly out tomorrow. 115. All right. I can I can do some I can do some browsing. Probably gonna go buy some new shoes. Chad, if you got any ideas or suggestions on what shoes to buy, hit me up. Oh Anthony, you're right on. Bleacher Lady for open number 16 MVP. Let's go. Mark with a hard tilt on it, does get around it. Let's see if Fisher wants to chase this, up 15-13. He did try to chase it. Hard tilt, that bag's lucky to stay on the board though. Never mind. He gone. Fisher again chasing that time, slick side. That one's off the back, is this plus four? I think it's plus four, we got ourselves a lead change. 17-15, heading into round number 25. Still got quite a few boards to pick up and my tear down, I got plenty of time, plenty of time. Get some Brooks, great shoes. Nike 270s. I could be six foot tall. I, knew, I mean, that's my goal, be six foot tall one day. Get that extra little boost. I'll take Velcro shoes. Don't be rocking Velcro shoes. Damon Dennis got Velcro shoes, and look how far Damon Dennis gets. Just saying. Pros getting away pros. You ain't lying. Oh, my goodness. Rare miss right off the back of the board. Remind me of Cat in Sacramento whenever I played against her in the Doubles tournament. <laughs> Baited. <laughs> Baited. Chat, don't mind my voice. <laughs> I sound like a raspy old man today. But it was Tridelphia if we're going to talk. That's true. Smack, it Wally. Was Tridelphia. I told you I'd hang out with you today. I just didn't know how well it was going to sound. If you wanted me. You sound wonderful. You are so full of it. I sound like doesn't, you sounded like Doesn't she week. sound wonderful, chat? I sounded exactly how you sounded last week. Rough. Whoopsie. In front of the board, and now this is interesting. We got a chance for an air mail triple Whoa. for six points and the win. Fisher Hamilton up top. He is going to hit it clean and get it to go, and that is going to do it. And just like that, chat, the file becomes corrupted. We're out of replay juice. Uh, we got we got to figure out something with the storage cat. It kills me. I hope I, hopefully I got it. I don't know if I did. Did you get it? Let's find out. No. No, he didn't we'll get just it. Just end on the roll. Uh, dang it! Did it yesterday too. What a shot though, Fisher Hamilton, big shot up top. I was even being conservative with the replays. All right, cat. We're gonna take a commercial break. When we come back, Alex Rawls and Devin Harbaugh to try and get to the finals. Fisher Hamilton will now take on Damon Dennis. See you guys in just a few.
All right, Chad, welcome back. Down to the final three matches of the evening. Alex Rawls, Devin Harbaugh first. Winner of this match gets to the finals. Devin Harbaugh is him. Throwing absolutely lights out to get to this point. Will he be denied? Can he get past, get past that little second place jitter? One of the top tier pros just needs a few more titles on his resume. Good place to start right here. Open number 16 at the Hall of Fame. I believe he's throwing the same board walkers he's been throwing all weekend. I haven't seen anything different. Terry in the chat says, let's go roll. Zach says, let's go, Alex. Florida final, let's go. Dang, you're just gonna write off Damon Dennis like that? Come on, Chibi. You gotta pay some respect to the OG. Chibi. Yeah. Oh, he's Florida bound. Mm-hmm. I probably should be, but you know. My dog in this fight is gone, so. You gotta root for the dog that beat your dog to have a dog. Yeah, probably. Something. I mean, Devin's been throwing lights out here recently, so I feel like he should get this one because Ryan Hart had zero mercy on Friday. Well, zero. I, I don't know if you were had the headphones on if you were sitting over here when I talked about that. I forgot. I was. It was either right before the match to get to broadcast or something. I talked to Ryan Hart and I said, "You win this whole thing, I'm gonna give you a canine jersey." So, did he come and tell you his size? Yeah, he did. I forgot all about it. He messaged me. He's a, a medium, by the way. I was like, what? He's like, for that jersey you promised me if I win? I was like, oh, you're right. I forgot. Dude, he deserved every ounce of that yeah, canine did. jersey after that win. Yeah, he did. Somebody said he made it to the basically semifinals in Myrtle Beach. The very first shootout. Did he get that far, too? I think so. I don't even remember that one. The chat is, it is me, guys. I'm sorry. My voice is gone. This building is not the quietest. I've unfortunately had to a little too much strain on the voice this weekend. You yelled at her, buddy. No, I had whatever you had last week when you all were in Milwaukee, I had it at home. Uh -huh. So like now all the drainage has just made my throat like raw. Ooh. It's bad. We got a leaner. Triple bar of soap. Triple <laughs> bar of soap. I think Devin is just making sure that this isn't going to fall. For sure. And he can just pull it out because he doesn't want to throw away his bag. He's giving it. <laughs> yeah, he, it's Evan. He's taking the one. He doesn't want to, like, throw his bag and sacrifice it and then everything fall. I've seen that happen before. Hashtag RIP Tanner Halbert's bag. Or was it Tony Smith's bag? It's Tony's. Tony's bag? Yeah. Oh, wait. Was it Salt Tony's Lake? Tony's fell. Yeah. When they were walking. Yeah, I thought Tanner threw the bag. Tony sacrificed his bag, and then Correct. Tanner's bags fell, I thought. Yeah. No. No, it was the other way Tanner's around? Tanner's bags were there. Tony didn't want them to fall, so Tony sacrificed, and then Tanner's bags fell. Yeah, so... And then they said it wasn't Tony's turn to throw because the bags were apparently still moving. I'm so not sure I feel about that rule, <laughs> but that's the call that was made. You know that someone actually had that same situation not long ago? And they came up to me, and I was like, you know, I know this one. <laughs> it's burned in my brain. first-hand experience of this one. Two. Sound like I just got out of bed. That is rude. I have been here since, like, 8.15 this morning. <laughs> I wish I just got out of bed, though. That'd be fantastic. It's been a long one. It's been a long one. Good one, though. Last one. Yeah, it was... Uh... Hard for me to remember what day we were at yesterday. I, was, I kept saying to me, she was like, yeah, a couple days ago. She was like, that was just this morning. I was like, oh. 
<laughs> Only imagine what worlds will feel yeah. like. Nine days, 11 broadcasts. It's going to be so much fun. I'm just, ex my, you know I'll, what I'm so I'll excited be for? I'll be throwing, is there, is there, are you excited for me making the broadcast on Saturday? I am. Or cop singles? Well, I'm definitely ready for that one. But I'm even more excited for you to be the host of our Stevies. I got something planned. I got something planned. I'm, I'm nervous. I, like Bernie and I talked. Oh, wow. Almost got that to fall back in. Bernie and I talked about if I say a joke and the crowd doesn't react. Like, I'm not going to say a joke, but I really need the crowd interaction. Okay, well, first as of all, far as the crowd loves yelling you. social. If I say something and they don't yell social, I'm going to be devastated. Okay, chat. Here it is right now. Force Just collect that from Devin. You have to crowd react to Wally. Y'all love him. Eight bags him down on. the middle. You guys all yell social. That's all you got to do. When I say eight bags down the middle, you guys yell social. That's it. He's prepping you. Don't fail him. Josh, get out of my DMs, bro. I don't even like you like that. <laughs> we ain't got that chemistry, you know? Sometimes. All right, so Alex trying to take a crack at the final here. <laughs> See what I did there, Kat? Yeah. I did. I did. I did. It was really good. I don't know Fisher, if Russ got it, but I loved it. Fisher Hamilton and Damon Dennis on the other side. Damon's probably just happy to finally get a break. Oh, those games with Ryan and Damon were long, tough games for sure. I was watching some of it, and it was... I, I've never seen so, two people wash as many times as they did just with a situation of, like, not 12s, right? Like, yeah. Follow the leader like nobody's business for rounds and rounds and rounds. Let's go, Kathy Rockwell. Appreciate you. So Devin with another two bags now off the back. Like, what is it about Devin Harbaugh where he can? He's the most feared name in the bracket. You see him across from me. You're like, great. I got to play Harbaugh. You lose because he throws an 11 point something. Yeah. And then it gets down to the very end, and he just kind of has these blowups like this. Like, what? I don't get it. I don't see him getting nervous. No, and his mental game has been so good. It's just, it doesn't make any sense, especially the way he's been. Just like right there, that bag sailed on him a little bit. But if you allow that frustration to get to you too, it's just going to make it worse. Could just be pressure. Got to shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> I will not subject the chat the top. to me singing at the moment. I don't want to hit him with a little smelly cat. Or, or no, we're not doing cat. that. It's so bad. Smelly cat. It cracks like I'm a 13-year-old boy in a freaking voice change. It's horrible. And then Devin just not getting any bite now. That one just rolls off the back. Like something weird is happening here. Alex just goes back inside, talks himself off of that cut. Yeah, like why would you even attempt that? Like Devin is right now. Good air mail there. That in, you're already showing seven, seven on two. Like, I think I've seen Harbaugh throw this many bags on the ground all weekend. He's already got three in the last two rounds. Slick side only gets one to fall. The other one hung up on six out in the back. Five. No, it's uh, seven on five, two. No. Each have one off. Yes, he didn't know what Devin threw. He was having a moment. Oh. Math is hard. Math is hard, especially this late in the day. It's Sunday. The normal boardwalkers he plays plays differently, I feel like. Like that bad would have been in on that cut, me or wrong, but who knows. I agree with you, and I can understand why he plays with these bags for the broadcast. You, know, you got to have one bag solid color, so these bags worked out for him there. Um, maybe he just felt comfortable enough with them. I mean, he's been throwing lights out, so it's not like it's the bag's fault. And he's been throwing lights so, out here on the right live stream though. court. If I'm Alex, though, I do not want to give him any opportunities. This right here could be a big one. Sure, Devin set up to get some good points here. And for the airmail, I liked him leaving that bag in place. I was thinking maybe like a little safety roll attempt at it. No, for sure. Alex cleans up in here for one. Got, got to take the positive there that round. 13 to 2 now. You get one out of it, but now you're going to need to take and take that first bag and really use it to your advantage. Like, best thing Debbie could do here is make Alex run bags with him like he's done with Jordan and Tanner. 
the last two games. Yeah, I think we need a giant green screen instead of these uh, pipe and drape. And I could play like images behind the players. Make it look like they're throwing bags in outer space, you know? Well, let me tell you how much I've loved your pipe and drape all weekend, considering the air in this building <laughs> has not made it look very clean. Airmail there from Devin. Alex hits the same spot. Blurry cameras to go with the ugly pipe and drape. Why not? Hey, Miguel said that Another if I needed a break, he'd take over my job at the ACL. Would you like to forewarn him? <laughs> another hammer there from Alex. So it's only another point, but hey, points is points. 13-3. Penny out of time. Miguel, you ain't got the voice for it, bro. Tony, right now. Miguel, like, yeah, I need you to please move this over <laughs> to this side. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. Can you? All right. I felt like that guy in office space. Mm -hmm. They took my stapler. Oh, yeah, I thought you were talking about Miguel Villa. Miguel Alvarez. Oh, it was Alvarez, yeah. Either way. I assume Miguel. Miguel Villa probably would have said the same thing, though. I assume all Miguel sound the same. I would say probably pretty close. <laughs> Devin now taking away center lane, and it seems like it's just an entire flip all of a sudden with momentum. Or as uh, Mish would say, mentum. And the better you do, the mo you get of it. Good push through right there. Right. You can dirty my tablecloth, that's fine. We're gonna get new ones apparently. Well, Hope considering hopefully. that I am the one that makes sure that they get washed, <laughs> I think I can do it. I think I can get a pass. Did you uh, get a hold of old boy and get us some in the makings? No. That is no the dice? process. Nothing yet? Miguel, get on that. Miguel, get me some tablecloths. Need an eight foot, six foot. Backlist, logoed. Yep. yep. Non stretch material. It's fantastic. All the details. All the deets. Devin's just plucking away. Were you prepared to set in for the long haul this afternoon, Wally? Yeah. Yep. I got my energy level back uh, probably midday yesterday. That's good. I had like a spurt there Friday. I was like, man, I'm back, baby, I'm back. And then we did broadcast and I went back to the hotel room. I'm like, uh, not feeling it. It's okay. Friday was beyond stressful and I was like at my wits end. But then after broadcast was over, we got all the celebs in the cars. I walked inside and I was like, we did it. It's done. <laughs> and I went like off the charts. I was like, where was all this energy all day? Chris Axer said, had a great time this weekend. Thanks, Kat, for all your hard work. There you go. For sure. Thank you. Appreciate it. Blake and Kristen Massey checking in. What's up, uh, Blake? What's up, Kristen? Remember, Kat, we used to have a family. We used to go hang out on Sundays, and after all these opens, we'd go hang out and relax and enjoy each other's company, and Kristen just does not care anymore about the family. I'll give her a little bit of slack. She's driving home, so she's trying to get home to get at least one day of rest before we go into the crazy two-week prep. Nope. Boo. I got your back, Kristen. I promise. Nope. Boo. Johnny says, still waiting here from the ACL. You guys are in the market for a graphic designer. Put me in, coach. No, sir. Not until you uh, honor your bet that you lost and wear that Cardinals hat on one of your podcasts. Ooh, ouch, rumba. I decided to see the fun stuff that Corey comes up with for Matter of fact, our world's yeah. live streams. Corey's the man. He is. He is the bomb. Matter of fact, I believe that was a bet against Devin Harbaugh. Devin Harbaugh won that open and uh, won me that bet. Nice little tap. That was a good bag. Timeout. Court one. Harbaugh's going to walk down just to uh, see... Exactly how hard at what angle he needs to throw all this to try and get this left to right movement to collect all these bags. I love absolutely like watching these players. Tanner did it like all day today, talking, literally going, okay, talking to themselves, this back falls, that falls this way. And it's not like an internal thing. Like they are actually moving their mouths and be like, all right, I need to do this. 
It's gonna fall this way, I gotta play it that way. It's such a mental piece. So about half on the carpet, half on the ground. Back his way, slick side down. He's fine with that, he says. It's a hard push through for Alex to try and get three. And he will only get the one out of it. So damage control pays off there from Harbaugh. Sometimes you just got to sacrifice a point. Corey says, working on graphics now. All right, Corey, we're going to hold our breath. Still waiting on Corey to tell me what laptop to buy. Yes, boo, -boo it's me. Don't hate. Although I'm pretty sure Corey put you guys above me on the priority list. It's fine. Everything's fine. Didn't even notice. Put who above? The ACL. Well, I mean, technically you are the ACL, Wally. Yeah. Technically, Corey's canine unit. There was. Well, it was your idea to hire him. I know. So yeah. I don't know what to tell you now. It was a really good idea, too. It's paid off well. It I'm, definitely I'm happy has with been. what Corey's doing. I still don't know what the laptop to buy, though. Money's been burning a hole in my bank account, Cat. Just gonna have to get rid of it somehow. Corey, please, God, just tell the man what on a laptop to buy. No, Corey's smart, though. He knows it's not gonna stop with the laptop. Like, <laughs> all right, what plugin should I buy? What device should I buy? Should I buy this for a carrier? Like, he already knows. <laughs> all right, well, then, can I have Corey through Worlds and then you can have him back? This was a request I put in in March. <laughs> so well, we'll you, okay, so you put the request in right before pro season? That was a smart decision, Wally. Really smart. I mean, I could probably go back. It might have been before March, but <laughs> don't worry. I've, I've given up hope. I've given up hope. I got your back, Corey. Well, side by side. Now, I got to say, the addition of Corey and Chase, as far as producers go, are amazing. I don't know what's in store for the ACL next season, but... If we can get Corey and Chase to produce and then myself and Jake to commentate, money. Ooh, kangaroo off to the side. Hey, Ain't another there from Devin. It's 14 to 5, and I feel like Devin's just right back in this. Like, 100%. You know I mean? Like, the score doesn't look good, but, like, you can see Devin's game has changed, too. Like, oh, and, and I'm going to call. That's, that's the you. Announcer that's that's all, you. That was on me. That was you all day. That was on me. In my defense, though, he should have gone for the penguin. Mm. Yep, that was me. That one was me. I still feel like he's in it, though. 14-5. Stat check. Exactly where he wants. Harbaugh with an 8.83. Three, four baggers and for the first time, I think, all season. That's more, not more bags on the ground than four baggers. Alex Rawls, the 9.75, four four-baggers of his own. Not exactly the clean match that we expected to get to the championship finals. Not at all, especially the way that Devin's been playing this game today. Like, I feel like Alex is almost forcing him to play a different game, which is, Devin's just need to figure out how to get it back to running bags. Well, we saw two versions of Devin, three. Three versions of Devin leading up to this. Devin against Jordan Power was just remarkable. Devin against Tanner was remarkable. This is just not the same version of Devin. No. Alex has one off. If I'm not just, I just go bored here. I would all day. <laughs> get my point. Get as long first as they're not going to fall. This is timeout number two, I believe. For Devin, yes, I believe so. Now let's take one. Alex can hide the bag. Smart play. <laughs> Guys, by the way, that, that really is, it's a nice thing. Like, you're respectful. Player walks down. Like, you're handing it to them. Like, it's not a mind game. Like, it's get really your, respect thing. Get your grubby, greasy fingers off my bag. I'm putting my bag back on the board. Get a <laughs> blow dryer out. I ain't touching my bag. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm going to call time out and set it off the side. Wow, he went for it and gets it to pay off. It does fall in. He'll get the three points out of it. The fact that he even went for that with two of Alex's bags sitting on the <laughs> hole is ridiculous. I mean, at this point, though, like, De I can guarantee you Devin's like, okay, I'm down 15 to 5. Like, wow. What do you expect? That was a little anticlimactic, too. The crowd didn't even know what happened. Everybody just kind of looked at each other. And no replay to show you guys? Man. 
What a day. Wally in a storage. I don't really know. Do you know where it started, Wally? Because that used to not be a thing. What's that? Picking, Picking up, up bag. bags. And then all of a sudden, like, now everyone's doing it. I think Damon Dennis did it earlier this year. And everyone's kind of played off it, just like Harbaugh's finger cross thing. Oh, yeah, for sure. And if you're going to follow someone, Damon would be one I would say it's okay to do that from. Unless you're playing me. Don't touch my bag. Oh. Hashtag don't touch go. my bag. There's going to be your head game. One Next K time I play you, I'm definitely one touching K your bags every time. There's no rule that says I can't take my bag down the other end. No, there's not. However, if you drop it, mm -hmm. dong, dong, dong. So there was a situation yesterday out of frustration. Somebody threw their bag on the, on the board. It slid down the board. It did not cross the line. But if it crosses the line, that's considered a throw, right? Technically, I think we're getting a little. But, I mean, the game was 1919. And the other opponent already had a bag in the hole. So, like, that, I would have called that for three points to get to the finals or something like that. It was a shootout or something. Yeah, but do you want to win that way? 100%. If there's $4,000 on the line, I don't care. And a chance to win 50000 in a shootout, I, I'm taking it. I mean, I get you 100%. Like, and I tell them all the time, go like. The, go to the Pearl Group chat and complain about me all you want. I don't care. <laughs> I'm taking my money and running. I mean, I get it for sure. But unfortunately, the way that this is looking for Devin right now, it's not going to be pretty. Those are definitely out of play for Devin. Alex goes in here, and he's going to be one point away from taking it home. It's just so confusing, too. Ooh. Wow. Uh, 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 uh. That's on you. Mm. That one was you. Maybe I did it on purpose. Oh. <laughs> just kids. That's it. Cat hates Florida. Yep, that's exactly what it is, guys. I hate the place I live. Am I allowed to put my bag in my pocket while I walk down and look? I don't believe so. I think there is a rule against that one. Can't. Can't conceal or deceive. You're not supposed right? to conceal. However, that rule gets tricky, too. Of course, a balance on the head. 100 solid. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, was, that one's not concealing if you do that. No. Oof. Timeout. There's so many timeouts Court here. One. <laughs> so if Devin throws that bag 52 courts over, but it does not cross the line, it's still not a throw. Correct. But he's got to <laughs> get it back. Yeah, he's got to go get it within the 12 and seconds. And throw it within 12 seconds. Yeah. Ask Eric Davis. He knows anything about that. Alex just goes board here. Devin's going to use his final timeout. He's got to get this in clean. Can't just go board. Can't take Alex with you unless you get your other bag as well. Steve says if you call a timeout, it shouldn't matter. I'm telling you, man, there's situations that will come up still to this day that we've never thought of in the rule book. So you do not want to put a situation where the bag falls on the board, everything falls in the hole or something like that, and that'll do it. Lands on top of the pile, gets everything to fall in, but then the bag in hand stays on the board. Unfortunate that this isn't the version of Devin Harbaugh we saw all day. Alex, I feel like he kind of stole one there. 100%. Snuck by. But he is on to the championship match. Your overall number one seed in the open still going. When we come back, Fisher Hamilton, Damon Dennis. We'll see you in a few.
ACL Nation, what is up? Welcome back here to Canton, Ohio. Down to the final three players. Alex Rawls has punched his ticket to the finals. He's going to take on one of these two gentlemen, Damon Dennis, Fisher Hamilton. Set and ret to go. We are widowy down to the nitty gritty. We are. And I'm crunching through nachos trying to make it through. All right, they're down and back twice, has concluded. These bags are live. Chad starting things off on the right-hand side. Damon Dennis firing up a blocker right away. Damon Dennis looking for his second title, took one down in Mesa. Fisher Hamilton looking for his second as well, took one down in Myrtle Beach. No matter what, we have a repeat here, right? Yeah, so the only other repeat winner was Mark Richards. So still waiting on clarification okay i'm not sure if you know or not as far as the tournament of champions yep. goes how the tiebreaker works mark, what do you mean with tiebreaker mark was the first one to win um two opens so does that make him the number one seed automatically or does if fisher has a chance to win here will fisher pass him up being the higher seed in opens my understanding it went on when you finished it had nothing to do with seeding Right. Open one, so one open would two. Play, one would play 16. One play 16, yes. So that would mean since Mark has two wins, though, would Mark become the one seed and get a bye? No, because then he would still finish. He would still just take his first placement. Your second win doesn't really count. It just So then whoever a would play number 16 would get a bye? Essentially, but essentially the, with this seat, I, I, that's what I understood was that it all, <laughs> it had no seating involved in it and it all was based on like your actual, o the finish. What open you won was your seed. But then if you get a repeat here, Let's see. 15 and 16 is a buy. So the person that won one and the person that won two is automatically buys, right? That's would be terrible. So Jamie Graham and Caden Allen, congratulations, maybe. Guys, don't quote me on this. That's just from what I understood how it was working, that it wasn't any seating involved other than the open number. Sounds like you guys got some ironing to do. That's not my call. <laughs> That's not a me thing. I will make an official decision then. Mark Richards has a buy. How about that? Okay, but what do you do with these guys? Yeah, they forfeit. Yeah. They would then become the two seed. Well, it's already I would say like, I would okay. say Mark would be the one seed unless Fisher wins. If Fisher wins, Fisher becomes the one seed because he would have a buy with a higher seed. Alex, if Alex wins, he would be the number one seed because he was the number one seed in opens. Yeah, but what's that's what I think. Okay, do you have the doubles list? Mm hmm Talk about that. So had Logan and Justin won one before. Uh, Logan is in with Sammy Soto. Correct. So Justin's out. Correct. But Mark, Mark is the three-time champion. I so, mean, I agree with you. So I'm Mark should be the one seed in doubles as well. But then you ha you're going to have buys no matter what because these people can't play. Exactly. That's why you need seeding. So you think it should be seeded purely because of the fact that there's going to be buys no matter what? Uh, tiebreaker number one, determined by how many titles you have. Okay. So Mark in doubles, three titles. Mark should be the one seed with Philip because he won first with Philip, right? Open number two. Well, so then you can only, to me, you can only count Mark twice. You count Mark and Phil twice, so they still become the one seed. Like, I would yeah. count Mark's third one in there. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying if there was another person that had two, then Correct. yeah. So then there's another person with two, Trey, right? Trey has two, so Trey would be the two seed. Correct, but it's janked. Because, like, Gavin gets left out. He's won twice. Didn't Gavin win with two different people? No, Someone Gavin. Someone won with two different people that's already in. Yeah, Gavin won with Fisher, right? That had won first with Eric. And with Eric. And he won with Mark. That's already yeah. in with Phil. Yeah. You don't like it, play better. That's not his fault. It is his fault. He picked the partners. Yeah, but it ain't how like many he, people it ain't actually like he walked knew away without about money. this tournament of champions situation before uh, we started the season? 
should have won yesterday. He came close. He did. One bag. Don't hate on my boy. I'm not hating on your boy. I'm just saying, like, that one bag on the front of the board could have sealed his deal and made him in the tournament of champions. So, again, oh, if you don't like on. it, play better. No no disrespect at all to Gabby. He knows he messed that up. Oh, And sorry. Caleb did the same thing. But I'm just saying, yeah. as far as the tournament of champions goes, there needs to be seating in it. You need to be rewarded based on how your tournament went. I get you, 100%. You cannot, I feel like it'd be unjust to reward a bye to Jamie Graham. Just because. Because Mark Richards won back-to-back. -back. Correct. 100% agree. Or, but, no, not Mark Richards, whoever wins this. Correct, whoever wins yeah. this, won two, yes. And then the two, and then Caden also would get a bye because Mark won two. So I get you completely, 100%. That's why I need to be involved in those calls, Chip. You know, just, I'm I'll not just, involved in those calls either, I'll just so... Be, I'll just be quiet in the corner until I see something that don't sound right. Well, I'm not Ooh. quiet in the corner ever, but... <laughs> I also always Fisher's make sure that we talk about... here. Points, points. So, Fisher and Hamilton, I believe, passed up Trey Burt... No, not Trey. Who did he pass up? He's got five titles? Six titles? Fisher? Yeah, got a chance to add. They just said the post the other day, or they said it on one of the, the feeds. Anyway, Trey's, Trey's got to be watching somewhere. Trey, hit us up in the chat. American Cornhole League, hit us up with a stat in the chat that tells me how many titles Fisher Hamilton has and where he stands as far as the all-time list goes. He passed D, but... Damon Dennis, that's what it is. Okay. Let's see if there Damon Dennis is holding a grudge. Damon Dennis probably me. doesn't even know. You ain't gonna pass me. Yeah, you think true. Damon knows? I'd be really surprised if Damon Dennis was someone that actually counted titles. Damon also. Dennis didn't want that scorecard. Well, I have one more matches than you. <laughs> Yeah, it's a crazy thing. Mark has more open wins than anyone still came in as a 14 seed. Yeah, but I don't think Mark puts – I don't think Mark has yeah. locals and regionals Region like that. Stuff, Alex yeah. plays, you know, 10 times a week yeah. or something back there. <laughs> Not all of us have that luxury, Wally. Oh, no. Tell me about it. I was just wanting to play comp singles for fun because I was like, oh. I don't think I have any broadcasting responsibilities this day. I can, I'll sign up for comp singles. And then I'm sitting here going through the schedule. I'm like, all right, Saturday, broadcast comp. What? I got a chance to be on TV playing? Gosh, dang, you want to talk about two reasons to lose weight, playing on TV and Stevie Awards? Do you know how excited Ooh. I would be for you if you made the finals of comp singles volume? For a guy who doesn't really get nervous and just kind of enjoys that type of environment, I will be shaking <laughs> like crazy. Like, I mean, there's going to be so like, and it's not even for me. It's not even for the moment. I would just be so stressed out that I have to win that tournament for everybody because I know everyone's going to be pulling for me, except for whoever I play against family. Yeah. <laughs> you know how packed that broadcast would be if all of a sudden we put out Wally. <laughs> K-9 Wally. Has made the broadcast. I'll we are best viewed ESPN3 I, show ever. <laughs> I don't care if I win or lose. I will entertain. I'll tell you that much. All right. I should make sure they push your player mic live like the this entire is, time. That's fine with me. <laughs> I'll make sure I hit you guys with the golly G, G Willikers one time. I even told I told myself, like, all right. If I get on broadcast and I have a bag that's just like dangling on the hole and it finally falls in, I want everyone to go bloop. And I want every bag from that point on to be in the hole just bloop, bloop. I want to be overly annoying. Oh, it's your thing. I'm telling you, like, if I, if I were to be really good and better looking, I could be the guy that transcends the sport. I'm just saying. I got the personality somewhere buried in here for it. You have the personality the minute you put that microphone on your head. And yeah. I get it occasionally yeah. <laughs> outside of it, but it's very few and far between. Yeah. If y'all have ever actually hung out with Wally outside of this lovely booth, it's a very different person. $20,000 divorce, I'll do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Double D, it seems like this is how he's been winning the entire day. Just kind of lulling you to steady. sleep two at a time, not playing risky, not doing anything crazy. Coming from behind. Doesn't Damon doesn't get, fall into this pros getting away of pros category. He, he is the... He is the one guy who understands the importance of each round and doesn't really take too many risks. Wanted that hard cut. Now there's a situation here where Fisher's basically baited into shooting an airmail here. You get the short airmail for the drag or the and one off the back. Chooses to go with the collect. You can't and one, the and one man. You definitely but, can. No. Mm -mm. It's against the books. You have violated an unspoken rule of cornhole. Correct, Mundo. There's lots of those. So many of those. It's killing me not to have any replay. My hands, you see what I'm doing? My hands just like I see. waiting. <laughs> While he only has one button to push, it's really starting mm -hmm. to pluck his nerves. It really is. He keeps touching all the screens. Like, like I'm waiting, I'm waiting to get to round 10 so I can show you guys PPRs like I normally do. It's just. <laughs> all right, well, we're just here. Slow and steady wins the race. Damon with an opportunity here. Fisher off to the side. Nice job bullying. You can see he kind of bunched in that corner, making this collect nearly impossible for Fisher. Fisher then in turn goes side by side, taking away Southern Lane. Damon with an opportunity here. He can hit that cut. I don't think he likes this cut collect. I don't think he does either. I think he might be thinking air mill here. Fisher with a grin on his face. <laughs> Fisher's fine with it. You know, we don't, I mean, we got the Stevie, I guess, the throwing motion. Yeah. But I think one of the best silhouettes that I would love to see, it, it'd be like more of a motion silhouette. Oh! Oh, oh my goodness. That's about. I really about, don't think they're touching at all either. That's about as close as you could have got to collecting that bag. Fisher taking some baby steps down to the other end. <laughs> Damon tries kicking it in. But uh, anyway, I was going to say, Damon's clap when he does a good shot oh, you know yes. what i mean like that would yes. be a great silhouette into like a timeout or a tv timeout or something whenever he claps his hands and kind of twists his body did one of the little ones hand <laughs> one damon yesterday oh i don't know i think so uh is it cash or easton or trevor there was a lot of little ones this weekend i love it Cash, Easton, Trevor, Braden, Braden's still Braden. little. I was talking to Jane Nellis. He's back here chomping at the bit. I'm like, I'm like, I, I was like, I know there's no one allowed under 16 until they change the rule or if they change the rule. And he's like, well, I'll be 16 by January or whatever. And I was like, I was like, yeah, but now we might do the draft in October. And he's like, so, even still, actually, if I think, think he's 16 in September. So still. yeah, but it wouldn't matter because under. There's yes. no, no 16 you, but eight, 16 to 18 he'll be allowed in. Correct. But I can't remember who's ahead of him. I know Cameron D'Ambrosio was about 14. Landon Bass, I believe, was 15. Yeah, he won't make it while Ryan, all Ryan of Trader's those young. Guys Brady Wilson's so young. young. So it's like, huh. So a lot of those top juniors that were really gunning for that spot that are all under the age of 16. Oh, if they don't like it, play better. Yeah, but the problem is it doesn't matter how they play, Wally. It's the world of gambling nowadays. I think, too, if the, if the gambling websites were to put, like, an asterisk at the top that were to say, if this situation happens, this is how it plays itself out, that could solve a lot of the red tape issues. Now, I don't exactly know how that works. Yeah, that. but I think it would just as long as it's explained to the betters in Cornell, I, for the most part, I think we'd be fine. Now, for the like diehard betters who like you know do research and stuff like that and don't really know the sport, 
Yeah. I think that might be different, but I don't exactly know the dollars as far as who puts in what percentage of. Yeah, especially now betting, that we're draft king, you know? draft kings and prize picks. Yeah. It's like a whole different. I'll tell you what. I'll start my own gambling site and I'll allow it. You know, well, minimum you bet fifteen cents because I don't have the cash <laughs> roll <laughs> in case everybody wins. I, mean, I could probably find the patience for that. There's more money in that than there is in commentating. <laughs> All I need is one week to go my way, and I'll probably be set for the whole year. Up top. Ooh, he's working Ooh, that cut like more than he is the air mill. And I do like that, too, leaving that bag in place. Ooh, and two, and two, and two, and I mean, two, even if he doesn't hit two and he just hits both, it's six. We'll wait till he walks by me. And to enter, you're not hitting that far on the backside and grabbing the front one, Alex. He's gonna step you out. He's, he's out gonna step out ground. three feet and get him. Got one guy in the crowd with me. I almost got a smile out of KB. Almost. That was close. Oh, he is stepping out. Yeah, he's gonna do the safe shot because at least uh, if you knock that one in and stay on, you're still getting four. And two. Oh, if I don't have a replay for the and two, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I hope he hands two just so you don't have a replay. <laughs> and two. And two, and two, and he two. ain't going for no and two. Oh, he hits a clean. I'm going to ask him about it. I'm going to ask him about it. I guarantee he's going for the and two. <laughs> Either way, he's going to get four out of that one. What would the, what would the and two of math to be there, Kat? And two, well, and the drag? Ooh, okay, let's go without the drag because that would have been hard. That would have been hard to hit the front and the back of the hole. Well, that's what I'm so saying. Been like... 10 on six or no, 10 on four for six spot. Yeah, 10 on 4 with the and 2. You the drag without Jeez. the and 2. It's 12 on 6. Oh, my goodness. 12 on 4. When 12 on 4. You got 12 on 4. That would an 8 point and 2. Shot of the year contention right there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us living in a little fantasy and, world. <laughs> hey, you want to know the best part? It would have been shot of the year contention and you don't have a replay. <laughs> Trey Ryder. <laughs> Get it fixed. <laughs> All right, while well, he's fired, boom, fixed. <laughs> How is that a you, like, is it a, just a storage problem, or is it a Corey Russell haven't given you no, the name I, of the computer you should buy problem? No, that this is for me personally, for Corey. Oh. But this is, I think we need to upgrade this device here. Oh. Um, but I think it's just, Saving I mean, it could be again. a good shot. It could be an and me thing because, and me. It could be a me <laughs> thing because uh, Damon is going to and me over here. Good collector oh. from Fish on the other side. Damon giving a little fist bump. Like, really, dude? I was really excited about my airmail and you just yanked Damon it. Damon Dennis looks so small next to Fisher and only <laughs> Fisher. You know what I mean? Damon Dennis looks big next to everybody else except for Fisher Hamilton. I would agree with you. I would agree. But, uh, no, I can go in and delete, like, all the opens and nationals and the draft and stuff like that. I just want to make sure everything's saved somewhere first. I, I know no, it's I agree. all there. For sure. So, it's like, I'm really hesitant to delete files. I have that same problem. I have a lot of old files that I probably, you Six know. Side down. Should just delete. Going for the cut. <gasps> Ooh, Ooh almost it got it. Takes them all in there. Oh, Damon just called him a B word. I'm just kidding. I don't know what he said. He said something about shouldn't have gone off something. It's three, 17, 10. And I think he said that's a good shot. And yeah, it's a good shot. It's Fisher tucks his uh, shorts back in there, 17 to 10, trying to finish off the final four shots to get to the all Florida final. Anthony, I got no idea, bro. It's not a matter of I've what you know, it's a matter of who you know. To be honest with you, I don't know if anybody else wants to go through this torture. I mean, 26 <laughs> weeks away from your family, going through all the stuff I've gone through off the court. Sheesh. It's a lot for sure. This has become my escape, which is sad. <laughs> kind of sad. A lot goes I into mean, it. It's fun, though. You get to be a different person and just kind of have some fun for a little bit. Good job there, kind of wedging in between. I mean, I think the biggest thing for me is just realizing that there's going to be, like, one hater and... 600 people that like what I do, so. Always a troll. Yeah. There's always a troll. Damon Dennis trying to figure out the right speed to go at this. It's a good time to break out the double D roll bag. Uh. Up top short on the pile. He wanted that to land and stay. 
Instead, it kicks off to the left-hand side. Fisher now with a collect for plus two. He gets it. And now this bag in hand here is important. It has to be in. Fisher didn't think he had it. Damon's cracking a little smirk. Fisher gave it. Oh, my God, and look. Double D stays alive. 19 to 10. About time for Double D to go on a little run here. Fisher literally just said, I thought that was so bad. <laughs> Key said, my baby girl don't sound good. Not quite. Baby girl's voice is gone. Camera's crooked? Nah, do your TV's lopsided. Put that coaster <laughs> under it, bro. Stop shopping for your TVs at Goodwill. Ooh, Trisha gave him a window off the jump. We've watched Damon Dennis be behind in several games and pluck his way back, so y'all be prepared. But this could possibly go for the long haul. Alex is not prepared for that. He does not want to sit here any longer. Because it's finally starting to cool off in this building. You get cold fast, Alex. <laughs> yeah. Still got some boards to be throwing on. Kind of surprised. Mm -hmm. Nobody's really throwing any boards behind us. It's starting to disappear. There's literally like maybe, what, 10... 12 board set up, so. So here we go. Plus two, 19, 12. Here we go. Refill your drinks, ladies and gentlemen. Fisher with a 10.08, six total four baggers. Damon Dennis putting 71% in for a 9.54. Ian, I'm right there with you. Should have had the canine wizards. By That's the a way, real question. Who's going to be the first person to win a tournament with canine bags? In the open division? I, I don't know because them canine AAR collabs mm -hmm. are fire. Mm -hmm. You are a patriot whatsoever. You need to check those out. Yeah, we got, what's today? 16th. We got, I think, one more week left on it. We're extending it a little bit due to the, uh, mm. uh oh. Off the back of the board, and this could be it. This could be the end. Yeah, trying to finish yeah. things off here. Sticky side just replaces it. I'm kind of surprised. You just didn't take your points right there. For sure. Damon tried to go through all of it all, and he was off to the side. And that'll do it. Doesn't even need to throw this final bag. Air mails it to take it down. Fisher Hamilton takes down the legend Double D. And now we got our championship set, all finals from Florida. Alex Rawls taking on Fisher Hamilton, who will be the two-time champ here in season 2022, 20, 2023, when we come back right after this.
ACL Nation, it all comes down to this. Canton, Ohio, it has been fun, but this is the final match of the season in the singles division. Fisher Hamilton looking for his second open championship in the singles division this year. Alex Rawls doing the same thing on the other side. We got zeros on the scoreboard. That leads me to believe these bags are live. Starting things off with Fisher Hamilton down the middle. Alex stepping to the line as well. So we'll see if they put some numbers on the scoreboard. Chad, who do you guys got? Final time. Final time to chime in. Who are you guys taking right here? Rawls with the hard push into the pile. Got that left to right movement that he was looking for, but nothing falls. Fisher Hamilton trying to control the speed. Gets the tap in. Perfect execution on that one. Rawls stepping all the way out, looking for that same left to right movement again. Slick side down. There's a backside open if he wants it. Maybe a roll attempt coming here from Alex. Just goes board, trying to play the long game here. 8-8 eight, eight wash. And so rolls off there to the sideline, heckling. The Florida boys are heckling all day long. Phenomenal rookie season here for Fisher Hamilton, regardless of what happens here. Alex Rawls trying to uh, solidify himself as one of the top open players. I believe he has secured the number one spot no matter what. Well, um, yes, after today he did because he was tied with Tony going into today at our point, 4,997. Mm, no perfect season this year. Jimmy Humans and Dubbin did it last year, but... Yeah, but that's why points change. And now it's six regionals and two opens of each. Ooh. It's two of singles and two of doubles now. Okay. And then a boat of locals. Still think open blind draw should count, but whatever. I think open blind draw should count, and I think you should cut the amount of locals. Yes. Because most people don't even have, a lot of people don't even have locals. So not even... Another 8-8 eight, eight wash to start this out. Not only does it, uh, they don't really have that many options. It's just like, if you're at the point where, like we're talking about perfect season, it, it doesn't matter. If you, all you got to do is just go play locals at Worlds and max out on locals. You know what I mean? Like, play a sit and go at a yeah. open. And, yep. Yeah. You can win at that level. So, make. I mean, the blind draws could be a challenge. Could be luck of the draw. You never know. I well, 100%. I wouldn't mind giving somebody a title if they drew uh, Fisher or Alex or Mark at the top part, you know, and just got a lucky draw on the blind draw, but at least give them some incentive to play it. I mean, as a advanced, you know, slash competitive player, whoopsie, front of the board there from Alex, I would not uh, mind seeing more pros in the bracket that could possibly be my partner. It's more exciting for the sport in whole, I think. Yeah, but your problem is, is once we get to the shootout portion, they can't play... Yeah, well, so unless they win early. Unless they lose early. In the or, or they choose to play in the blind draw. We've seen some players put to choose to play in the blind draw over the shootout. If they didn't have a doubles partner, yes. No, they, they just, they're like, I don't have a chance to win the shootout. I'm going to go play the blind draw. <laughs> but they could win early. If you don't like it, play better. 100%. Anyone can play, anyone can win. Mm-hmm. Still zeros on the scoreboard here. Fisher, bag number one, too far to the right. Alex is in there. Got a little bit of the righties so far this round. One back out of play. Second one barely went in on the right. Third one there off to the right side. Slick side down now, able to get that collect. This back here is for points. Alex fires and down and in. Plus two. A little fist pump celebration there. Two nothing start. Four rounds score. Not horrible. Expected it to take longer. <laughs> oh, God, I hope not. 
I could taste it, Cat. I could taste the end. We've made it to the end. It's kind of a quiet cleanup today, though, with the turf and the mm -hmm. dome and the wind blowing. Like officially only officially one weekend off. You're gonna get a one weekend off, Wally. Yeah, I just, I mean, I'm gonna go back to the hotel today and kind of map out how my next week's gonna look like. So I gotta go back to KC, get uh, you know the last I think five boxes, put them in the Ford Escape. Turn in my keys, get my mail switched over, and just make sure they don't have any other issues that they need, and go from there. I guess I'm getting a deposit back too. I didn't think that was coming. I thought I thought it was like a first month rent type thing, but I'll take an extra fourteen hundred bucks. I wasn't expecting. Let's go. Always nice. Well, fourteen hundred minus my wall. I tore up the wall a little bit. Oh, Wally. Well, I got those fat heads, which if you have nice paint, the fat heads just peel right off. Oh, yeah. It was hotel cheap paint, or, or basically apartment cheap paint, so peeled everything. That's all right, though. It's like only 25 bucks. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. I mean, I don't care. They could overcharge me for it, but anything over a grand, I'm happy with. Oh, for sure. James, this is the final, the last match of our 2022-23 season yeah. before our world championships. And unfortunately, since the file became corrupt, um, I don't know if I'll have it uploaded tonight, but probably tomorrow, Tuesday at the latest. So if you're on the digital network and you want to take a look at it, just be a little patient. If the files don't get corrupted, I usually upload them that night. Fisher with an opportunity here. Alex started to stack on himself for sure. Perfect blocker. Oof. Takes him with him. That's what, four on three right now, it looks like? It is. Hard bite on that roll, and he gets it to go. <laughs> Alex <laughs> says, dude, that's so stupid. Yeah, but, but you should be so used to it, though. He does it to you all the time at home. I don't know if he's talking about the roll or just the missed airmail. Like, I don't know. Um, Either way, it's but I would say both probably not happy with the round. <laughs> Plus four, yeah. Oh God. Alex was my number one pick in fantasy this year. I don't really know how it's going to play out at Worlds. Just, I think Isley's the only one that knows. But hopefully, I can. Uh, that sounds like a. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I can get some performance out of my studs. Got. Uh, Rawls, Kingsbury, Frazier, Wiedenfeld. Got some good picks McGuffin, there. McGuffin, Trzinski. See what happens in singles. Double's a little, a little off. Mm. Windsor, Baby Goat. My top pick. Losing Holland, Holland hurt me. Oh, for sure. Holland will have done well, but Holland, Oh, is Holland. that what you got in that trade? Like in I that? actually picked them both up, so I got Holland, Voyer, and Holland rule. But mm. losing Holland, Holland is a team that could possibly win Oh, for sure. National. For sure. And picking up two teams that go deep in Nationals is entirely different. Ooh, Alex gets fiery Flexing there. Flexing on him. Flexing Takes on him. Three. 11 4. Math is hard. <laughs> yeah, it's been a fun season, though, chat. Uh, again, missed the first open, went to Cancun, got a little vacation in last year, and that was fun. All inclusive resorts are nice, but when I came back, man, Kentucky was a <laughs> learning curve. <laughs> Good catch, Wally. Yeah, Good yeah, catch. Yeah. Cluster curve, I guess, if you guys can pick up what I'm putting down right there. But all in all, man, we've gotten the equipment down packed other than the storage thing. And um, it's been a fun season. We've had some great matches, entertaining things. We revamped the commercials this year. That way you guys don't get so bored during the breaks. Love the commercial. The changes to the commercials, mm -hmm. the ends with every commercial ending in an awkward novels, it's just the only way they should ever end. <laughs> he is going to get that tomahawk down. <laughs> he tried to coin slot that. He's trying so hard. <laughs> I like that he's playing loose, but. Apparently, so Matt Sorrells is back around, and I've talked to him a couple times today, and apparently they actually practice this whole thing, like it shoots like a diamond airmail situation, like it's a thing that they've been practicing back at home. Alex, Fisher, Matt, Alan, all of the people that throw together constantly. And Matt said, I cannot wait. He said, I will win 
the internet if I can get back to a broadcast and shoot that shot and make it. He said it's beautiful. It flies exactly like a diamond. I always call it the Randy roll. The Randy roll? Randy Jones. That's how he throws. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. He does, for sure. Well, hello, Miss Fretwell. I miss you, too. I'm glad y'all can at least get on and it, it tell it's still me as bad as my voice is. <laughs> it feels like it sounds so bad. It's like, you don't sound that bad. You can tell you're struggling. Oh, my gosh. He went after that bag twice. Looked like he was going for a penguin there. Tried to get underneath that bag and lift it over Alex's bag, but just absolutely chucked it. Fisher put Mayor's so much into it. Mayor's trying to run that. with it. With that being said, Wally at a 16 to 4. You want to give me some stats? It's round 10. Let's do it. I usually do it after round 10, but all right. Well, at 16 solid, to 4, solid with some big PPR spots here. PPR there for here. Alex Rawls. Fisher Hamilton throwing a 6.67. Dude, what? Exactly what you would expect here from our championship match. <laughs> We're open number 16 as we're starting to wind things down. I mean, like, I don't... We're practicing the shibby, is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, I saw... <laughs> No, Shibby, you have the biggest horseshoe I've ever seen in my life. Oh, no. This that is why I asked you to pull off the back of the board. Fisher imploding at the wrong time. I mean, you want to talk about a horseshoe. Alex got one right now. Airmail collect there just to save the game to stay alive. And This is the Alex, last so. match of the 22-23 <laughs> open season. I cannot wait to do our show, Cat, where we just destroy team. We're breaking up teammates next year. We're going to make everybody free agents. We're going to match people up with who we think would be great partnered up with people next year. Will Alex Rawls and Trey Birchfield stay together? Will Fisher and Gavin stay together on our list? Got to tune in to find out. It's going to be a fun show. We are creating the rumor mill. We're not even adding to it. We're just tearing it down, starting fresh. Fisher's got one in here. Alex, two bags in front. See if he wants it's to tap. It's because they're best friends is they're not going to throw their best. I have watched these boys battle. And I'll be honest with you. If that's what their intention is, that sounds horrible to me. Ooh, almost rodeoed it. Because at the end it's of the day, five. friends or no friends, the board is not a place for friendship. Bags never lie. Always tells you who's the best at the end of the day. Heard Alex and Mark. Not sure how true. I don't believe that one. Yeah, I don't see that one. I don't see that one happening. Those are drastic different personalities. Pushes into the pile. Fisher's bag does fall in. That one off to the side creates an interesting situation here. Alex, three bags away from taking down the title. First bag gets a little tap, doesn't go in. He's in decent position, though, to collect. Fisher takes that away, but now he leaves the open air mill for Alex. He is going to fire it on bag number three, and he's deep. Off the back of the board it goes. Fisher has life. Sneaks it in there to finish the round with an eight. Well-timed block there in bag three. Ooh, almost got the peel. So close. Plus one for Fisher. 19 to 8. Ashley Ward, you must be dreaming. <laughs> we got to tune in, Maureen. We'll see. Round number 13, first shot here from Fisher is in, trying to mount to come back. Only needs a 13 spot, and this game is over. That bag on the board right there is going to eliminate that possibility. Oh, we got a little bar of soap here for the dub. Spun on him. Not bad placement, though. No. Cut around. Alex drives into the pile. That one is slick side down. Forcing Fisher's hand here on bag number four. This one's pretty much got to be in. It does go in. Nice job cutting around on the last two. And then Alex tried to collect. Gets one to go, 19-10. Dub.
double digits. Alex improved to an 8.31 PPR. Fisher up to a 7.62. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Rawls is our number one player in open singles at the moment. Third and eight. Definitely just not what I expected for this afternoon. Especially watching the first four games of the final eight. Fisher's got the rolls and cuts working now. Kind of makes me wonder why he tried that tomahawk twice. I gotta buy you a new camera too. That, <laughs> I'm mad we both did the same thing. I was like, I am getting tired. Maybe I just got blurry eyed on my own. Are they hanging? Are they touching? Doesn't look like anybody over there saying they're touching. Fisher can't lose. Hold on, I'm coming. Cat's gonna get the rake out. Alex said it's not gonna fall. He allowed Fisher to rake it. See, if I would have raked it right there, I would have, like, put my hand up in the hole and, like, actually grab the back back in a little bit, you know. Alex let it happen. Alex let it happen. Alex said it was fine. What if? Made me get out of my seat for nothing. This so is what I like, though. Austin Cameron and Devin would be a solid partner. We'll see. Got to tune in, man. Got to tune in. I got to get my hands on that Tommy Slyker list to figure out who's going to be pro next year. Apparently, he's got a spreadsheet. I want to take a look at it. We've got two bags left here for each player, 19 to 10. See how Fisher wants to play this. He's staying aggressive. Gets the roll. Back on the right side is on slick side. Alex gets the collect. Heading into bag number four. High-pressure shot right here from Fisher. Doesn't matter. It's in. Finishes off the 12. Alex stops short. Bag number four block. Hey, Carumbo. He gonna let him run it back on him. 19-12. This is game one of 13. No, sir. Looks like that's uh, the pace that we're getting to here right now, Captain. What oh, do we have? One double dip? No, you had two yesterday. Damon. Well, yeah, yesterday. Today, Damon Dennis double dipped Ryan. Didn't Devin double dip Jordan? No, Devin no. was in King C. Oh. Alex was in King C. Mark was in King C. Alex was in King C, but they went to two games. Oh, they did? Okay. Yeah, Justin won the first one. Nista had won his. Yep. Ryan Fisher, and David was two. double dip Gavin. So, yeah, we're about 50%. Always. Thank Jesus the final eight is single limb. You're talking about with all the, you take final eight and put it in a double end. That's a good four-hour tournament with the way as long as these games go. Ooh, I like that block there from Alex. Fisher fires one of his own. Fingers crossed. Pulling a Devin. Oh, and he missed it. I don't know if they were crossed or if he was just pointing. Oh, no, he was crossed. <laughs> were they? Uh, Chris says, I'm picking Jeremiah Ellis to qualify pro at Worlds. He had a decent run. I think he's got to get more familiar with the uh, ACL bags, though. For sure, for he is playing the qualifier, though. Needs to be. Excited yeah. to see that. Um, Justin Duke says, I jumped 548 spots yesterday. Just hoping I get the email. Good luck, Bretta. Uh-oh. That one off to the left. Collect right here from Alex. Could be put himself in good position. Sticky side on the right side of the hole. Fisher's going to have to bully that off. Slick side down. He does bully it off, but he leaves that back oh out of play. God. Essentially in for the win right here. Bag number three is in. Fisher drag has in to in get one. this. Yeah, I guess that's a possibility, too. And he will do exactly what? that. And he doesn't have a replay. I have my hand. It's got nowhere to go. <laughs> And he doesn't have a replay. I called it. I called it, ladies and gentlemen. I called it. And Wally can't even show it to me again. I can't even relish in my enjoyment. 
Bad Wally. Dagger. 20 to 14. Alex pulls the string. That bag's on the left side. Not out of play yet. But Fisher Hamilton with a great shot just to stay alive. Cleans it up for him there. Thinks Fisher's listening to us in his ears? 100%. <laughs> Rolls on top of the pile. Kind of, you know, I was say, I expect Alex to step all the way out here and try and cut this. Lets him off the hook. Hard cut here from Fisher. Wants to go in clean. That's a advanced comp. What we got going on? Somebody getting hyped. Back block here. Fisher maybe with a hard cut and has to at least stay on the board. He's going up for the air mill and he's going to knock him in. That's going to do it. He knocked Alex and went off. I don't oh, like no, that. Oh no, he did at not. All. Why did he do that? It's an amazing shot to stay in the game, and then you knock in his bag to end like, it. No. How do you not take a timeout? Not only not a timeout, but why go for that there in that situation? You got momentum and everything. Either way, we got to give credit to Alex Rawls for surviving a tournament, throwing a, a 8.61 PPR in the championship. I feel like I'm diminishing what he did, but I wish y'all could still. have seen everybody's faces sitting here though right now. Like everybody just went. Is that it? You like always that, want to see them make the game-winning shot. You know what I mean? So congratulations, though, to Alex Rawls, holding down that number one spot, showing it was well-deserved. Chat, it's been a phenomenal season. That's it, though. We are going to head to Worlds. We've got some teardown to do. We're going to end the live feed like we do now with all the instant replays on the way out. Cat, appreciate you joining me. Chat, appreciate you all here hanging out. Hit the thumbs up on your way out. You going.